Oh no, it couldn't have been me spamming my own emotes. Here, look, I'm obviously spamming other ones as well. I was just double checking how it worked. Uh, actually, squirrel heart chat on. Let's put Kappa all the way in the back. All the way in the back. And that should be behind everything. Yeah. Hmm. I could make them a little bit bigger. Hmm. Maybe in front of chat? Behind everything else? I like this. Oi! Linz! How are you doing? Hello! Oi, oi, oi! How are you doing, Linz? I hope you're having a splendid day. Ooh. You're good! Linz is good. I'm doing pretty I'm doing pretty well as well. Had some coffee, ate a sandwich, watching a video about alkalized water. I'm I'm enjoying myself. Today's been a nice cozy day. Nice! <laughs> Did y'all ever find that bat? <laughs> or is the bat is the bat still uh is it still unknown where the where the little the little villain? No! The villain! Maybe maybe it snuck out the same hole that it got in. Maybe it's who knows? Maybe maybe he's already gone. He already left. He came, he came down to terrorize Papa and then decided to make a, a hasty escape. Undoubtedly, the the bird is the bird is elsewhere. The bird has has flown the coop. He's just vibing in the basement. No, not vibing. Not a vibing bat. He's just kind of like swinging side to side, just ever so subtly, just kind of just kind of swinging, vibing. And Dad is like, Where are you? <laughs> Stinking bat. A terror. Hey, what's up, Jin Ginzao? Ginzao, how are you doing? Oi, 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 oi. I hope you are doing well. You chased him with a butterfly net? You've chased your father? Oh, the uh, the bat, of course. Of course, with a butterfly net. That's so, that's so funny that y'all have a butterfly net. What? D do you catch bugs? Do you catch bugs and pin them against a board? Oi! Old Haggies, how are you doing? Haggies is here. How are you doing? Old Haggies. Huggles! Huggles, Huggles for the Buggles, the Small Bean Stream. Hiya, what's up? How are you doing? Oi, oi, oi! Small Bean, I hope you are having a good day. A lovely day. This ain't my first rodeo. I tell you what, the first time that we ran into one of them bats, I went straight on to Amazon. I got a fishing net, I got a bug net, and I also got an internet. And now I'm ready for anything. Oi! Pike, Pike, Pikeo, Pikeo, how are you doing? Oi, 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 and uh, butterfly. Hi there. We were just talking about uh, butterfly nets. We bought the net. <laughs> we bought the net for the bat. Listen, you could have just bought a bat for the bat. That's all I'm saying. And oh yeah, how are you doing? Do you see that I have flipped the emote? <laughs> You see that? I'm sorry, Anne. It had to be done. It had to be done. I didn't want to see the squareified tail. We didn't want the squareified tail in 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 view. Okay. All right. All right. Just look at. It. See where's the button? His tail has been lost. Who did it? Who's done it? Zombie girl. What's up? Hi there. Welcome to the chat. I hope you're doing well. I'm about to turn on my camera. I just need to um a bat. For bat, you heathen! What? Listen, bats can carry like almost no diseases or something. I don't know. Maybe bats can carry diseases. I it's possible. Kareem, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Uh, I won't be chasing anyone in chat with a butterfly net unless you're the bat. Is the bat in this chat right now? Okay, you guys. I'm just gonna fill up my coffee real quick, and then I'll, I'll be I'll be right back. Okay, one second. One moment. I'm walking away, but I can't hear anything. Where is? I think my coffee mug is in the kitchen. I'm back. Kim, what's up? How are you doing? Oi, 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 oi. Kim, 
Hello. How art thou? Rosera, what's up? Rosera's here? Oh, snap. We got the whole family. Oh, what? Tayaki's here, too. Hi there, Tayaki. Oi, oi. With the cute Frulio emotes. Hi, everybody. It's me, Mr. Mr. Frizzy Hair. Oi, 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 oi. Are y'all ready for some... What's it called? Earthbound? Are y'all ready for some Earthbound? I actually was watching Frulio play some Earthbound last night. I don't know if you were there, Tayaki, but... Frulio was Frulio wasn't doodling. They were they were causing mayhem and mischief. They were they were destroying local wildlife in uh, Earthbound. <laughs> but how's everybody doing? I hope y'all are doing well. Mother, I mean yes, it is the the Mother series, right? Isn't it? It's it's the series of game called Mother, but it is it is a game called Earthbound. Kenny, you know I don't mind drawings being flipped. I mean, I know that you you flip your drawings while you draw them, and that is that's some that's some high quality stuff. That's some high quality because normally, uh, don't artists like they're like once you flip the once you flip the image, then it looks awful, and they're just like take it back, take it back, just don't flip it. Mischief. Uh oh. Uh oh, not the sippies. The the coffee squirrel mug. Yeah, that's that that was made by Eerie Coffee. That's made by Eerie Coffee. I um I'm gonna have my panels redone by Anne, in the style of the art that we've been doing, uh in in Anne's style obviously. Uh and I want one of the panels is going to be um one of the panels is gonna be art credit and I'll have like links to Eerie Coffee. I'll have links to I, there's still some Marisa art. There's still art by, um, oh, a couple, a couple of other people, and of course Anne. So I will, I will make a credit panel, but that is made by Eerie Coffee. And if they show up, I'm giving them a shout out. The Widow Tail. It's easy to see your own mistakes when you flip the drawing, so it's a smart thing to do, and that's why I do it. That's that's what smart smart beans do. Yes, yes, yes. You love Anne's style. Me too. Especially the the sippy emote is probably my favorite one right now. It's so, but also the wave's really good. The sippy emote is so like, I don't know. The fur is so satisfying. I really want to, I really, really want to pet his belly. It looks so soft. I love it. I love it. Uh, Earl, it's the world of Robbie. What's up? Hi there. What's up, Robbie? Pocket cupcake. Hiya, hiya. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Oi! Does any it does anybody have a report to give me? Is there any is there anything fun going on this weekend? It's Thursday now. There's still a couple of days, but do y'all have any have any fun plans for the weekend? Anything anything fun coming up? Anything exciting happen at work? Uh the mug is also adorable. I know, it's so cute. Have you done uh have you always done art, Kenny, or is it something that you've picked up more recently? I don't, uh, I, I have been doodling poorly in my, uh, textbooks for pretty much all my life. Especially since, like, elementary school. I, I was the kid that would, like, doodle stick men exploding one another. In fact, one time, I think that me and my friend made, like, a canvas of tiny stick men that was, like, this big. We had access to a huge piece of paper. And we just filled it with a bunch of people blowing each other up. It was, uh, it was very interesting. So I've, I've always, like, horribly doodled things in, in books and stuff. But past that, uh, I, I don't really have... Actually, I did, I did have, like, a really minor art class that was for, like, realism, though. It was for, like, realistic pencil drawings, and we had, like, we, to join the class, you had to have, like, nine or ten different pencil types. And we just, we ended up doing, like, a portrait, I think. And uh, I, I wasn't ever very proud of what I made in that class. Even though even though my teacher said it was good, I I disagree. I still disagree. I don't think it's very good. Uh, <laughs> but past that, no no uh, no real drawing. Just just doodles. Just goofing around. I've always wanted to be good at drawing, but um uh, oh recently I've been I've been doodling a little bit more. A little bit more. I have a couple of drawings that I haven't shown y'all that I made that I'm pretty proud of. Kenny, an art stream where you draw ugly things like the Scooby-Doo thing? Oh my god. I made some cursed art the other day, and I, I sent it to Anne, and I asked, how can I make this even worse? How can I make it more disgusting? And Anne was like, oh, I got you. No worries. Here, I'll just give you... Uh, I have a couple of tips. Uh, here, just add some extra lines here. Add some warts. Add some hair. It's really bad. It's really horrifying. Uh... <laughs> 
but that's very nice of you to ask, Robbie. I take that as a compliment that you would even ask. Uh, the mug is also adorable. Yes, yes, yes. You're going to a baby shower? Linz, hey, who's, who's, who has the baby? Whose baby is this? Is it a friend of yours? That's exciting. I'm excited for them. My Valentine's Day is Sunday, not Monday, because I work all day, so that's exciting. Oh, wait. Is, is Valentine's Day coming up soon? Is it in February? <laughs> is it? Uh, could somebody tell me when, uh, when Valentine's Day is? You're going to have a date with your boyfriend this Saturday. Hey, Paikyo. 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 Oh my gosh, I'm doing my best over here. You're having a date with your boyfriend this Saturday. We're gonna play games together. Nice! Any specific games that you're gonna play? This is exciting. This is exciting! Playing games with significant others is one of the most wholesome things. You're working on a miniature bed kit. Ooh, building building your own bed pocket cupcake. Nice. Oh wait, no, is it actually like a miniature miniature bedroom kit? So is that like is that like actual miniatures? Like little like little tiny dolls and things like that, because that is super cool. And if it's if it's just miniature large, then that's also cool. <laughs> One time I made a flip book out of sticky notes and animated violent stick people stuff. I know that's got to be like that's got to be like a kid's a kid's first thing to draw is obviously stick people because they're the easiest to get a figure of. And then what do stick people do? Why they why they kill each other? Obviously. You don't, and I don't even have someone for Monday. Wait, what, Kim? I don't know. I've been busy with college and therapy recently. Going to therapy? That's that's awesome, Kim. I'm glad for you. I'm glad that you're that you're taking your mental health seriously, and that you are uh, that you're in therapy. That's awesome, sauce. I also attend therapy every now and again. Also, zombie girl. Oi, ceramics. Wait, what? Are you saying that you that you're making that you make ceramics? Is that what you're saying? Huh? Art. Earthbound scares me. It is, um, I wouldn't call it scary. I don't know, Dragon Bay. It, it's definitely got some some very strange elements to it, but it's it's fun. It's fun and it's very, very silly. It is very, very silly. Can we have a Kenny and Art stream? What? Was that the gnome? No, the gnome the gnome was created with zero input from, uh, from Anne. I only wish that I would have reached out earlier. Valentine's Day is the 14th of February. Yeah, no, that, that, the gnome was all my imaginings. Oh, it's on the 14th. Noise, noise. Can y'all be my Valentines? Hey, is there anybody in the chat that would be my Valentine? Hey, <laughs> I need a Valentine, okay. Hey, Kenny, did you know that there's a website where it's possible to draw on the same canvas? That'd be fun sometime. Yeah, it's called Draw Doodle Pad or Doodle. Doodle pile, draw pile. I think it's called draw pile. Yes, I've heard of this. I I don't think that it would be good as good as using Clip Studio, but I mean, maybe yes, maybe it would be fun. I don't know. I don't know about having a, a drawing stream with Anne. I'm not. I'm not sure about that. I I don't know how I would work that out. I guess we could like do it on a Discord call and then switch between me watching her canvas and my canvas maybe maybe we could do that uh i don't know what i do without therapy much needed ah uh, you just be you just be roughing it you know you just be roughing it just like just like nature intended you know anxi untreated anxiety just like nature intended no worries uh <laughs> just kidding i'm glad i'm glad that you're taking care of yourself robbie uh, my friend, my friend, since I can remember, is having her first baby. We'll know the gender when the baby is born. What? No giant bombs. No, uh, no cars exploding with the color of the baby. That's too bad. We're, the child's going to be colored blue. Hooray, a blue-skinned baby. Oh, wait. Nope. It might be a pink-skinned baby. We're not sure. The doctor's not even sure. Minecraft definitely. Minecraft is a is a great is a great game to play co-op. I love I love playing Minecraft on I have a server. I used to I used to play that with my with my girlfriend back in the day. Very, very fun. Uh zombie girl. Yes, I took a class in college and I proceeded to buy the contents of a ceramic studio. That is super cool. That is super duper cool. So ceramics, eh? Ceramics would not be like pottery, right? Isn't is isn't pottery pottery is ceramics, but I'm guessing if you're using that word that it's not just pots, that it's not just spinning a, a pottery wheel. 
Ceramics. Hmm. Like the kind of thing that you bake? Do you bake it to finish it up or does it cure some other way? I'm not sure. Okay, I'm glad that you made something so cursed all on your own. I did it! Yay! I did it all by myself. Uh, I volunteer as tribute. No, you don't have to put yourself on the on the on the pyre. You don't have to put yourself on a on a sacrificial throne. Don't worry, don't worry. You don't have to be tribute. <laughs> Rosera. Yes, that sounds good. That sounds good. We'll we'll all be Valentine's, alright? Uh, it's called Aggie. It's basically Photoshop quality stuff. So pretty good. With layers and stabilizing brush tools. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, you've survived about 30 years with untreated anxiety. It's a wild ride. <laughs> it's, a, I mean, to be fair, I mean, if you, if you don't feel like you need therapy, then, you know, that's, that's all 100% up to you. It's all 100% up to you. But if you feel like you need it, you should, you should go. I, I do highly recommend it. If you feel like you'd benefit from it, please try it. Uh, you might have to find a good one, though. He <laughs> he. You sent a link? Oh, thank you. Yes, I will check it out after stream. Oh, I was so wrong with my first baby's gender. Oh, did you guess it? And also, hi, Marissa. Did you did you guess the baby's gender? Because my mom does the same thing. She guessed, like, almost all of the children correctly. I don't know if she guessed. I don't know if she was, uh, if she was right about me. Uh, it's a type of clay, I believe. Sculpting as well. You have two kilns. Okay. So, like, this is, this is getting serious. This ain't no, this ain't no oven. This is a kiln. A kiln, and then it's like, yeah, ooh, like, sculpting ceramics and stuff like that. Not just, not just spinning pots. I mean, seriously, spinning pots would be, I mean, that's still very cool. Rosera, Rosera says that she'll sacrifice herself to be your valentine. <laughs> yeah, that's what Rosera said. Rosera is like, I will, I will lay upon this fire. Set me a light. I shall be the, va I shall be the Valentine. Why do some people have one color in chat and the other chat on screen? I have no flipping idea why that is a problem, old, old Aggie. It is this, this right here is Stream Elements. This is Stream Elements. That Stream Elements. I, I use them because the program that I use doesn't have like overlay features. I'm just using normal OBS pretty much. So I have no idea what what how to how to fix stupid stuff like that. There's no options. Uh, let me see. Haha. No, sorry, Kenny. No, no, you're fine, Rosera. We're just teasing you. That eye roll when you started talking about your mom. Oh my! What did I roll my eyes? I didn't notice. I was just saying there are so many. She she had so many kids. Like there's so many of us. Like it, it's it's crazy. Uh, if you are a dark purple or a blue on mobile, it's gray. Mmm, yeah, it might be, it might especially be mobile that's different. I think they all look the same on my, um, on my web browser is there. I'm not sure. Uh, I guessed it was a boy both times. Jose is non-binary, so I was super wrong. Never could have guessed that. Yes, you literally couldn't have guessed it. I mean, I, I understand. I understand that you probably, like... I think that probably the best idea, and y'all can correct me if you think differently, but I think that the best way is maybe to like, to just raise your kids to, to let them do whatever they want, essentially. Like, don't don't push, as long as you're not pushing like gender standards and norms on people, I feel like you're, I feel like you're doing your best, you know? And uh, if you, if you happen to misgender them based on like the, based on sex, uh, as long as you're treating them uh, uh, very, very well, and as long as you're giving them love and supporting them and stuff, I think that that's honestly the best that you can do. Uh, yeah, you certainly cannot guess that. Uh, also, hello, Valentines. Yes, everybody. Hello. Happy Valentines. Yeah, just I, I let my kids like whatever they want. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> let me see, let me see. Oh, hey, what's up, Tio Ducko? How are you doing? We're about to, we're about to get started. We're about to hop back in this, uh, Nessie adventure. In fact, I say that we do that right now. I say that we, I say that we pop right into this game. All right, let me, let me pause the Kirby music. Now, more than, uh, now one person has expressed fear of this game. You guys, this game's not scary at all. This is, this is a simple, nice simple nice game okay very comfortable nothing nothing quirky going on you're gonna be lurking all right lurk it up and enjoy yourself also uh yes 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 let me let me see wait we are beef we have named our character beef we're level 11 
As long as you're not like my parents who constantly try to push gender on me. Yeah, that is, that's awful. We're, uh, Robbie, that is, that is literally the worst. And I am so sorry to hear that. We totally support you. Ugh, yikes. I, I, ha I know a lot of people like that. I know a lot of people like that. Uh, but yeah, as long as you're not... Why can't people just be nice? Why can't people... People should just take the tiny minimal effort to just treat people the way that they ask to and use the name that they ask. It takes literally no effort to use any name or to use any pronoun. Why not be thoughtful and just be nice to people and support them? It's good. It's good for their mental health. Shaking my head. I will. I will always do my very best for for the peeps of my life. And I know that. I know that y'all do too. Uh, what'd you say? Uh, <laughs> doing good. An hour before I got to go to class. How are you? I'm doing great. I woke up just a little bit, a little while ago. I've been vibing. I've been vibing. I went to bed early last night trying to get some sleep. I was trying to get some sleep and um, it went well for a few hours. I had a nightmare and I woke up. <laughs> I woke up and had trouble sleeping. Oof, how dare. I think I may have also had, let me check my inventory. I think I may have also had, What? what is that called whenever you get like trapped while you're sleeping? Or like you, you wake up halfway and you can't move? Is that called sleep paralysis? I think I'm, I may have had a few seconds of that. Oh wait, no, I don't wanna buy anything. Yeah, I think I think I got a few moments of that. Not not very pleasant. Also, A Star, what's up? I'm sorry that I didn't I didn't answer your message. I was uh, setting up stream stuff. Let me see, we'll have to work out a day that we can uh, that we can play some Apex. I didn't actually even set it up on my PS4 yet. You've had it a couple of times. What's up, Coffee Casualty? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're not uh, being paralyzed in your sleep. Oh dear. <laughs> Uh, I had a friend in my um, in my childhood, and I, well, he's actually a friend now still, but he used to get sleep paralysis all of the time. And it sounded like a nightmare. It's only happened, I mean, no pun intended. No, no joke intended. I mean, it sounds really bad. Okay. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't just sound like a nightmare. It sounds a little bit worse. <laughs> Now, now my now my thought process has derailed. No! Often can't breathe either? That is not good. Breathing, very important. Remember, you guys, keep breathing. Uh, that's quite all right. I'm sorry for being your sleep paralysis demon. You're not. You're not. There was no demon involved. It was, it was demonless paralysis. It was, uh, I was having a dream that I was driving my parents' car, and then all, and I was driving at night. Ooh, butterfly. I was driving at night, and then all of a sudden, the headlights went out, and I felt the car, like, drive off of the road. So I, I, could, I could tell that I was, like, driving through the woods, and I couldn't turn on the headlights, and it was just, like, pure blackness. And that's, that's when I, that's, I realized later that I had my eyes open in real life, and just, like, saw the darkness, and I was trying to turn on the headlights and everything. Eventually, eventually I did turn on the headlights and I'd crash the car and the rest of the dream was me like <laughs> Learning that I was gonna go into debt to fix the vehicle. Oh Horrible, but the positive thing is that I woke up and I was like, I don't know $40,000. Yay <laughs> Yay, I'm not in debt <laughs> That's that's the uh, the positive thing about bad dreams is that some of them you can just wake up and be like, oh my god I thought my life was ruined. Ah, it's not nice. Now I'm not worried about finances anymore because I haven't just wrecked an expensive car. Nice. All right. Feels good, man. You have vivid dreams that you can feel and smell things and they hecka freak me out. But then something odd will happen and I realize it's not real. You're like, oh my gosh, I can feel the real, I can feel real pain. This must be real life. And then like, uh, a person with butterfly wings goes by and you're like, eh. <laughs> it's not the crash that gets him, it's the bills. Welcome to the adult life. <laughs> it was, I mean, it was the fear of the, it was the fear before the crash. It was the, it was the anticipation. The anticipation of pain and then, yeah, the bills. You always have nightmares that you're pregnant. Oh no, lens that if, listen. 
If I could have kids, that's exactly what my that's exactly what my nightmares would be. Oh uh, no! <laughs> I don't want to ever be pregnant. <laughs> I'm I'm really glad I, that that's impossible. Seemingly. Uh, uh, I think. Let's see. I went to the Bigfoot foot. Okay, I'm just kind of walking around for a second. Also, Tay, what's up? How are you doing? Oof. You've never experienced sleep paralysis, but I do get nightmares really often. That sucks. I hope that your brain will give you a break. Brain's got to give us a break. Too much stress. There's too much stress in this world. Gosh darn it. Luckily, I've only had hallucinations associated with sleep paralysis maybe twice. Usually, it's just, gosh darn, I can't move. You're just sitting there like, ah, oh, oh, rolling, rolling your eyes, except for you can't move your eyes. Uh, man, I make a funny entrance, and then I go overshadowed by sleep paralysis. Uh, awkward here. I'll read your intro. I'm so sorry that I missed you. I'm sat here. You said, I don't remember ordering a side of beef with my streamies today. Oh, but but that's exactly what you'll get. The last thing you expect whenever you log into an Earl of Set stream is that you'll get a side of beef, but that's exactly what you'll get. Okay, I got the sounding stone. I already talked to the mayor, got the key. So now I'm supposed to be leaving town, right? Brain giving us a break? I wish. Listen, anxiety is part of the human condition. Number one, leaving town as Ness. Uh, thankfully, I can kill dogs uh, by hand anytime. Don't wander this way. Hmm. No problem here. <laughs> no problem. Just, just normal, run of the middle woods. Hey, what's up, Die? Well, well, well. You decided to come crawling back, Die. After, after all you've done, Earl, you decide to come crawling back to us. Well, well, well. Looks like all those promises to stay away didn't pan out, did they? Oh yeah, the south. The south. Maybe we can get through here now. This is Tucson. I do have I have the 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 soundstone with a song associated with it now, so maybe there's something else I got to do. Chief Strong's permission. Okay, so let's let's go to the chief of the police academy. Maybe he We'll be able to uh, order these officers to move out of my way. One of the cats just opened your door and scared you. One of your cats just just entered the room without any help. Uh, let me see. Actually, yeah, I was thinking. Uh, I've had a pregnancy stress. Stupid female body wanting to, to use its reproductive function. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna allow that. It was flagged because of the word stupid female. <laughs> Which, I mean, to be fair, I, I don't want to see that normally, but I think in this context, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> wanting to use its reproductive... That's horrifying. I'm horrified to think that, uh, that your body is just like, I know you don't want it, but we want it. Uh, that, that reminds me of, like, food as well, where you're like, oh, I should stop eating. And your body's like, no more. Uh, are you sure you want to go to Tucson? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Follow me. He's gonna let me in. Marty's too small for that, I think. Aw. Baby meow meow. Homestar Gamer, what's up? How are you doing? I hope you're doing fantastic. Y'all such warm welcomes. You have me blushing. We love you, Die. Die, we love you. Uh... Oh, uh, let me see. Did I miss anybody else? What is this game? Looks cute. Oh, Pi Pikeo. This is um, this is called Earthbound. You may have seen some of these characters in uh, Super Smash Brothers. This is this is Ness, the boy with the bat. Oh no, nah, I want kids. I'm just sort of not dating at the moment. Oh, oh, I see. Awesome sauce. I hope that you get what you want. Awkward. <laughs> I hope that you find what you're looking for. And I still haven't found. But I'm looking for. Ah, see if you can get past five of my best men. So the uh, the police chief is letting me go to um. He he's only going to let me go to the to the neighboring town, if I'm strong enough. And he's gonna test how strong I am based on fighting, uh, s five of his officers. All right, this checks out. This checks out just standard police just standard police procedure. Just gotta let the kid with the baseball bat beat up these cops. 
and his name is Crushing Cop. Oh, 30, 30 damage? That's not good. Can maybe take, like, one more? All right, I should... Oh, nice! Okay, they said the cop turned back to normal! What?! They turned back to normal? You're tough, you should join the police force! You get, you get beat up by... <laughs> the police gets beat up by a kid and he's like, you should join the police force. You're pretty tough. <laughs> this is horrifying. Uh, let's, let's try to recover some of this life, because these police officers, they, uh, they pack a, they pack a wallop. Okay, nice. HP maxed out, did it say? Oh, good stuff. Beef, take him down. Here's the thing, women are tortured each month for not having kids. How fair is that? Not at all. Not at all a fair, a, not at all fair at all. <laughs> oh baby, offense went up by three. Defense went up by two. Speed went up by two. Oh baby, guts went up by three. Vitality went up by two. Yeah, maybe someday, maybe someday modern medicine will be able to, will be able to help. Can we just like stop all these negative things? Please, it's, it's hardly fair at all. It's like saying if you can't beat him, join him. Except for if you can't beat him, make him join the force. Yeah, it's like if if they beat you, get them to join you. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, I want to give you compliments. I don't want to give you compliment. Compliments give you a big head. Bring it on, fat boy. Uh, excuse me. All of these thinking. Um. <laughs> Hey, pay attention to me! Uh, how are you doing? <laughs> What's up? Uh, these, especially like old retro games, they're always like super fat phobic. It's just a thing that people just accepted back then. I'm I'm glad that it is noticeable now. Body, yeah, super body shaming fat phobia in, uh, in retro games. But the fact that we're noticing it at least proves that they stopped. At least, at least it isn't a thing. He says, I'm gonna take you apart right here, right now, baby! <laughs> Who are these cops? Hey, pay attention to me. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the party. You... <laughs> I love your username. Uh, I don't want biological kids. That I'm pretty certain about. Maybe adoption in the future. Adoption is a great option. Because there's a lot of kids out there that need a good home. The cop turned back to normal. What were they, like, frenzied? Who did this to these cops? Grr, I lost. That's it, buddy. You can forget about me. I'm gonna call my boss. Oh, I'm gonna call for my boss. So that guy just ran away. He said, <laughs> oh, there's no way that I can beat you in a straight competition. So get ready for my super ultra mambo tango foxtrot martial arts. Which stands for S U M T F. Okay, is this this isn't a fair? How is this not a fair fight? I'm confused. Grappled by a submission hold. Uh, excuse me, Captain Strong. Could you please back off? I'm gonna use some recovery. Also, I'm gonna use some uh, some psychic memes. What? Oh, I restored my health just in time. All right, let's let's use PSI memes. Memes Alpha. There we go. 64, 74 damage. Use some more memes. Use the memes. Use the memes, Luke. Nice. We kicked his butt. We kicked his butt. Hey, it's Monster. What's up? Oi, 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 oi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, pay attention to me. Hello, you are on my suggested, but your name, but your username sounds familiar too. The Earl of Suds. It's uh, I've been on my sister's channel, Royalty Soaps. I also have an account on Instagram, maybe. Uh, but Earl of Suds YouTube, uh, Royalty Soaps, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, I didn't think that you would do so well against the mighty one it police force you want to open you want me to open the road to tucson hang on for a sec i'll radio my staff and give them the word okay i'm glad that we went to uh 
the trouble with this. This is exactly what we needed. Okay, listen, a kid named Beef will be there in a few minutes. He's a kid in a red cap. I want you to open the road to, to Tucson to him. I know that. I know that. Don't ask me why, just do it. That's an order. Strong out. A kid named Beef. <laughs> it's true. Well, kid, I'm not gonna question you now, but I do want to see you again. Good luck. Oh, he wants me. We could we could train the police force with our skills. Famous YouTuber, <laughs> YouTuber. That's it. I watch royalty soaps with my sister and partner. Awesome sauce. I'm glad that you enjoy. I'm glad that you enjoy. I haven't been on that channel in in quite a while. But yes, I've been full time streaming over here. Somehow making it work, paying my bills for um almost two years now. It's crazy. I can't believe this this quirky music is making me wanna pause a lot whenever I talk. This whole game is so weird and quirky. What's up the longest? What's up, longest? Wow, my cat's name is Beef. That is please don't eat your cat. That's an excellent name. An excellent name indeed. <laughs> Beef the cat. Ugh. I want to name my cat Wellington. <laughs> I don't know if I want to pronounce it. I want to say your username, though. <laughs> Can I just call you Longest? If you don't mind. <laughs> it's a good username, though. Do you ever think about how incredible it is that this is your full-time job? Yes! Yes! And if it... And if, uh... Let me see. And if I couldn't afford to do it, uh, if I if I like wasn't making enough to pay my bills, I would get a job and keep doing it because this this stuff is the funnest. It's the funnest to hang out with y'all. Sure, man. Thanks. <laughs> Josh just met a guy at work named Caleb White. That is really weird. Uh, although, of course, Caleb is not is not a white. But uh, yes, that is that is funny though. You stopped at the best part of my message. What? Like hanging out with us cuties is something you should have to pay for. Oh, Robbie, I should have to pay you. I live rent free in the mouse's house. This is me. The mice are known as exit mice. They're very kind and boy, they are fast. I really love these guys. Exit mice? What does that mean? Hey, Darren, what's up? How are you doing, my friend? How's the computer working out? Does it work out? I said I said someone should name their cat Beef, and you didn't like it, Kenny. Listen, Linz, I reserve the right to contradict myself at all times. Please take my son along. He may look like a regular small mouse, but he can lead you to an exit if you're lost in a maze. Will you take one of my sons along? What? What is this? Paying the tax to hang out with all of you cuties? <laughs> that is not... <laughs> that is not necessary. Thank you. Thank you for the uh, thank you for the 10 bits. I will I will accept you into the chat room now. You have been accepted. I'm actually getting ready to start my own stream for the day, but I'm glad that you were suggested. Hey, good luck. Have fun. Hey, pay attention to me. I hope you enjoy your stream, whatever you're playing. Wait, I need a pay? No. It's a donation tax. It's a it's a tax that you only donate if you want to. He's a tough boy. You could treat him as he could you could treat him as one of your items. Beef got the exit mouse. Okay, so now I can escape any dungeon anytime. Like this is an escape rope. Oh, do I get to come along too? No, you don't. We only need one exit mouse and the and the role's already being fulfilled. Is ants out here or, or slugs? Ah, it's a whole group of them. It's got cohorts. It's a black ant and his cohorts. This is your favorite game because of the soundtrack. Really enjoying seeing you experience it the first time. Awesome sauce. Yeah, this is, um, so far, I gotta say, I'm flipping loving this game. I normally do not like turn-based strategy games, but this one gets so many things right. Like the fact that you can auto-battle things that are, that are far below your level. The music is banging the uh, dialogue is absolutely hilarious there's a there's a lot to love with this game there's a rambling evil mushroom with his little, with his little feet <laughs> turn-based strategy games are some of your favorites well i'm glad that you enjoy them someone's got to 
Someone's gotta enjoy them. You won. First you fight the police and now you're fighting mushrooms? Of course. <laughs> Ironically, one of the games I'm debating playing is Mother 3? That doesn't sound like irony. That sounds like coincidence. What a coincidence. You you find the stream and now you're copying me. Ah, I see how it is. Isn't Pokemon turn-based? It is, and that is a that is a rarity among among games that I actually enjoy. And I like I liked Arceus. Arceus is probably my favorite Pokemon game now because the turn-based strategy is it, the, the turn-based like elements of it are really toned down, and they really encourage like open world fast fights. It's the long long fights with like deep strategy that I I get bored of. I promise I'm not dumb, you guys. I promise I'm not super. <laughs> It's just that I get bored, all right? Evil mushroom. I I really like, like I mentioned earlier, apparently you can like heal yourself while you're receiving damage. So if it's like ticking down, you can heal yourself. So these, these fights feel like a little bit more visceral. Another game that I really enjoy that's turn-based is Mario Superstar Saga. Superstar Saga. Cause those games, they have some like, button inputs that you do and uh i don't know i just i just really enjoy them the dialogue's really funny the art's really pretty and the battles feel like pretty quick i kind of want to run because i can't heal myself unless i eat food but i i think i can kill one more mushroom but we need to go back and heal ourselves really quick Nah, because it takes two hits to kill him. Paper Mario? Yeah, because Paper Mario is, um... Uh-oh. Beef began to feel strange. Okay, I'm gonna eat a... I'm gonna eat a hamburger. He's feeling hung... He ate my... He ate my hamburger! He stole my hamburger and ate it! What am I gonna do now? <laughs> he ate my hamburger. <laughs> I don't. I, I'm scared that he'll eat anything that I try to eat. And also, it didn't even use a turn. Eat the mushroom. <laughs> Put the mushroom on your hamburger next time. Eat him out of vengeance. He stole your lunch. Well, he's he just healed himself too, so it would take two bashings. It'll take two hits, and he hits sooner than I am. So I don't, I don't think that I can actually beat him without healing. Uh, maybe I should take a, try to eat another hamburger. You better not eat this one. Yes, okay, I actually ate it. Good, goodness gracious. Okay, we're, we, we have to kill him. He can't, he can't be allowed to live after he stole our hamburger. And now we've got the health to, to do him in. Now he dies. What a little turd! Oh, don't you don't have to say sorry. That's totally fine. Automod has to like learn. What the, what the heck just happened? What just happened? I hit myself. What? Because of the mushroom? Because of the mushroom thing that's going on? What? Ah, uh, that's annoying. But I didn't have any money. I did empty my pockets on purpose. So the only, <laughs> it's the second time that I've died. Mushroom basically equals confusion. Okay. He stole my freaking lunch and then killed me. Eat the skip sandwich. Ah, oh, so that I could go faster. I see. Beef, don't go into the light. I'll jump on laptops so I could mod the auto mod. Oh uh, yeah, I can, I can always let things by. But yeah, I was gonna say Paper Mario is uh, is a Mario RPG. Beef decided to return after summoning all the courage and energy he had. Hey, Seder Cascadings, thank you so much. Oh my goodness, Seder, thank you for the Your nine months. Is cute there, There's a Twitch baby. Flippies. There's a Twitch baby in the chat. Ah, somebody changes diaper. Thank you, Seder, so much for the support. I hope you're doing well. You like the sweater? It's so cozy. It's so cozy and warm. I'm actually overheating. I feel great. You're back. Don't bother with talking now. You look too tired. Mothers understand these things. Eat some nudes and scoot off to bed. <laughs> Thank you. 
For Formulando, what's up? How are you doing? A star. I flipping. I love that animated emote. I love that dance. <laughs> I saw it on Instagram. I have the laptop open, but I was watching the stream on my phone. No worries, no worries. Mods, you're doing great. Mods, you are doing fantastic. Do not worry. All right, we still got our we still got our spot back here for saving. Kind of stinky. Okay, what can a boy do? I don't think that I've unlocked like any new items or anything, cause I want uh I want like a new weapon or some new clothes. I have plenty of money. Better than what I said my favorite food was. You can only imagine. It could not be said here. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I can imagine. Thank you. When are you gonna get a smash on that evil rambling mushroom? Exactly. After they treated us so so horribly, we need to we need to go give those mushrooms a good smashing. I actually really enjoy smashing mushrooms in real life. It's so uh it's so satisfying. I I kind of feel bad, but mushrooms um are mostly roots. Anyway, like the top that you see is actually not most of the mushroom. They can just regrow, but I just love squishing them. If I see a mushroom, I'm just like smash. I want to smash it with my foot. So much fun. Maybe that's maybe that's why they just tried to kill me. That's revenge. Because I, I think I didn't have any money on me. Let's deposit my... I'm going to deposit my $3 just in case. <laughs> just... just... Don't want to lose that three dollars. I'd lose like two dollars, maybe. Keep the one. That'd be horrible. Yeah, the ones we see are the fruitling, the fruiting bodies of the mycelium. Mmm, yes, mycelium. Wee! <laughs> I love the game is so smooth too. Like I love the fact that there's diagonal movement. So fancy. Great. Durp, durp, durp. I need a. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Sometimes the freakishly large mushrooms that grow on things like trees and walls freak me out. Yeah, I don't like the the like shelf mushrooms. Those are kind of gross. Shelf mushrooms are kind of stinky. Oh, oh, did I turn? Yes. Okay. The other thing in this game is that if they sneak up on your buns and they attack you from behind. Then uh, they can then they get a free attack basically very frustrating business Shelf mushrooms are sus exactly I put I, I put books on shelf mushrooms all the time and they just they just turn into powder I don't trust them Just popping in to say how much how much love and positive have much love and positivity friends have a great day Much love to you Papa Smurf. Thanks for popping in and saying hi Papa Smurf Enjoy the rest of your day my friend Enjoy the rest of your day Brain fried, oh no. Lurk it up, Calico. Rest, relax, have some tea. Take care of yourself. Sorry that your brain is cooked. Sneak past him. Ah, oh, nice. Very sneaky, very sneakiness. Am I gonna have to go to the... Is this a forest? This guy is supposed to be friendly. I'm not an enemy, I'm just a friendly mole. I'll tell you how to distinguish between your friends and enemies. It's easy to tell an enemy just by looking at them. Enemies look like humans with with weird colored faces. Beware of them. However, you can't get more powerful if you want to avoid your enemies. That's true. They have weird faces like, like pink and purple? What are we talking about here? Okay. <laughs> 100 plus stealth. Yes, we're, we're sneaking by. Okay, you seem like a normal looking person. Welcome. Would you like me to tell you about Tucson? Oh boy. Tucson was a modern clean mo hotel? There was a hospital and a wonderful chaos theater. There's a pole star preschool and a nice bus station. If you're curious, you might want to check out the Berg Berglin Park. It's exciting. East of the town, you'll find the peaceful Rest Valley. On the other side of the valley is the Happy Happy Village. There's also a pizza parlor. Do you want to know anything else? Well, teehee, I don't know anything else. <laughs> teehee, teehee, I just, that's all the information in my brain. $50 per night, good lord. Did you find the tree house? Oh, we should go back and try to find it. 
Oh my god, not this guy again. Pictures taken instantaneously! I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself! Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles! Fuzzy pickles. <laughs> Wow, what a great photograph! I'll always- it'll always bring back the fondest of memories! Gosh darn it, this guy again. You live in the land of mushrooms and yet you know so little about them? The land of mushrooms? I don't know where the land of mushrooms is, I might live there too. Fuzzy pickles! Oh, that's cute, Kim! The cute merm emote! Merm, 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 merm. Ooh, nice. Okay. Cycle shop. This guy looks sick as heck. This is the cycle shop, punk sure. Cycles are so much fun and so convenient. It's a lot faster than walking. You'll be really popular with the biking crowd. Do you want a bicycle? Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have any bikes for sale. We only have rentals. Do you want to rent one? Uh, how much does it cost? I really like your straightforward style. I'll tell you what, I'll let you borrow a bike for free. What, what a great business, uh... <laughs> Beef got the bicycle. You know that two people can't ride on one bicycle? So of course three or four people on a bicycle would be impossible. Did you know that you can't ride a bike with anything following you? Teddy bears, for example. Carrying a bear and riding is impossible for you. And I and don't even think about riding a bike into a cave. <laughs> what? Don't even think about it. Not. It's not impossible. It's just illegal, you know. That is illegal, you know. I see that you're young, but you have some. But you ha have had some adventures. I think that Patty would be a good friend for you. Thanks, Matchmaker Granny. Oddly specific bike rental. <laughs> Oddly specific bike rental guy. Mr. T, what is he doing in this game? I saw some weird, bad, bad guy following Patty. This guy gave me the creeps. A bad guy, huh? I keep my eyes out. Maybe it's these guys on the poster. Tonight, the boogie is back. It's Runaway Five Night. Okay. Chaos Theater. Ah, oh, it's, the, it's the coolest duo. Beef. Patty? Aha, now, you, now you're starting to see. Now you're starting to see. Indeed. I've literally never heard of this game, but I love the style of it. I have never even played this game before. I've, it's always been, it's always been lurking in the back of my mind as something to play. And I'm loving it too. Chaos theater, so my kind of theater. Boogie, yeah, I'm trying to remember what Boogie sings. Boogie sings about killing Santa Claus. Berglin Park seems kind of dangerous, but there's some great stuff there. Yeah, I was told that uh, Berglin Park was lots of fun. It gets even better. Y'all aren't ready for a four side. Oh, no. Is this the dang? Oh, look at this. This looks like a bunch of shops. Who is this? Hello, would you like some seasonings to add to your food at mealtime? They're really quite miraculous. Whenever you eat something, the seasonings will sprinkle automatically. They come in these cute little packets and jars. What kind do you like? Oh, look at that. You can put ketchup on anything that you want. Sugar, sprig of parsley, jar of hot sauce. Jar of hot sauce is very Texan. Ketchup is very American. Uh, so these just automatically go on your food. And I'm guessing it's just... I wish seasoning would happen automatically. Exactly. Like you just you just buy a bunch of seasonings, put them in your uh, put them in your cup your cup board, and then uh, bing bang boom, automatically season everything to perfection. It's a sad time of the day again. Homework before class. Oh no! Hey hey hey! Get some get get your work done, Robbie. Get your work done. We're proud of you. We'll see, we'll see you later, Robbie. Making you hungry. Me too, Seder. Me too. Let's actually, let's shop around. We don't have any money anyway. Of course, Everdread isn't a good person. But he's actually quite warm-hearted for a crime boss. <laughs> All right. Got a little bit of propaganda. I came to buy condiments. 
I wonder what would be good. The right condiment makes a dish taste better, while the wrong one makes it taste worse. If the condiment matches the food, you'll get more power if you ate than if you ate the food item plain. Ah, so ketchup probably goes on hamburgers, huh? Ever Dread has always watched over Berglund Park. That's why we don't have to bribe any crooked cops. Oh, cause he does it already? Great. <laughs> Thanks, Ever Dread. I hate your name. It makes me feel good to sit and look at my pots. I like pots, but what I really want is a tool shop. Uh, is the tool shop for sale sign? What? It's right there. Should I steal it? Hmm. Good, qu <laughs> Good question. Okay, I'm back. You can stop waiting for me now. <laughs> really looking forward to see if you beat the mushroom that stole your hamburger. Um, die, he killed me. I sell fresh eggs. They're nutritious. Please buy this beautifully beautiful egg, please. You're concerned about your health, even though you're young. That'll be 12 big ones. I don't have any money. I'm not buying an egg. Please buy this beautiful egg. No. Okay. But your teen years will be ruined just because you didn't buy an egg. <laughs> what? My teen years will be ruined because I didn't buy an egg? You should have warned me. Looks like stop sign. Oh, wait. Is this the guy that he wants to steal from? Maybe we should buy him this sign so that he doesn't have to steal it. No problem here. Uh, got some, got some bread. What are you selling? Just bananas? Would you like some bananas? Hey kid, do you want to buy some? Five dollar bananas? I don't have any money. Well, when you want to eat bananas, I'll be here selling them. Hey, why don't you buy the world's greatest ruler? Sure. Thank you, that's two clams. Do you think it's hot? Look, I, I didn't steal it. It's a ruler? Okay, surely that's for a mission. Let's let's go get some money. Get some money. You just selling bread? I like to sell my goodies on the street. Sure, flies land on them, but in my opinion, it makes them taste even better. What would you like? <laughs> it makes them taste even better? Doubtful. The Lucky Sandwich is $128. I didn't know that my Skip Sandwich was worth 40 bucks. Goodness. Okay, sign guy. I own an antique shop. No one's buying or selling anything. So I was thinking about selling the for sale sign that sits next to me. It's only $98. Good lord. I bet you'll regret not buying it. I don't even see the for sale sign next to you. Hey, hey, man. <laughs> I'm not going to read this in, in a weird accent. Hey, man, you got to expand your mind and use this stuff creatively. Come on, buy some of my junk. <laughs> so what would you like? Uh, oh, he's got actual, he's got great items. This is not junk, sir. Sir, you have a fine copper bracelet, I see. Excuse me, sir. This is not junk at all. We are, we are actually going to go get some money. Also, is this the bad guy? <laughs> is this the guy that looks over? <laughs> Why don't we chat later after we've locked horns? What? I walked up to him and he attacks me? Who is this? Who is this suspicious man? Mario? <laughs> that does look kind of like the the Mario that's that is in those drug commercials. <laughs> oh, it's Wario? Wait, there's a guy on the roof? This guy looks like the the scary IRL Mario. The, the like, guy that just looks like Mario. Uh. Mario, no. Mario, take memes right in your face. It's Chris Pratt. Oh my god, Chris Pratt. He looks better than ever. I actually kind of like Chris Pratt now. Oh, this is Everdread. I don't remember this part of Fiddler on the Roof. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> Fiddler on the Roof's a good movie. We should we should watch that one movie night. <laughs> Your laugh was Wario. <laughs> Alright, Everdread dead. Everdread dead. Guy on the roof. Beef's level is now 13. Offense went up by one. Any luck? 
No, no lucky moves. Yes, I'm Everdred, boss of Berglund Park. When I jumped on the roof, when I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle. Anyway, I lost and nothing will change that. You know, you're pretty strong. Yeah, I know that you want to find out about a girl named Patty. She went off to a secret hideout in the peaceful Rest Valley. A chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit have kidnapped her, though. They said that they were gonna make Patty some sort of human sacrifice. <laughs> what? <laughs> this game is incredibly dark. They were definitely hardcore strange. You know, she might be gone already. You better hurry. Is he saying she might be dead already? I think that he's saying that she might have already been sacrificed. Oh my god. If you save Patty, be sure to come back here, okay? Don't forget! <laughs> this is the criminal stuff he didn't report to the authorities. Yeah. This is just a little taste of what goes on in uh, Everdred's life. Everdred, listen, if you're not if you're not involved with them, why don't you go to the police and save this girl's life? The cops are crooked, so that's true. Von Chick, Kenny jumped off the roof? I've jumped off a few roofs before, but they were all one story, and I and I rolled, and and it was a fantastic Wow, rude, not talking to the dog. I should have said hi. If you have time to read this, go to the Chaos Theater immediately. Pretty good advertising, but I'm not gonna fall for it. You can't. There was a kidnapping. Believe me, even though I'm just a dog. <laughs> There's a kidnapping. Thank you, doggo. I love his eyes, his ever, ever disturbed friend eyes. Plot twist. She was the patty in the burger the mushroom stole. No! <laughs> also, Krunku. How you doing? <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to uh, the most concerning playthrough of any game I've ever played. Patty isn't here. She suddenly left and I don't know where she went. Apparently, uh, Patty's about to be sacrificed to uh, Baphomet or Gygus. Isn't Gygus the main enemy in this game? <laughs> She's gonna be sacrificed to Gygus. He's gonna use her blood to be able to resurrect an undead army to end the world. Very exciting. But I probably need healing. Where's where's the latest uh, local place that I can heal? Ooh. Is this a normal dog? Because I should be able to kill him automatically. Oh no. What? It's a cop with a dog? <laughs> Why are they attacking me? I, I'm going to have to kill them. Oh, it's a runaway dog and a cop. Why, why do I attack both of them? Why am I not just helping the cop? The cop turned back to normal. All right. I guess the influence of Gygus is, is everywhere. And we got a hamburger. Nice. We finally stole back the hamburger we needed. He's got the sonic. There's no explanation. There's no explanation. They just ran up on me. I killed them. And then that's it. <laughs> These cops are crooked. Uh, bus station. Hmm. I wonder, wonder where you can go on the bus. Maybe this is to go to Threeville. Oh, there's a payphone and an ATM. That's right, I'm the bus driver. For now, I'm resting. Life is long. Take it easy, chubs. chubs. <laughs> Why don't you check out your town map and learn about this area? To take the bus or not to take the bus? Hmm. I get, pr I get scared pretty easily. I was in the last war, so I'm not scared of ghosts. Actually, I'm more scared of my own- Wait, wait. Is this a guy? I'm not scared of ghosts. Actually, I'm more scared of my old lady. <laughs> my wife! It's a guy. My wife! You know who I'm scared of? My wife! The town's bus system is a little strange. Be sure to check the bus stop the bus stop signs. I wonder who came up with this system. Classic boomer humor. I know it's so funny. Huh. Kids these days on their iPads. Well, like I paid for them. 
I'm thinking about catching a bus to Threed. Oh. Third town. Threed. I heard there are ghosts along the way. I wonder if the bus will have to turn around and come back. I don't know. People in Happy Happy Village are fanatical about, about a strange religion. Maybe they've got some sort of bad fever. Be careful. Why, why are there human sacrifices and cults in this game? <laughs> human sacrifices, cults, just, just your average day. Beat up the police, you know, dismantle the Scientology. Do, do, do. Should I go? <laughs> you kind of cringed when you took that sip. It's because the coffee's cold. Cold coffee makes me cringe. <laughs> the sip cringe. Sip. I can't believe that you that you saw it on my face. I, I made the window so small so that you couldn't tell my facial expressions. <laughs> it's not working. Ooh, department store though. Oh yeah, I was gonna I was gonna buy some I was gonna buy some equipment. Maybe maybe we should grab some money first, buy some equipment, and then let's see, where where can I there's an ATM at the bus stop. There's ATMs in hotels, I think, which I just went past. Maybe call your dad at the hotel? Oh, yeah. Why not get more coffee? Because I don't want to get out of the chair. Because <laughs> I want to keep playing this game with y'all. You going to fade back to the shadows? All right. A-star, get some rest, my friend. Get some rest. We'll see you later. It was nice hanging with you while I read about all this concerning in-game business. Oh, uh, to the ATM room. Actually, I am going to freshen up this coffee. Y'all enjoy this music while I do. One second. Dancing doorman, he is! Look at him, he's dancing! Goodness gracious! I wish I could dance like him. This would make some pretty good intermission music. This would make a pretty good intermission screen by itself. Just a little doorman dancing, and it says, We're sorry for the interruption, we'll be back soon. After these quick messages, Let's, what, what does this man have to say? He's so happy. You must be quite a rich boy to stay at such a nice first-class hotel like this one. Well, he acknowledged my wealth. That's pretty good. Uh, that really was one second. I, I'm try, I try to go fast. I mean, my kitchen's right in there. I live in a very small apartment, you guys. Let's, let's grab some moolah. Automatic teller machine. Shows a balance of 1,500. I don't want to pull everything out just in case something horrible happens, which is want to happen in this game. Random people will attack you, and then I lose half of it, I think. Beef picked up the receiver. That's Cargo Express. Beef, it's your dad. I deposited $500 into your bank account. Taking away what you've spent, you should now have 700. Well, XP to get to the next level. Anyway, do you want anything for me? Yeah, let's... Oh yeah, because now we'll respawn here, won't we? Nice. Okay, so now... Now we respawn here. And... I have to pay to heal myself all the time? Let's see, if we just... Oh, what I was gonna do is... Create another save point really quick. I bet Kenny doesn't have a kitchen. Only a coffee machine in the corner? You've seen my kitchen! I did a cooking stream. You can explore the hotel without paying for the night? Ooh. All right. Let's 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 sort of check out what's going on. Besides, the longer we get to stay in this music, the better. Die, I cooked, I cooked churros. I cooked tacos that I was allergic to. I cooked... I, I cooked gua some guac. 
can't prove it. I don't have to prove it. I'm not on trial. Do I have a mushroom on my head? No. You're one of those people that says no right off the bat to any question, right? <laughs> Why you cook allergy tacos? Because I didn't know that the shells had milk in them. The shells had like a sprinkling of cheese, which I never suspected. I just wanted spicy shells, man. Uh, and they were really nice too. They were the ones with like kind of a flat bottom, so they were easy to toast. And they also, yeah, they had some delicious seasoning on them, but ugh. Do I have a mushroom on my head? That's what I thought. Recently, I couldn't walk quite right. It was because of the mushroom. It's actually kind of fun, so I'll leave it there. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> he couldn't walk straight? This guy's tripping on, tripping on a head mushroom. I don't even want to, I don't even want to dig into the fact that there's a mushroom on his head. I don't want to dig into the, to how that would work. That's disgusting. What? <laughs> so, what? Huh? <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> this NPC doesn't have anything to say. Jeez. Hmm? You're annoying! <laughs> Dang me! Yeah, yeah. Ah, ha ha. <laughs> hey, you. Later days, pal. Ah, ha 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 It's so hot today. It rocks. <laughs> Is it cold today? Oh ho ho ho. See ya. <laughs> I feel like this is talking to a Twitch streamer in real life. That's <laughs> It's not enough socializing going on. Ahaha! Ha. It's hot outside today, isn't it? I love it! <laughs> okay, we're gonna leave. He's just a fun guy. That's true. He's a he's a little he's just a fun guy. Have you ever seen that parasitic mushroom that infects ants? The worst. Oh no. Oh no. Not real life again. He has more to say, I promise. You must bother him more. He has more things to say. Oh my goodness. This man is holding the secrets to the entire world and you just have to bother him enough? Sir, I am here, beef, to bother thee. Ah, ha ha. Hey, you! Later days, pal. Ah ha, ah ha ha. It's so hot today, it rocks. Is it cold today? Oh, ho, ho. see ya. Here, get yourself some juice or something. ka -ching! Beef got fifty dollars. Hey, nice. Good luck, okay. Good luck, okay. Good luck, okay. Good luck, okay. Good luck. Okay. All right, I think I think we've exhausted. I was literally like a couple of a couple of things away from getting fifty bucks. Good call. Got fifty buck arenas in my pocket. I've actually got eight hundred and fifty now. Let's go buy a let's go buy a ring. Let's go buy a wedding band for myself. Walking on the street. Doo, 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 doo. This poor guy thinks that he's selling junk. He's probably underselling himself. Doo, 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 doo. BRB, I'm gonna go bother a stranger for 50 bucks. It might work. You never know. Depends on how much you bother them. You know, a little bit of blackmail. I have photos of you uh, cheating on your spouse. You know, just some, some idle chit chat. Got, you've got to expand your mind and stuff. What would you like? Let's go for the copper bracelet. 350? A little expensive. Thank you. You want to equip that? Heck yeah. Beef's defi- Yo, defense went up by five. And we'll sell the bracelet for 50 bucks. Nice. We are crossing a fine line into harassment. I think that's called blackmail. <laughs> This guy is selling a ruler, right? Hey, why don't you buy the world's greatest ruler? Thank you, that's two dollars. Here you go, one ruler. What, what does a ruler do? Does it just do nothing and it's a meme? 
ruler. You can even use this during battle. Can be used many times. Can be used to, to do what? <laughs> it can even be used in battle. You can, you can measure anything that you want. Maybe having it on hand tells you the size of your enemy? I do not know. Uh, this guy's selling eggs. This guy's selling seasoning. I kind of don't want to buy anything, to be honest, because I, I don't have really the inventory space for it. Could buy the sign for that guy. Antique shop, nobody's buying. He's selling them for sale, and it's $98. Let's do it. Let's, let's see what happens. It makes me feel good just to sit and look at my pots. When I give him the... I give him that sign that I got for him. For sale sign. Give. Whom? The person right in front of me. Do I need to be next to him? Here, take this. Can I not give the sign to him? Huh. I thought that he said that he wanted a for sale sign. said that he was thinking about stealing it. He said that he had his eyes on it and he was thinking about stealing it, but now he won't. Now he won't talk to me about it. We solve our problems with fist and drinking. That's also how our romances go in Scotland? Hey. Kenny, have you heard of the Gygas theme? Like the song? I'm guessing that that's like the main the main song for for Gygas? I don't know if I've heard it. I I wouldn't be surprised. I've heard a lot of uh, I've heard a lot of this music in like uh, playlists and stuff. Somebody ain't selling these flowers. Where's the flower sales lady? Got some banana. Okay. Uh, I guess I guess we did everything. Yeah, hey, boy. Detective Rach. How are you doing? Oi oi oi, Rach. It's been a little while. How are you doing? Thank you so much for the five months. I appreciate that prime. Oi! Thank you so much for the prime subby. I appreciate it. Rach, it's good to see you. How's your day been going? How's your week been going? How's your life been going? Ooh, let's go to the department store. Ooh, Rach! So nice to see you. We're playing some uh, Earthbound. It's the first time that I played this game and uh, Dialogue and music be poppin'. The gameplay's fun. I always feel much better after hearing my mom's voice over the phone. It w I was really homesick recently and my mom cheered me right up. You should call your mom sometime. Believe me, those melancholy feelings will be gone before you know it. This guy's super wholesome. <laughs> I like this guy. This department store isn't crowded. I like that. Would you like to return something? No. Oh, that's good. Please stop by again. Do you want to buy a ticket for the Runaway 5 show? Oh, so this is... Oh, I mistook you for a customer. <laughs> right, let's go up. Ooh. It's totally... I thought that it would just be a loading screen. That's really cool. I heard a meteor crashed into the hilltop near Wanit. That must have been exciting. Oh boy, oh boy. A meteor. Yum, yum, mmm, I'm eating a skip sandwich. It makes you f feel like you want to start skipping. I saw it on TV and I just had to try one. I bet I can really move after eating this. A skip sandwich, eh? I think that my grandchild is older than you. He's a famous inventor. He lives here and people call him Orange Kid. What's with that one pixel? What? Why is? Why does she have that that one red dot on her face? Is that her tongue sticking out? It's one it. I mean, it might not be. You say on it. See, on it sounds right, but it is one. Like it's one, then Tucson, then Threeville, or whatever. So I I'm only pronouncing the one because I know it's based on that. But on it is the way that I was calling it whenever I started the game. So I don't know. May, maybe both are kind of acceptable. Threed? Uh, yeah, threed. I wonder what the, um, let's see. I wonder what the Japanese pronunciation is. 
on it. Earthbound wiki. Oh man, I don't actually know how to. It, it is oneto. Uh, it looks like you say it oneto. So it is kind of on it because even though they spelled it with, it looks like it's romanized to to be written as one. So they use the 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 Roman letters to spell one. But whenever you pronounce it with the Japanese pronunciation of O, then it should be Oneto. Yeah, so it is. So if you read it romanized correctly, then it would be one it, I guess. But Oneto is the way that it is actually pronounced, I suppose. So Onet or Onet is probably closer, to be honest. I want to visit my boyfriend in three, except the bus won't go there. I wonder why. Because there's ghosts. That teddy bear they sell over there, I heard it helps in battle. I don't know what they're talking about. It looks like a plain old teddy bear to me. Mmm, the teddy bear. I've heard a little talk of this. Where's Ops when you need him? I think Ops is sleeping. Ops was up all night, I'm pretty sure. Shaking my head. Uh, hello there. How may I help you? Can I get you anything? Yeah, what do you got? What do you got? T-ball bat? Uh, I already have that. Frying pan. Doesn't... Can't use that? It's grayed out. Slingshot. Uh, one of the, one of the people in chat, I think it was Homestar, that said don't buy the slingshot, right? Oh, it's not for me. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm not supposed to get the slingshot, I don't think. And the ribbon. So the frying pan and the ribbon are probably for Patty, right? All right. Well, we need Patty first. What about you? Hi, can I help you? Ah, she's got the teddy bear. Wish I could see information on this. Teddy bear, thank you very much. I have to get it, because people have been... What? It drags behind you. Aw. <laughs> It's cute. It kind of reminds me of Lotso Huggin' Bear. <laughs> it's adorable. What does it do? What does it do besides look cute? Worth it! Yeah, it's already worth it. It says, teddy bear. A cute teddy bear! Heck yeah. Sweet. We got, we got Ted. Welcome to my Ted talk. Oh, it helps you in battle too? Yay! It's cute. I made a vow to never play this game ever again, and there's a reason why, because of the ending. Well, don't don't spoil it, Dragon Beowulf. I know that it gets really dark at the end, though. <laughs> uh, happy, happy village is getting more and more blue. Do you get it? It's getting to be more and more blue. Yeah, happy village is getting sadder. What do you mean, do you get it? That's not a joke. That's not funny, dude. You're talking about seasonal depression. The days are the days are shorter and the people of Happy Happy Village are feeling more and more sad. It's natural and also sad. It's not not something to get. Tomato, tomato! It'll take a beating for you? Oh sweet. This bear is tough. Look, enemies are fooled that it's that it's an actual I hate that. I hate a dragon behind me like that. Why are you dragging a red baby behind you? This is a this is a bear. Do you get it? You seem like you might not get it. <laughs> oh no, that's rude. You seem like you don't get it, kid. So I'm gonna say it one more time. The people of Happy Happy Village are feeling more and more blue. Nah, you still don't get it. Hmm. Babe! I want to come back to this hotel every day. Put all of our money back. Put all my money in the bank. Don't withdraw any. No! Ah, stop. Okay, you have to, you have to wait. No, <laughs> dang it! <laughs> Kenny struggles with menus. <sighs> Holy moly. Okay. Two seven eight. We gotta get rid of all of our money. I don't want to lose any of it. 
Joints. And we bought stuff. I was stronger than ever. Come on, red baby. Let's go fight. Let's, let's go out the door. We could go to the, um... We could also go home. Because apparently I missed a, a tree house. You actually have to read the prompts, Kenny. You can't just mash buttons. Listen, I went to... Normally... Games will let you mash buttons, all right? I like I like mashing through those sequences. It's a pretty short walk. Oh, excuse me? Attack me from behind? Shaking my head, you stinking rambling evil mushroom. Whenever we go up, we're, we can also heal ourselves completely. We'll, we'll get leveled by the enemies in the way. Oh no. It tried, it tried to mushroom the bear, that son of a gun. Good. It looks like it looks like enemies may target the bear instead of me. Apparently there is a tree house that we can find. No problem here. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Say we can uh, not save, but we can go heal up at Mom's house. Uh, it looks like a place that you can go. Light Stardew vibes, indeed. This reminds me of the like hidden forest behind your house. Yeah, run, run, you fools. Let's see, treehouse, 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 flea house. With my bear just dragging behind me. His poor butt's gonna be so dirty. I need a bear to be okay the whole game. Please don't lose the bear. Listen, the bear is gonna be just fine gonna be just fine look at him he's so strong and tough powerful I trust I trust that the bear will be here forever unless we have to replace him with a like a party member or something can't go through there you never liked Porky well uh, Porky is thankfully not with us anymore he uh, he was pulled to the uh, to the next realm by guy guess Rest in peace, Porky. Although we could go see him at his house if you want. Treehouse. Just moving around. I think that we've already checked all these buildings, right? We already looked around town. Let's see. Out here in the woods. Gotta go out into the woods. That's where the treehouse is. Doo -doo -doo. Dragon Beowulf, you seem absolutely traumatized by this game. I am sorry to hear that. Goodness gracious. Traumatized by the ending? Traumatized by Porky? Heavens above. What did this game do to you? I'm close. Ooh. Warmer. This little kid doing beef. I'm doing watch out duty for the hideout. Can you take over? Oh yeah, this guy. Just kidding. Be being watch out, <laughs> watch out is my job. It's over here, eh? It's close. It's watching. Oh, I see it. I see it up there. Let's get a uh, healed first, though. Yeah, I see it up there. Is that... Are those trees being cut in half by the mountain? Nice. Let's get all healed up. Heal, heal my bear as well, mother. Give it some sleep. Mother. Mother, I need some rest and some food. You're back. See? Skip all the dialogue. Just skip past it. Just jam on the buttons. Buttons are fun to push. Me and my bear feeling healthy. Ah, gosh darn it, every time. <laughs> it's because you go down the stairs to the left, and then you come out to the right. It's very confusing. All right, let's, let's go find this treehouse. I think that you have to access it from down below where that kid's uh, guarding. I wonder if you can get different uh, clothes that actually affect your sprite. 
guessing not. Sounds a little too advanced. Okay, it's up here. There's gotta be some way to sneak through the woods. Yeah, oh, oh, you just go up. Nice. The tree house. Yo, it's the cool kids club. I'll give you, I'll give you my Mr. Baseball cap. I know you've wanted it for a long time. It's the best cap for somebody really brave like you. Ah, you can't carry anything else. You should either sell or throw away some junk and come back. Mr. Baseball cap. Don't mind if I do. Uh, I don't know if I can get rid of any of this stuff. This all seems pretty important. Hamburger, exit mouse, cold remedy. Yeah, I might have to, I might have to get my sister to pick up some of this stuff. Talk to the other people. I had a dream about you, and you were traveling with a cute girl. If the dream comes true, say hi to her for me. <laughs> oh, jeez. After all, I'm single. <laughs> you didn't have to, you didn't have to tell me that. <laughs> I, I got the message, buddy. You've grown since I last saw you. You're beginning to look like a man. You're so cool. I, I think I really like you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's all come. All of my childhood relationships are coming apart. Uh, <laughs> thank you for the follow, uh, Andromeda. I appreciate it. What's up, Andromeda? <laughs> well, you know what I mean. <laughs> One of them has has repressed love for me. One of them is single and worried about it, and then the other one wants to give me some free stuff. Noise. You'd put away the bike. It's kind of useless. Oh, that's uh, all right. That's a good idea. So, I've never actually had my stuff picked up by my sister before. I know that she works at, like... This guy is just <laughs> terrorizing this car. <laughs> Will that bear protect you from sneaky booty shots if you drag it behind you? Uh, I don't think so, actually. I'm pretty sure that I've already, um... I think I've already actually been attacked from behind while I had the bear. But the bear will sometimes, like... Will sometimes take the attacks away from me. Payphone costs a dollar, dang it. I don't, I don't have a dollar right now. I need to go to the hotel for the free phone and free Wi-Fi. Do you, know, do you know that Toby Fox worked on this game? Uh, I don't think he did. I don't think that Toby Fox worked on this game, but he did make a fan... Apparently, he made a fan mod of this game. Alright. Ooh, the jamming music. Okay, let's call... ...my sister and get rid of some of my stuff at S Cargo Express. Hello, this is S Cargo Express. Oh, is that you, Beef? Big bro! It's me, Tracy. I'm working part-time. Yes, yes. I want you to pick up some junk. We'll send somebody over immediately to pick it up. Click! Okay, so are they outside? Kenny, I had a dream where you fought a dragon to the death. It has come true. Tell the dragon I said hi. <laughs> Oh, if it comes true, tell the dragon I said hi. After all, I'm single. <laughs> Die! I didn't know that you had feelings for dragons. This is good to know. You can cover the bill, right? Oh, I need 18 bucks? Confirm dies a scaly. So, can I store items without paying money to store them? $18 to store items is, uh... Do you know there's a running theory that Ness from this game is Sans from Undertale? I'm not surprised. I mean, this game is inspired, uh... Undertale is inspired by this game. So they do, they do have, like, a, a connection. Got a bit of a connection. That probably just encourages people. Yeah, I think if you visit your sister at home, she'll store things for free. Oh, thank you. Okay. We'll do that. Dragons are hot. Is that a pun? Is that a pun or, at a, or an admission? <laughs> Are you are you confessing or are you are you making a dad joke? 
Tracy, I need... Uh, I love that Tracy's working the phones, but as soon as I get home, she warps back. <laughs> Thank you, Callie. Join me on the new Scaly Crew. Scaly Crew. Checking in. All my furries, please check in. Do, do, do. Don't forget to use hashtag furry check in in the chat. Tracy, I'm going to need you to take some of these items to your place of work. Oh, it's my line now? Oops! What do you want me to do? What do you want me to store? Okay, let's store our bicycle. The bicycle? Don't worry, I'll keep it safe. Let's see, we'll store our... We can't store this, the soundstone, right? That'd be crazy. Let's store the... Uh, I couldn't figure out what this does. I'm just gonna put it back for now. Ruler. I, I haven't seen this do anything in battle. I'm kind of I'm kind of sussy of that. Cold remedy, baseball cap. Uh, what else can I get rid of? I mean, all of this seems kind of important. The ruler doesn't do anything. Thank you, Tayaki. I will put it away then. Uh, hmm. Exit mouse seems very useful. The rest of this stuff I can eat. All right, thank, thank you, Tracy. Let's go home. You're eating smoked Gouda? Mmm. Nothing in the whole world could be Gouda than that. Speak to the dog. What does he have to say? I don't want to go out anymore. I don't care if everyone thinks I'm a stubborn mutt. <laughs> I love that the animals talk, but kind of don't talk. Inventory management is one of the downfalls of this game. Yeah. Definitely a pain. I I mean, there are inventories that are smaller in games, though. Like in uh, like in Resident Evil. I think one of my favorite inventory managements in a game is in uh, Subnautica, because each item has like a shape and a size, so you can hold like a bajillion small items, but you can't hold these like giant heavy items. Not many of them. Uh, DayZ has a kind of interesting inventory system, because you can, like, hide things inside of other things. So you can, like, hold a bag on you that holds, I don't know, medical supplies or something. Ooh, butterfly, thank you for the lurk. Enjoy your lurkies. A DayZ, it can get, it can get a little bit complicated, because you've got, like, a gun, a, <laughs> a gun cleaning kit inside of a, inside of a bag, inside of a bag. But it does make it easy to just, like, throw a bag down so that you can run further or something. Or you can run faster. In case, in case you are in a very bad firefight. Alright, now we have gotten rid of a lot of items. And I, I forgot that I was supposed to go to the kid in the... Dang it. Forgot about the kid with the free baseball hat. Even if the baseball hat isn't as good as the one that I have, at least I can sell it. Oh, fiddlesticks. Not too long of a walk. Probably should uh, attack one of these mushrooms so that I can get all leveled up. But I'm scared of their uh, their mushroomy effects. I don't like that. Let's kill some bugs. I got the drop on him. Bunch of bugs. Uh, wait! Oh, I did not try to get away. Oops. Well, we got away. Nice. <laughs> I was gonna try to use PSI. Let's go claim our our free hat. Thanks for the lurk, Tio Ducko. Good luck with your uh, with your classes. I think I remember you saying that you uh, you have classes to do. Good luck. Uh, I remember liking the inventory system in RE0. Storage vaults wouldn't share the items in between each other, so you had to be careful what you left or took from them. Mmm. Yeah, see, that's a that's another thing, is that if you like the difficulty of realism, then obviously you'll enjoy it. Eat butterfly. <laughs> yeah, like, if you if you enjoy it being realistic. See, that sounds horrible to me, Marishki gal. I don't play games. I don't play games to have to go searching in different, uh, different lockers. You said, um... You have to be careful what you left and took from them. See, I hate that. 
I hate that. I hate having to be careful. I don't want to be careful. <laughs> I want to be crazy. Also, hi, Marishki. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy it. I'm glad somebody's enjoying it. Ah, uh, good. Realism, Kenny. I don't play games for realism. <laughs> I do not play games for realism at all. Mr. Baseball. I guess if I go to... Ugh, oh, dang it. I should probably just start using the uh, D-pad instead of the... I was using the circle pad thing. Body, arms, other. So... Offense doesn't go up, but defense goes up by one. Okay, so that's good. Mr. Baseball Cap is better than normal baseball cap. And yeah, we can sell that old one. Nice. And we've got nothing on our body. We've got no uh, body armor. Howdy. I'm loving the kitty on the right. He's so posh. It is It is a squirrel, but I don't blame you for being confused. It's uh, <laughs> our handsome squirrel, which looks nothing like the normal design. <laughs> okay, I'm headed home. See y'all in a while. Drive careful, Callie. I hope your brain's feeling better. Oof. I must leave in shame. No! No, it does look like a cat a bit. Cats and squirrels are kind of difficult to look distinctive in 2D art, methinks. Lots of people make that mistake. The, uh, the design is slowly getting better so that it looks more and more like a squirrel. Like, I think that the emotes now look a lot like squirrels. Let's see, what's, what's the most recent ones? They don't, they don't, I think that they really don't look like cats anymore. Some of them are more tricky to tell than others, though. I kind of want to kill some bugs. I mean, oh, slowing down. Looks like his name is Chauncey. Oh, hello there. My name is Chauncey, the finest squirrel. Hmm. My name is Rutabaga. Oh. Chauncey? Can I... Can I get attacked by two mushrooms? Thank you. All right, we're using the old razzle dazzle. I love that they're called cohorts. These suckers, they're they're working together. They stop moving. I'm so glad you said that in a British accent. <laughs> you saying that in a British accent was somebody else's immediate thought? Yes, Chauncey. People calling Squirrel a cat because it triggers everyone? Yeah, it, it seems like the people that, that call Squirrel a cat, they feel the worst, and then some people in chat get annoyed. Me? I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Breezy! Yo! <laughs> Thank you for the raid! Breezy! Boy! Thank you so much! You're, you're a raid message. You're a raid message. No, you. Oi, thank you so much for the raid, Breezy. Hi, everybody. Welcome in. We're playing some uh, Earthbound. If y'all were watching the Nintendo Direct, you'd know that this is now on the Switch. Nice. I always love your raid alert. It's a real vibe. It's one of my favorite memes. One of my favorites. Thank you, Breezy. That's so sweet of you to bring your friends over here. I appreciate it. How were your games? I, I watched a bit of your stream. I actually had it on my, uh, now I can close it. Uh, I, I was watching a bit of your stream and I'd never seen this. I'd never seen this game before. It seemed very relaxing and nice. Are you winning, Kinney? I am winning. You didn't see the Nintendo Direct? I am in shock. Yes, this game was released the very, the very day. So we started playing it uh, yesterday. It is, the dialogue is very funny. The combat is fun and the music is uh, incredible. In fact, let me go into this hotel so that you can jam out. The Astrocaster, welcome, welcome. How are you doing? See what I mean? Oh mama. Oh mama! This is hot! This is spicy. He's dancing. You can't help but dance. Oh yes. But yeah, how is how is the stream breezy? If you need to go get some food or get some uh get some water, take care of yourself, please do. I really appreciate the raid. And uh anybody that wants to stay around here, my name's my name's Kenny, or the Earl of Suds. I play Nintendo games. I'm gonna be playing Earthbound for a little while. I'm thinking about, we're gonna play the new Kirby game whenever it comes out. Uh, and I'm gonna be playing, uh, what would it be? Uh, 
It's called... <laughs> it's a sequel to Ocarina of Time. I might play Ocarina of Time as well, but Majora's Mask is one that I've never seen before. I've never played it. Just like I've never played this game before. So I'm gonna try out Majora's Mask as soon as it comes out in February. Oh, Breezy, yes, go get some food. Get yourself some, get yourself some noms. Enjoy your day. Thank you again. It's good to see you. Earthbound is so quirky and wholesome. I know. It's pretty wholesome. Actually, we have a friend, we have a friend named Patty who has been kidnapped and is about to be sacrificed. So, I mean, it's pretty wholesome, I guess. Thank you for the follows, uh, Jim NYC and from Leo. I appreciate it. Hi there. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the mostly wholesome party. Except for the fact that my friend Patty is being, uh, sacrificed. I remember being scared to death of Majora's Mask. Yeah, it's a very dark game. I tried to play it, but I tried to play it as a kid on an emulator, and it was really, really hard. I was I was having trouble, like, getting past things. From Leo, listen, Patty had it coming, we all know it. Listen, Patty was always causing trouble around town. It was only a matter of time before somebody did what had to be done, okay? Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, poor Patty. Yeah, a mostly wholesome game. I kind of forgot that that happens to the girl you befriend. Yeah! And I'm pretty sure that Gygus turns into like a weird baby monster. I'm not sure that the game gets dark at the end, but it's a jam the entire time anyway. I just I just want to hear the music the I want some of that more suspicious music. I remember uh wait, you're scared to death of it now to be honest. Oof. Don't be scared of Majora's Mask. It doesn't want to hurt you. Who's that kid you're dragging around? It's not a kid, it's a teddy bear. It's a teddy bear. Okay, I'm gonna use PSI memes on them. Use the memes! Yes! <laughs> you get to name a bunch of things in this game. You get to name yourself, your friend, I think, actually two friends. You get to name yourself, three friends. <laughs> yourself, three friends, your favorite food, and your favorite thing. Okay, offense went up by one, maximum HP, maximum PP. Beef realized the power of paralysis. Ah, yes. We all do that, we all do that around level 14, don't we? Turn 14, then you realize the value of paralysis. See, does this look like a child? Is this what children look like in your world, Anne? I am now scared to go to Norway. <laughs> okay. I got a new move. Not sure what it does. We'll try it in battles sometime. I'm not actually sure where uh, Patty's being held. I'm not sure where the uh, where the cult congregates. I'm not figured this out yet. But I already purchased some items. Purchased some items in town, so I'm extra strong. Uh, we could go. We could go in here really quick. The bear looks like it's frowning. It must know. <laughs> it must not enjoy being the decoy. What? No, 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 somebody, somebody just sewed its face like that. Don't worry about it. If you save Patty, be sure to come back here, okay? Don't forget. Uh, all right. Does this game have Pokemon mechanics? Uh, not really. This is more of a traditional turn-based game. You battle enemies, you level up. You can have uh, party members, oh my God. Is that one of the uh, strange colored people that they warned me about? <laughs> she doesn't look well. Let's beat her up. Let's beat, let's beat some sense into this lady. What? I met cranky lady. What is this? <laughs> that doesn't even look like her anymore. Uh, let's give her a beat with our bat. Cranky lady, be cranky no longer. 12 damage to teddy bear, nice. She targeted the teddy bear instead of me. So yeah, it is a, it is a very good decoy. She scowled sharply. It didn't work on the teddy bear. We beat her up. Yeah, I'm sure beating her with a baseball bat will cheer her up. Yeah, she's doing good. Now, nah, look, she's she's been cured. She's been cured. She just needed a wiffle ball bat to get schwacked at her. All right, Bearby, you and me, we're gonna. Ooh. Butterflies heal your uh your HP and PP. The magic butterfly made beef relax. <laughs> been tenderized. We've been tenderized by a butterfly. It's It got its little bug legs and it stepped all over our back. 
and it helped us relax. Gave us a little, a little massage. Pizza shop? Bus, oh, we've already been to the bus station. Uh, this is the way to Happy Town, right? Happy, happy village ahead. Hmm. Is that where she's being held? I thought that she was being held to the west, right? She's been cured of existing. <laughs> you can't be, you can't be unhappy if you don't exist. This is facts. Oh, you gotta go get some dinner? Oh no! Oh no, I probably already missed him. Oops. Evil Lashy. If you can still hear me, enjoy your dinner. Oh, dang it. Dang it, I wasn't paying attention. Do, 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 do. You could go to Patty's house and talk to her parents? That's a good idea. Gonna do some investigating. You have left me too stunned to speak th twice in three minutes. Lens is a real savage. You gotta, you gotta look out for my mods, all right? It's some of the funniest people in the chat. Uh, we could go to the Chaos Theater, which I know that y'all are all performing at this evening. Another crazy person. Let's beat him up. This guy's eyes are wide. Oh, nothing looks wrong with him. He looks cool as hell. What are you talking about? What's wrong with this man? Oh yeah. This guy's groovy. Come on. Look at him crossing those legs. The condiment man, I know. This guy's sweet as heck. I don't want to hurt him, but you know what? We'll give him some memes, all right? If the memes hurt him, it's his fault. To the new age retro hippie. Whoa! That new age power is looking uh, pretty good. If that's the power of new age retro hippie, I want to be, I want to be one of those. I'm changing my religion, you guys. I'm changing to new age. They've got super powerful PSI moves. Okay, we can find Patty's house. We have not gone into the normal, normal homes about town. All right, let's go upstairs and break into their bedroom. Dad and Mom have left for Happy Happy Village. They want to meet with the founder of the religion there. Hey, what's up, Zor? How are you doing? Zoltalver! Zoltalvar, hello. What is that face? Why are you judging me? Uh, hi, Zor. I hope you're do doing well. <laughs> Fighting a hippie, that's totally not righteous, man. Hey, Eldritch Corvid, he attacked me first. Okay, it was self-defense, man. Like, he don't want to bother anyone. But, like, he came at me, man. Like, I just defended myself. Also, uh... How are, how are you doing? <laughs> what's up, El what's up, Eldritch? My favorite Eldritch horror is finally here. Cthulhu's son. Did you know that two young inventors live in this town? I want to invent something, too. Two young inventors live here in town. They're just roommates. You just noticed my bald boy meme? My Oh, my bald boy me? Ah, yes. Back when I was egg. Many of us remember when I was an egg. The forced perspective in all these rooms is throwing me off. Oof. They were roommates. Exactly. That's what I was... Did I say that? Did I... Did I make that joke? I thought that joke. Got a hotel. How have you been doing lately? I've been doing pretty great. I've been jamming, my friend. Playing some new games. Meeting some... Not meeting new people, but getting to hang out with some old friends. I got to go to Florida pretty recently. Got to meet a new friend. Things have been, uh, things have been hunky-dory. TBH. The world's on fire, but you know, I'm getting better at accepting it. Oh, this is the hint guy. We don't need any help. I didn't hear you say it just then, so Die gets credit for the joke. <laughs> Die gets two points, dang it. Or more. If you're looking for Venus's house, it's next door. I'm not. Kenny, I sent you a sketch to show you how I saw the teddy bear. Oh, that's so cute. That looks nothing like the teddy bear in this game. You were you were so off. <laughs> it's so cute. Let me here. 
I'll, I'll, I will share it really quick. I'll let, I'll let y'all see what Anne saw. This is what Anne saw. If you don't, if you don't mind me showing it, I'm guessing that you sent it to me and told me that you sent it so that I, so that I would have the option to show it, right? I'll just double check. Where does she live? You don't mind? Uh, oh, okay. I, I thought you wouldn't. I, I thought that you were, you were sharing it and mentioning it so that I could show it as well. Let's see, here's, here's Anne's version of the, of the teddy bear. Is this, this is what you see? I don't know. I don't know. What do y'all think? <laughs> See, it is a baby. When zoomed out, but it is, but. Okay, when zoomed out. I guess so. That's so cute. I wish it was a baby now. It's a baby inside of the teddy bear. Yeah, so right now the teddy head is covering up the baby's face. But if you, if you open it up, then there is a baby. I see. That's adorable. There we go. Teddy baby. Okay. You see the? I see the vision. Whoa! Hey, 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 lady, slow down now. Well, it's getting beat up, so I'd rather not be a baby. What? It's a tough baby. Don't worry. This baby can take a beating. See? People see what I mean. Okay, fine. My guts went down. That's not good. This lady just stole some of- It said she has a big grin on her face. Ugh. Creepy lady has a big grin. Do-do-do. Do-do-do. <laughs> Your username gives me so much joy. It is very funny. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's a family friendly word that I'm allowed to say, but it is very funny. Dang it! They attacked me from behind! No, he kicked me in the butt. Annoying old party man. <laughs> Annoying old party man needs that needs a little beat. We gotta give him some offensive PSI memes. Hey Malice, what's up? This game is odd. It is very strange. I really, really love it. What's up, Malice? How are you doing? How was your D&D last night? I was I was sneaking around in Dogfish's stream. But I didn't get I didn't I didn't get to saw oh, baby. What's the baby on the roof doing? Cute. Pole star. Kiddo's here too. Hey, what's up? Welcome, welcome. We're playing this, uh, yes, very odd game. I think we're at a kindergarten right now. When I grow up, I want to be just like Patty. Well, I wanted to play with Patty, but she's gone somewhere. Patty's like a mother to me. You may not be able to comprehend my emotions. I might have a baby face, but I possess the mind of an adult. I beg your pardon. <laughs> what? No, why would she, why would Patty, a child, be like a mother to you if you have the mind of an adult? That that doesn't track. Whistle, 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 whistle anywhere. It makes me smile all the while. I'm Patty's mother. I'm busy taking care of these kids. You shouldn't worry about Patty. She has a guardian angel, it seems. Um are you <laughs> are you letting your child be in dangerous situations because you think that she has a you think that she has a guardian angel? So, you want to see Patty. Many come here to see her miraculous powers, but they're just leeches. So, are you from a TV station or what? No. To meet you or not to meet, you can only be decided by Patty. Patty has said that she would only meet with a boy named Beef. So you're Beef. You're the one who is in Patty's dream. You will save the world. Let me go call Patty. Do -do -do -do. She doesn't seem to be here. I wonder where she went. I'm sorry, uh, could you come back later? Mm. So they stole a magical child? Stole the magical child and now she's stuck in a cult. We have to go save her. 
Photosynthi <laughs> photosynthesizing? What? <laughs> the cat is photosynthesizing, recharging, living her best life. I think that it might just be like... It might just be a sign, but... Sure, sure. Why don't we play... Why don't we play being plants? Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Maybe we should heal. Mm, if we could just find a butterfly, then we'd be able to heal ourselves entirely. She is real, and you better believe it! I believe in nothing. I only believe what I see to be true. No! Let me out! Ooh, this game is so cool! Hey, Animal Crossing Alley! How are you doing? How are you doing? Ba -na 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 -na. I'm so happy that this game was released. I've been enjoying it. I will only give a subscription to somebody called Lampshade. What was your name again? <laughs> Gift a subscription to Lampshade? Is that a real person? Uh, wasn't there a butterfly up here? Oh, no! Uh, I'm so used to games where you're supposed to dodge people. Not, but if you run away from them, then you get, then you get smacked. It is annoying. I'm doing good, how are you? What did you think of the Nintendo Direct? Ooh, the Nintendo Direct made me a little bit emotional. I actually was excited by a lot of the things that they announced. I was, uh, I was already suspicious of, uh, Breath of the Wild 2 and how much they were gonna, uh, Hey, die! <laughs> Thank you for the gifted subscription! Oi! Die 101 gifted Thank a tier you, 1 die. sub to a Ginger Megmeg. <laughs> for Ginger Megmeg. Meg. 88 gift subs so generous. in the channel. Ginger Megmeg, Meg. enjoy your sub! No ads and all the purple squirrel emotes you could ever want. Incredible! Thank you, Divey. Uh, but the Nintendo Direct Kirby game. I actually am excited about the Kirby game now. I thought it, I was worried that it might be too easy. And it still might be, but I'm I'm very excited for uh, for the Kirby game now because you get to transform and you get to build Waddle Dee Town. Like Waddle Dee Town, that sounds like a real a real joy, a real joy to rebuild the city. Uh, looking for butterflies. Uh, the Wii Sports thing looks like a lot of fun. The Switch Sports, I will definitely be picking that up. It's only forty bucks, and also it um. It'll be great for parties and stuff. Like, I can see myself toting my Switch to a friend's house so that we can play some uh, volleyball. And then they also announced... What What else? Uh, Mario Kart tracks? That's gonna be awesome. And I basically... I get the Mario Kart tracks for free because I already have this expansion. So that's rad as heck. Just, I mean, just free content. I'll take it. Mario Kart tracks will be a lot of fun. Trying to see if I can make that thing respawn. <laughs> this guy always reminds me of the grandpa who ate the paint. The what? <laughs> grandpa, please stop eating paint. Is this rad, dude? Let's hit him. Uh, let's hit him with the memes. Yeah, the Kirby game looks great, and you're excited for the Mario Kart tracks? Yes. Let me see. Wasn't there one more good game? You've seen the the paint grandpa meme? Did you send that to me? <laughs> I don't remember. All right, the hippie got sent back to normal. <laughs> he thought it was yogurt? He thought it was yogurt and the grandpa ate paint? I don't think I've seen this meme. Grandpa eats paint? Paint Grandpa. <laughs> grandpa eats paint? A tub of paint thinking it was yogurt? What? This is horrifying. Oh no, Grandpa ate paint. No. I'm just, I'm honestly just glad that paint doesn't have lead in it anymore. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't think it matters how many different ways you say it. Grandpa still ate paint. He's fine. So it's hilarious. That is, that is good. Grandpa is fine. 
Grandpa is fine. Thankfully, paint is way healthier now than it used to be. But Grandpa still ate paint no matter which way you cut it. Oh my gosh. How have you not seen that meme? I don't know. It's, uh, there's like moth memes at some point that were, that were circling around and I never saw those either. I, I miss, I think everybody misses some memes. I don't know, I'm not on iFunny27. 20, 27, 4. Uh, butterfly, butterfly, is there, I guess just walking around looking for butterflies might not be an efficient use of my time. I hear a girl named Patty was kidnapped while helping out at Pole Star Preschool. Uh-huh. Where do you think she was locked up, buddy? Got any info for me? That's how we go to Happy Town Village. I'm on Instagram, which is a step down from iFunny. I agree. And I use Instagram as well. Peaceful Rest Valley ahead. Proceed through cave. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Patty's this way. Oh dear. <laughs> Music's getting a little spookier over here. All right. Good thing you're not on a bike. Yeah, don't even think about entering a cave with a bike. Is this plant? Oh, the plant's malicious. It's got legs. It's got legs. It's a mobile sprout. Oh no. Not the mobile sprout. They tried to use PSI magnet and drained life from us. Okay, so they got a little life drain attack. And we missed it, so I guess it like has high speed or agility or something. He just maxed out his health. It's a little healing boy. And I just missed again. Sorry, sucker. Okay, there we go. Two hits. We just need two hits to kill him. Not too bad. These plants are enlightened. Indeed. They've got all the photosynthetic powers. I guess synthetic would mean artificial. So photosynthetic is certainly not a way to say photosynth photosynthesized, maybe. Photosynthesized actions. Humpty dum dum. I'm hunting for mushrooms. I'm going to collect a ton. Are these normal mushrooms, girly? problem here. It's draining your PP even worse than your HP. Oh no! My PP? I need that to be able to use my psychic abilities. Keep your eyes. This music's creepy. <laughs> this music's kind of busting. Kind of bussin'. We need to find... Ooh, what is this? For some weird reason, a pencil-shaped iron statue is blocking the path. I know, isn't that weird? A pencil, wait! We've gotta use a ruler on this thing! Or a pencil sharpener. See, the ruler's not worthless. You're supposed to use it on that. Ugh, I sense a puzzle, me too. <laughs> Do you smell that? Puzzle time problem here <laughs> except for the fact that the bridge is knocked down what do you mean what do you mean no problem here there's a bridge down I want to try fighting this thing I know what PP means I know it's not funny I'm an adult I will not laugh every time that I hear it out loud it's psychic points of course we got to get a little UFO oh but that's not but that's lit oh Lil is supposed to be a shortened form of little. So you're supposed to put the apostrophe after the L because it shows that there's more letters that are not included. Why why is the why is it there? Whatever. Let this beat it up. Ooh, he attacked my teddy wait, can my teddy bear actually die? Actual damage to teddy bear. I don't see the teddy bear's health. You won! Maybe the teddy bear can take a real beating. I think this is where I, oh my god. They're zooming, dude. Did you kill the bear? No, the bear's fine. Some mad enemies down here. You think it's supposed to go in the middle of the missing T's? What? In the mid, no, cause, cause you wouldn't have, cause that'd be lilt. The mi in the middle for the missing T. Oh, for the missing T's little. Lil? And then an L E? No, it's just L I L apostrophe. Just L I L apostrophe. I'm pretty dang sure. 
I gotta say this. Peaceful Rest Valley is potentially the worst place specifically because of the trees. Avoid the trees. Uh, well, that's spooky as heck. Smash! Man, we just cracked that little UFO in, in half with a baseball bat. Bam. Yeah, let's just try to sneak past these. The trees, eh? Like that one right there. Yeah, we gotta find a pencil sharpener stat. Good, I was gonna have to leave if you did. Ooh! Lens cares more about this bear than the whole stream. Can I just go by? That one is fine, I know him personally. <laughs> oh good. No problem here. Yep, I would agree. I get the surprise attack even though it just yeeted at me. We get a surprise opening attack. Ah, yes. All according to plan. What's common is Lil, but Lit, Lit, but Lit, Lit is also correct. Oof. How dare they? How dare they? I care more about that bear than I do about myself. I feel like that's everybody with a pet. Oh, baby. Offense went up by three. Defense went up by one. Luck went up by one. Maximum HP. Nice. Everybody that I know that has a pet is like, I care more about this pet than I do my own sanity and health. I'm not an enemy. I'm just a regular mole. Would you like to know how to survive battles? Uh, sure. You may have noticed that when you've been hurt badly in battle, you'll survive a mortal attack and still have one HP. If this has happened, it's because of your guts. Your survival may depend on your guts level. Also, your guts help you get more smashing hits. Okay, so Guts. So Guts will give you critical attacks and will also like give you just like a life-saving throw. For damage to be taken uh, from you, this is because you're rolling action on your HP meter. Oops, I mean your life. If an enemy deals mortal damage to you, but you defeat all the enemies before your life is gone, you survive. Oh, I see, so you gotta go fast. Are you gonna play Mother 3 as well? I don't think Mother 3 is available in North America, right, Indecision? Also, high indecision. I thought, uh, oh, the bear's dead. The bear is, can we revive it? Is it actually dead? That, <laughs> it's here. I think it's gone. It's gone and it died. Rest in peace, bear. Oh no, my bear, it's broken. My bear, it's dead. Oh wait, what? what is the original? It's uh, oh no, oh no, my bear, it's broken. <laughs> my bear is dead. Push me to the ledge, all my bears are dead. Hey, it's Ryla Shadow, thank you for the raid. <laughs> What's up, hi Ryla. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed your stream. Thank you so much for the raid. Hi, everybody. I hope that y'all aren't seeing an ad right now. Hi, hi, hi. You're playing Persona 5. Hey! Wait a second. Wait a second. You're playing a turn-based game as well. Aha! Uh -huh. Finally, I'm playing a turn-based game that can go along with your cool games that you play. Hey, how was Persona? Thanks for, thanks for the raid, Ryla. I hope y'all enjoyed the stream. Hi, Nikki Rabbit. Love hearing Kenny randomly from the side of the room. Oh, <laughs> you like hearing me just yell? <laughs> Ryla was amazing. Nice. You're making great progress. Awesome, so awesome, awesome, so awesome. Hey, yeah. I hope that you hope that y'all enjoyed the stream. It sounds like y'all did. I am definitely intrigued. I'm definitely intrigued by that. Uh, by that game. It looks like a lot of fun. And this game is lots of fun too. Um, these are like, I don't normally like turn-based games, but I feel like this, uh, these are pretty fast battles and the dialogue's funny enough that it makes me want to keep playing. I figured that I'd bring some people to say hi. That's so sweet of you. Thank you again, Ryla. I, I really appreciate it. If you need to go get yourself some food or, uh, go to the bathroom or do whatever, please do. Please take care of yourself. But if you want to hang out and watch some of this goofiness, oh my god, this game is ridiculous. All of the dialogue makes me laugh. So there's a pencil that we got to get rid of. For some weird reason, a pencil-shaped iron statue is blocking the path. <laughs> a pencil, a 
pencil-shaped iron statue is in the way. There's a puzzle. <laughs> Maybe you need some sort of invention. Yes, I'm gonna need something else. I'm gonna need something else. We gotta go back to town. We gotta go back to town. We're gonna talk to some people. We need like a magnet gun. Avoid the trees is something that I've been told. Lurk, I'm gonna take a run. I'm gonna take a run break and recover from the devastating loss of the bear. No! Linz, enjoy your run. Enjoy your run. We'll see you later. Everyone, please uh, remember our bear as they were. Remember, remember our bear child as they were. Not as they are now, which is dead. All right, beef is getting stronger. You also get to name your, uh, you get to name your character, you get to name three friends, you get to name your favorite item, you get to name your favorite food, and it makes the game even more entertaining. For example, my strongest psychic attack right now is called, uh, PSI Memes. We can attack any, we can attack any of these fools with memes. In fact, I'd love to do it right now. Huh. I cannot use my memes on them. I might need to heal myself. I wonder, do I have any, do I have any things that will restore PSI? Like the can of fruit juice, maybe? I know that a hamburger is for health only, but I'm wondering about this juice. Oh, Kim, enjoy your lurk. Get some rest. It was nice hanging out with you. Feels like a parent attempting to console their child about a fish dying. Oh no. Not a dead fish. Yeah, let's try. They drained two PP from me. I recovered five HP. That's it? That's it? Five HP and they drained the rest of Oh my gosh, that was absolute garbage. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna see if we can take them out. They have really frustrating it. Yeah, they're trying to drain my PP, but I have zero, so that's good. Honestly, they'd be frustrated going in, but but exiting this area, not too frustrating. But their attacks, they they barely even hurt me. <laughs> you fools! Oh, oh boy, here we go. You fools! I have 97 alternate accounts! Log on to my twitter.com. Okay, just, just kill that mobile plant. Kill it. Kill it. There we go, splendid. We've won again. Now let's go back to town. Beef is getting so strong. I can't believe it. Kenny, I sketched you something and... <laughs> Anne! Anne's just drawing beautiful pictures. Is it a dead bear now? <gasps> Ooh! Oh! No, this is a secret. Ooh! Ooh, it's giving me, it's giving me a little bit of don't starve energy. I like that. Oh, hey, what's up, William the Tiger Knight? Thank you for the follow. Uh, you just saw that this was added before you started playing it. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yesterday it was announced, and uh, I immediately started playing it. I had been I had been talking about wanting this game to be on the virtual console, and um, now I'm excited to get to finally play it. I'm going in pretty dang blind, and I've been having a lot of fun so far. Are you enjoying it, William? Have you, have you played the game before? But yeah, thanks for the follow. I hope you enjoy hanging out hanging out in one of the most wholesome places on the internet, except for all of the uh, jokes about uh, PowerPoints that we've been doing. And is that the and mine? It is. It is the and mine. They're, they're the one that's made all of my emotes. Commission them, pay them, give them money, let them draw you cool stuff. I flip and love it, Anne. <laughs> it, looks, <laughs> it looks amazing. <laughs> I want one. I'm trying to I'm trying to think about like yeah, that could maybe be used on merch. Anne's art is amazing. I know, right? No, right? All of us are just starting to uh is orange kid, apple kid. Check out what what's the deal with apple kid? Oh, these are the inventors. Well, I have sort of neglected doing my housework. 
I know it's a bit of a pigsty, but anyway, I'm Apple Kid. I haven't taken a bath in quite a while, so I may be kind of stinky. By the way, I'm starving. Do you have something to eat? If you do, can I have some? What can you give me? Here, have a hamburger. Thanks! You seem pretty nice. Um, I wonder if... Maybe you would like to invest some money in my inventions. Uh, I don't think I have any money. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, excuse me. I mean, thank you. By the way, I could really use $200. Uh, I have no money. Okay, 200 bucks. 200 bucks for this lad. Is this your assistant? I am a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. <laughs> <laughs> he can't introduce himself. He can't introduce himself. <laughs> You said, I did not even hear the announcement. I just saw that it was added when I pulled up the virtual console. Oh, nice. Nice. That's a good, that's a good surprise. Good surprises release of, of both of the, uh, not both of, but two of the Earth, the uh, Mother games. Very cool. Where's Mother 3, Nintendo? Thank you for the uh, follow. It's J. Cray Gray. <laughs> J. Cray Gray. How are you doing? Made you just one more sketch? Oh, my gosh. Hey, it's an Earthbound stream. It sure is. They just released the game on a virtual console. I've, I tried to play this game and I played like maybe 30 minutes on an emulator once. And I was like, I love this game, but I cannot stand to play this on an emulator. Uh, doth mine eyes receive me, Earthbound time. Oh, Rusty Keys, your eyes do not deceive you. It is indeed Earthbound time. <gasps> and... And no! Oh no. We've you guys, we've got an update for the bear. We've got an update for the bear sketch that's on the side of the screen. There's a bear that you can drag up that you can drag behind you that will help defend you. As you can see, I have no bear because it uh it freaking died. <laughs> and why? <laughs> the poor baby. The baby is dead. F's in the chat for the baby. Greetings, I am Orange Kid, the inventor. Have you heard of me? I'm a bit embarrassed about my reputation. I have a lot of inventions and development, but I'm running short of cash. I'm basically a happy-go-lucky person, so I'm not worried. You know, I'm working on this machine that would really help you in Peaceful Rest Valley. I hope it's ready soon. What? You're actually willing to help finance the project? Hmm. Oh, goody. Would you be okay to get me $200? Uh, certainly. Let's let's go get uh, 200 bucks. I, I want to pay this fancy guy. You played a bit on an emulator a while back. The fact that the person that I... <laughs> the fact that I, the person that I was lurking rated you to a game that I'm playing that I just started IRL, I think is the world telling me to play more. Yes! <laughs> In fact, not only the world, but I am directly telling you, William, play more. <laughs> uh, Nanoski, you can find the guide that came with it online for free. It's on the Nintendo J Japanese site, but Googling it will find it. Ooh, that's a, that's a good idea for anybody playing the game. I think, thankfully, my chat understands this game pretty well. So thankfully, they're giving me tips. They're giving me tips and keeping me updated. Maybe none of my business, but I think that it'd be a good idea if you took a break. What do you guys think? Should we take a break? No, absolutely not. Get out of here, Dad. Click beep. All right, we gotta get two hundred dollars. Pay this man. In fact, let's let's shut up, Dad. You don't know me. You're not my dad. <laughs> let's get four hundred dollars. I'm gonna pay the orange guy first because. He actually cleans his room. If you clean your room, you could be the number one lobster. If you look at a historical lens through philosophy, you'll find that cleaning your room is very good for you. Uh, <laughs> I trust a stinky guy. You do? You trust the stinker? I mean, to be fair, Steve Jobs, oh wait, not Steve Jobs, he's dead. 
I almost said Karl Marx. He's dead too. Who's the other guy? Steve Jobs, Karl Marx. Uh, Bill Gates. That's the third guy. Yeah, Bill Gates. He did say that he would rather hire a lazy person because it's clear that they know how to cut corners and they'll probably be able to do work more efficiently. Or at least I think he said that. Why is the perspective like that? Because it's art. Look, it's, it's artistic game. Look it up when you get the chance. It's written in some funny manner of the game. <laughs> the game's written in. You will not be disappointed. Oh, so it's just funny. Nice. You can hire me then. <laughs> Maybe it's just a trapezoid room. P -p Patty, where are you? It's time for a yummy piece of pie. <laughs> what? <laughs> her dad's trying to lure her out with a piece of pie. Patty, please come home. We have pie. Oh wait, I think I don't have to walk this way. You need to need to give those inventors some money. It's the only thing that'll get things invented these days. Oh my gosh, it's crazy zombie over there. Stay away from me, man. Dang it, I was going the right way. Elon Musk? No. I don't quote Elon Musk. I don't think I've met a single child who liked pie more than any other sweet. What? More than any other sweet? I flippin' love pie, but to be fair, I'm not exactly a child. Uh, pie? Pie is way better than any other sweet, in my opinion. I'd rather have pie than cookies, cake, candy. Pie is just delicious. I love anything that has a, a fruit filling. Fruit, fruit makes any sweet better. What town am I am? I, I'm in Tucson right now, Grummy. Grummy? Is it ga garummy? Garummy! <laughs> uh, gre greetings. I'm Orange Kid. Uh, yes, we've already we've already been through this. We just brought you some cash, Sonny. Here, I'll fund you. Mm-hmm. Here you go. Oh, goody. Two hundred dollars. Let me give you my new super orange machine. I call it Saporma. Saporma for short. Super orange machine, Saporma. Mmm, beef got the Saporma. Please use it for spreading peace and goodwill on Earth. Pretty good. Power level, that's my best advice for this game. Power level, what, you just saying grind it? Grind it, get strong? My power level is only 35? I'm a weakling. Uh, oh, actually my psychic point's looking good. If I could find another butterfly, then I could heal myself, and then I'd be I'd be ready to rock. Should I give money to the apple kid, too? He'll, he might invent something, but he did not say that it would help me pass a pencil. Orange kid said that it would help. Apple kid's just like a, a degenerate. Look at him. <laughs> him and his mouse roommate. And his open can, no problem here, except for it being a mess. See? <laughs> it seems like you're expecting something from me. Maybe you would like to invest some money in my inventions. Yes, yes. I could use $200. Thank you, I won't let you down. The mouse is like, I'm out of here. This guy's been begging. Oh, it, oh, I think I get to take his mouse. I am a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. You took care of my master. In return, I want to give you this. Please take it and say nothing. Pay $200, and we got the receiver phone. Oh, I must be in your way. Zoop. The receiver phone? Does this mean I get to call my dad anytime? Receiver phone. This phone only receives calls. Oh, okay. That, that's really weird. So now we can receive calls from, uh, I guess, Dad? Maybe more? But I was already accepting certain calls from Dad, wasn't I? Receiver phone. Apple Kid's invention. Now you can receive important calls. Great. Well, uh, that's definitely worth $200. It's difficult to say which inventor is better. Like comparing... Uh, okay. So, I guess we're gonna go try to save her, right? Uh, this is not the way. Isn't it up here? 
Trying to remember where we're supposed to go. I really need to just find one butterfly. One butterfly, then we can go uh, sharpen that pencil. Uh, it's this way. What'd you say? I guess I will play the NES version first. Oh, yeah. The NES version is available. I uh, I was told that it was extremely difficult. And I really wanted to play Earth this, uh, this specific game anyway. This is just called Earthbound, right? Yeah, I, I wanted to play this game more anyhow. But then people told me the other one was difficult and that uh, was enough to make me uh, chicken out. Should we go buy another teddy bear? Should we just accept that this one's dead and we'll and we'll never get another one? Doo -doo. Okay, let's uh, Magic Butterfly made me relax. This is Earthbound, aka Mother 2. Yes! I've always I've always wanted to play this. Dang. Our psychic points are maxed out, but we kinda have to heal. You will find more red baby friends. <laughs> Sweet little babies. I'm pretty sure it's just a bear, but okay. Life can be hard to bear. I've got you, friend. You can buy more? Of course. <gasps> oh, I turned around just in time. Why you have no money? Uh, because, Grammy, if you die, then you lose half of your cash. Oh, I didn't want to attack like that. I wanted to use my PSI. But yeah, I just don't keep money on me just in case. You ain't take none out. Yeah, it's in my it's in my ATM. Disk, disk. <laughs> you want me to just carry around all my money? You like to live dangerously. You're trying to you're trying to put all my life savings on the line. I like that. How's Earth How's the Earth bounding going? Pretty great. Pretty great. We just got a uh, we just got an invention. They get rid of a steel pencil. No tisk tisk to the dying. Ah, I've died a couple of times now. I died to the first boss, and then I also randomly died whenever I punched myself in the face because I, w I had a mushroom growing out of my head and I didn't know how that worked. They tried to sow some seeds, but they didn't sprout, dude. It stopped moving. Sprout, sprout, sprout! Let's see, how close are we to leveling up? Uh, a thousand? Gotta kill a few more sprouts. That's how I played the game too? We're paranoid. You bet we are. Gotta make sure that we don't lose our hard-earned capital. Alright, this this little guy, I don't think that he drains your uh your psychic points. I'm just I'm just gonna punch it. Nighttime stuffiness. He sneezed and received damage. What? <laughs> what is this? Um, he gave me, he gave me drippy boogers, and he dodged. Section coming up is a huge pain. I'd suggest grinding. Oh, all right, before the pencil, pre-pencil grind. That's a, I think that's a pretty well-known uh, strategy, the pre-pencil grind. Well, let's knock out the pencil, and then we'll go back down here. Good thing you've got your cold remedy. Oh, yeah. I bet this works like, like Pokemon, doesn't it? Works like Pokemon where it'll keep draining you as you walk around. We're sniffling. Yeah, let's take that remedy. Beef drank the cold remedy. Beef got over the cold. Oh boy. Still use plenty of PSI attacks. We're supposed to be grinding enemies, so let's not let's not avoid them too much now. If that butterfly shows up all the time, it would be really sweet to just be able to just walk out of here. Restore all of our health and power. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm gonna take like a couple more hits and then I'll uh, I use my life, my life health thing. I'm gonna sneak past these. All right. Let's try using this for starters. Gave me the Saporma. Saporma sang the song "Ode to Orange Kid." As soon as it finished, the machine broke down. <laughs> what? For some reason... It sang a song and broke? <laughs> I 
What? It's gone. It's gone. It broke. What? What? It broke. We got to use the receiver phone on it. It's the only choice. It can't be used here. I would have warned you, warned you, but you insulted my homeboy Apple Kid. I, listen, listen. I'm glad to be fooled. At least, at least Orange Kid treated me like a king. He treated me like the king that I am. And you know what? That's worth two hundred dollars alone. He may have given me a horrible product, just like that juicer. <laughs> I just bought one of those fancy juicers. Okay. All right. Let's hit both of these with the memes. Ow! That's a horrible sound effect. Never trust a man in a sweater. By the way, I'm not in a sweater. Somebody complimented me on my sweater earlier. This is not a sweater. This is called a hoodie. A sweater has to be like woven. This is not woven. This is just a shirt with a hood on it. Big baggy shirt with some fluff on the inside. Okay, so I'm fully, fully trustworthy. Okay, if we can escape, that would be rad, so that we can heal. But, either way, I'm gonna have to heal, so I'll just, I'll just do it right now. Just in case. Bang, bang, boom! It only said 86. I don't think that it maxed out my health. Stupid plant. Gosh darn it. There's no escape. You confronted the mobile sprout. I just... Just kill him. It's gonna drain all of our power points. Kill him! Gosh darn it. Get him! You need a clever pun? That's that's how you defeat a pencil? How do you defeat an iron pencil? So I'm supposed to go... Okay, well maybe... Maybe uh, Orange Boy's worked on his invention. Or uh, Apple Boy. I guess I just gotta beat them up. I could try to run away. What are the odds? Ah, I couldn't get away! No! Not my pee pee! No! <laughs> okay. Beef does not have any pee pee. That is, that is too bad. We're, we are down to zero. Okay, I've gotta, every, every round apparently in battle. It like ups the chance of you being able to escape. Does sleeping restore my PP? <laughs> it does. The answer is yes. Oh no! My Saporma! It's broken! What have you got there? A Saporma? No. I get him. I'm sorry if y'all hate that voice. <laughs> but I'm also kind of not sorry. Beef's level is now 16. Oh, baby! Offense went up by four. Speed went up by one. Oh, baby! Guts went up by three. We are lucky. Holy moly. Wow, sweet! Maximum HP went up by 23. Maximum PP went up by five. Wow, that was a heck of a level. That was one heck of a leveler. Let's get out of here and restore everything. Apparently our Saparma is just vaporware. Oh, receiving a call. Hello, this is Apple. H Hello, this is Apple Kid. I have just finished work on your, on my great invention. Get over here as fast as you can. This thing is so cool. See you soon. Slam. All right, go say hi. Oh, hey, welcome back. Welcome back, Kelly. Now it's time to relax. Poor Calico with their fried brain. Fried brains for dinner? Not again. All right, we gotta find some butterflies. Surely there's some butterflies somewhere in town. We just gotta catch them and eat them. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Butterfly lunch. This dog, this dog is so disturbed. It knows what happened to Patty. I can go pick up the real invention from the real inventor. If Apple Kid's invention explodes, I'm gonna be big mad. 
Wait. Am I supposed to go? <sighs> My stupid. <laughs> ah, what am I looking at at the bottom right? That's our bear that died. That's the cute little red bear that, that you get in this game. But unfortunately, it, it perished. So that that is it being dead. And, and doodled it. <laughs> cereal for dinner. Mmm. I just had some... I had some cereal this morning that was... Um, I tried Honey Nut Cheerios with raisins in it. Let me tell you what. That is a, that sh that'll put you into a sugar coma. It was so sweet. I could feel my teeth rotting out of my... Rotting out of my skull. Every bite. Alright, this little brat over here. Are you looking for the so-called genius Apple Kid? As a true genius, I'll tell you that he's in Berglund Park looking for you. you little turd. You gave, me, you gave me vaporware. And I showed it off to my friends and they were so impressed and then all of a sudden... <laughs> broken my hands, embarrassing me deeply. Where's the park at? Uh, hey! Thank you for the follow, Nanoski. If that is how to say your... Did you see that? Aha! Uh, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> well, 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 what do we have here? <laughs> Alright. Lemonberry, what's up? Oi, 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 it's good to see you. Hiya, Lemon. Where is that uh, apple kid? Where is that little rapscallion? Oh, there he is. Under the tree. I'm feeling really out of it because I've been working all night. But finally, the pencil eraser is ready. The pencil eraser? This machine will eradicate, eradicate all pencil-shaped figures in just one second. It's incredibly powerful. Don't use it near a shop that sells pencils. Here, it's yours now. Great, the pencil eradicator. The, the pencil eraser. If I invent if I invent some other brilliant item, I'll call you. Great. The it destroys pencils. How incredibly useful in all different applications. And you sent another ooh. <laughs> Definitely don't start vibes going on. I <laughs> is this just is this just an amazing sketch. Are you trying to encourage me to drink more coffee? <laughs> get it? It's a pencil eraser! It erases pencils! I get it. <laughs> this stupid game. This stupid game. Why do I love you so much? La la. Do 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 do. Alright, it's time to go erase that pencil. Uh, oh wait, I never found a butterfly. Oh! Well, 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 what do we have here? I don't think that this restores all of your, uh... It made you relax, okay. I think it heals like half right now. Yeah, 25 out of 50. Hit points are a tiny bit low. If I can find one more butterfly, then I don't have to spend the money to go to the hotel. Do people normally just play this game and just pay to go to hotels? Oh, you just got blocked, son. See you later. It restores only 20. Ah, this butterfly is definitely worth it, even if I run into this guy. I just want to make sure that if he runs into me, I don't... He doesn't attack me from the back. Hotel is cheap. I mean, it's like 50 bucks, I think. I guess it, I guess I am kind of being a cheapskate. But then again, I mean, look, I just saved 50 bucks looking for a butterfly. It's like a... I mean, think about it. If every butterfly that you picked up gave you fifty dollars, would you do it? Like, would you pick them all up? Would you go searching for them? I mean, fifty bucks is nothing to sniff at. I don't think. I guess I did just buy an item that was like way more than that. Three hundred or something. Uh, let's really quick heal. Max health. Boom. Max PP. Uh, I pick up butterflies for free. They don't enjoy it. Please don't. Just put some honey on your hand or something. Just let them crawl on you. Or capture them in a little in a little claw grasp, like uh, like Gandalf. 
Have to get ready for some sleep. Oh, thank you for the lurk, Anne. Get ready for your sleep sleep. I love your sketches so much. I love them. Hello, plant. Hello, second plant. Plus, you wasted 200 bucks on trusting Orange Man. What do you mean? It's called, uh, listen, this game was made for entertainment, and I was thoroughly entertained by the fact that Orange Man tricked me, okay? Don't pick on me for how I enjoy playing this game. Bash him. Bash that plant. Boom. Give him another bash. Him. Boom. Dead. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's how many animals were eradicated, or almost eradicated. They were only valued for their pelt. Listen, this is a fake game, please. <laughs> no. No. I would never an actual. I would never do that to an actual animal. The butterflies were worth fifty dollars. I mean. It's all part of the Earthbound experience. It's true. It's true. I'm Zombie Food. What's up? How are you doing? Oi, oi, oi. We're beating up uh, sprouts. Be we're beating up plants. Great, their HP's maxed out. So they basically just like heal themselves. They either do a tiny bit of damage or they drain my... Uh... No! Drain three of my psychic points. Blasted. Dumb, dumb. Maybe I should be grinding on those mushrooms outside. Hmm. Because they should be easier to kill than these stupid plants. And at least they don't drain your, uh, your psychic points. Ah, uh, great, there's plants outside still. Gosh darn it. Rambling evil mushroom might be a better, better thing to get, get some XP with. Kaboom! Uh... Not working out. This is not working out. Not even a. Not even my meme attack kills anything anymore. Lance outside. Fascinating. Yeah, I'm not sure. Cause I, I. Oh, but the mushrooms can like give me this weird poison effect thing. Uh, I don't know how to solve that. They said that you can't go to the doctor for this, right? Oh boy, I got a freaking mushroom on my head. <laughs> no. Everything seems to be going fine. Controls just like it used to. Uh, I hear you avoiding saying drain my pee pee. Yes, <laughs> I am. <laughs> Psychic points. A girl outside the cave with mushrooms will buy it. She'll buy the mushroom off your head? That is genius. That is genius. I love that. Uh, so. Our point is still looking good. Let's let's beat up some musha musha then. The girl, or go to the blue-haired man in the hospital. All right, good good. Couple of options. Well, we'll just use up all of our psychic points first. Ooh, good hit. Good hit, baby. What? There's another one. What's going on? Hey, Ashley Rose. Thank you for the doggos. How are you doing, Ashley? Hiya, hiya! Thanks for thanks for Noman. I'm surprised that. Oh, here we go. I was gonna try to make a gnome joke, like say something like, "Ah, oh, how did you gnome that was there?" or something. But I, I give up. I give up. How are you doing, Ashley? Hey, spooky vibes. What's up? Spooky vibes. Wait a second. That's a name I haven't heard in a while. Hiya, spooky vibes. Hope you're having a good day. We're playing. Uh, we're playing some fresh. Some fresh spicy RPG madness. We just we just received a new item, the pencil eraser, that we can eradicate any pencil with. And I also have a um I also have a mushroom growing out of my head. Very exciting stuff. Just so long Oh, okay. I hit myself. We're leaving. I was just gonna I was just gonna wait until I punched myself in the face. Now nah, it's time to leave. Tried to get away, and did. And the longer you do the battle, the more of a chance you get to escape, and uh, my controls are kind of messed up. Oh no. My controls are broken now. <sighs> can I, can I just hit him once? Yes. I killed him, yes. I'm walking, now all my, a lot of my uh, controls are like backwards now. 
No. Back to normal? Eh? Okay. Uh, 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 ah! Stupid plant! Leave me alone! <laughs> Confront the beast. Kill the beast. I could accidentally kill myself, though. That would not be good. Uh, it's been a while. You just finished up college? Hey, nice! Congratulations! Congratulations on finishing college? What the heck? If you don't mind me asking, what did you, uh, what did you major in? Congratulations on your gigantic achievement. And you got more free time now? Nice! Nice, nice, nice. Shrooms are bad, okay? Okay, now, what we're gonna teach you class today is, uh, mm, I'm gonna, uh shrooms are bad, okay? Uh, you see a mushroom, uh, run away from it. <laughs> okay. Do, 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 do. Doing good, I'm in bed already. I woke up at 1 a.m., so I'm a sleepy bean. Ah, it just messed up. My controls are messed up again. They're different. They're... I'm rotating my controller. It's not helping. Okay. I'm gonna try to go to the mushroom girl. See if we can make it over there. You do it. Uh, ah, let me through. I'm just walking backwards. Let's see if there's anything in here. Might have to eat like a hamburger or something. We can get lucky. Ooh, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Glad that you're liking it around here. Grow, uh, grow me, grow me. Is it just grow me? Sorry. Lucky duck. I am a lucky duck. Let me out. How do I get out? Okay. No, 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 don't go in there. Please take this away. Take this cup away. Take it away. Father, is there any other way? Humdee dum dee dum. I'm hunting for mushrooms. Hey, would you be willing to sell that mushroom on your head for 50 bucks? Uh, heck yes. Power level? Do you mean just like leveling up? You mean just like leveling up and getting stronger? He's currently struggling with walking. It's because I had a mushroom on my head. Don't make me look stupid. Uh, <laughs> thank you. It was a lot. LOL. Just finished a master's in sustainability. Ooh. Sustainability, you say? It sounds like it sounds like a very valuable, helpful thing for humanity to have more people with degrees in that. <laughs> I know how to grammar. You could use those 50 smackaroons to sleep it off in the hotel. That's true. In fact, I wouldn't even have to pull out a deposit or anything. I say we do that. So can you just leave and check again? Yo, that's cheese, dude. Wait a second. Wait a second. This game's cheesable? Okay, look, there's two plants in the way. Just go back in here. Right back out, see what happens out. <laughs> Epicness! Oh yeah! Thanks for the follow. Okay. <laughs> okay! Ah! <laughs> Frick! Gosh darn it! No! And they get a free attack. Them and their cohorts. Oh yeah! Just in time to see me die! Uh, in fact, I think they're gonna get to attack me before I can even uh, heal myself. I just wanted to go back and sleep. I just wanted my cheese. I guess I can try to escape them. I'm gonna freaking die, you guys. This is not good. I should have just despawned them. No! Ah, uh, no! Ah! Let me run away! <laughs> oh wait, my pee pee! I forgot about that. I should have been healing. I'm a fool. Oh my god, I forgot that I still had psychic points. Good lord. Okay, now we blast him with the memes. That is mad cheese, I know! I know, it's pretty nice, right? Great, we killed him in one shot. I kind of forgot that I had still had uh, psychic points. Okay, to the hotel to heal. You forgot about your pee pee? I did. Forgot all about it for a minute. And it almost cost me my life. I'll never forget about it ever again. To the hotel! Oh wait, there's a butterfly up there. So I guess you can get up there, huh? Interesting. 
interesting. Well, we can't do it right now. And uh, we're about to pay for restoration anyhow. I want it to be as worth it as possible. All right, all right. Y'all all want a tango? Hit him with the memes. Oh, wait, I don't have enough. Oh, dear. Don't have enough for that. I guess I'm just gonna bash this police a few times. Make it a loud, piercing howl. One HP. Oh, no. That's weird. There's a butterfly there because I don't think you can get up there. Mmm. Sometimes they spawn in unreachable places. That's too bad. They're just taunting you. They're like, you could have a butterfly. Cop is dead. You should be able to just one-shot these dogs. I guess because the dogs joined in on an already active fight, then it didn't automatically kill them. BRB, mom's home! All right. Calico, we'll see you in a bit. Go say hi to mom. Say hi to mom for us. And we escaped the hippie noise. Now we can see the PTSD dog. There was a kidnapping. Believe me, even though I'm just a dog. There was a kidnapping. My eyes have been bulging out ever since I lost my owner. Hotel's over here, right? Yeah. The hotel with the jams. Got the music, it's got the dancing, it's got everything that you need. Call dad real quick. Beef, it's your dad. I deposited $600 into your bank. Now I got $1,200. Uh, I guess we can record it, I suppose. Alright, nice. Give me, give me the health, Sonny. Cost you 50 bucks. Let's do it. That's exactly what I got. Dot, dot. Beef! I, Patty. I am Patty. <laughs> Can you hear me calling you? Help! Taskete kudasai! Come and help me. Um, I don't know where I am. I can hear water running in the distance. Beef, please help me. All right. I'm coming. I'm coming, Patty. I just had to make sure I had enough health. Oh, there's, uh, there's an attendant at my door. Hello, sir. How, how about reading the newspaper before you go? Here's this morning's Tucson Tribune headline. The brave local hero named Beef who broke up the sharks has left Onet. Reports that the mayor has stopped the sharks. Uh, reports that the mayor stopped the sharks have been proven to be false. Oh, nice. You can lurk in cross stitch. Ooh, enjoy. Awesome sauce. Cross stitching is so cool. I want to get. I want to get a uh, kit for that. I feel like it would be more enjoyable than trying to do that puzzle that Calico gave me. The puzzle is obscenely difficult, and I don't think I'm going to go to the trouble. Cross-stitching some, like, pixel Pokemon sounds really fun. I am sure that there are kits on Etsy and Amazon to make, like, uh, Pokemons. Okay, so I can go fight stuff. I'm all healed up. My status, I'm level 16. And let's see, I'm a thousand experience points away from my level up. Hmm. I have been warned not to continue too far because of those dang trees. There's plants and UFOs in the main area. At least the UFOs can't put effects on you. The plants can drain your psychic points and the mushrooms can... Uh, and infect your brain. But you also get $50 from the mushrooms if you get one on your head and you sell it to the girl. Kind of a kind of a tough call. I I think that maybe like before we before we go back to the hotel, get infected with a mushroom on purpose. It's a butterfly in here. I got my sister kit to do a baby Yoda cross stitch before. It was alarmingly cute. Aw. Baby Yoda. Baby yogurt. Adorable. You can farm mushrooms. Yeah, and just make make mad capital. I if I farmed mushrooms, I could get money and get money and also experience. 
What are these? How many experience points do I get? 133. 133 for a plant. The only cost is your sanity. Well, I mean, I, I don't think that you have to level for like too long in this game. And thankfully, the combat's really fun. So it's 133 for a plant. Guess I could have continued to check the UFOs, but there's another butterfly. What the heck? Uh, I don't even think that I have anything to heal. Okay, let's check these boys. These two lads, these two lanky lads, rambling, rambling rough head, rough neck mushroom. Beat them up. Use your pyro means against Oh yeah, that's right. Oh wait, this is gonna be all jacked up. 190? Okay, so plants are definitely worth more. Plants give you more XP. Ah, oh, there you go. That's another unreachable. Oh no! <laughs> they tricked me. I didn't. I didn't realize that was uh, that was uh, enemy. I thought it was just. Uh, I thought it was just an actual sprout. I'm glad you think the combat is fun. I can see how it's boring for some people, especially today. No, this combat's really fun. It's super. It's super fast. Feels really like visceral and speedy. I love the counter at the bottom. The simplicity I also like. I'm sure that it gets a little more complicated later. Music's fun. Enemies are funny. I really like it. If if most turn-based games were like this, I'd enjoy them a lot more. Zoop. Like, Octopath Traveler got to be just like... It took forever to get anywhere. Story wasn't too interesting. And they had, like, the combat... Yeah, if you just, like, ran into a tiny enemy, then the combat would take forever. And this one, it kicks straight into combat. You can kill them really quick. Or it'll just auto-kill them automatically. The butterfly was a distraction. They're tag-teaming! I know! The, but the butterfly and the plant, they're working together. Listen. I knew that butterfly was a plant the entire time. All right, we got a cohort. If if we've got cohorts, we're gonna use the memes. Boom! You wanna see a baby yoga cross stitch? No! <laughs> a baby doing yoga? Uh, I didn't kill either one of them, hey? Yeah, let's hit him with the memes one more time. Sowed some seeds. Oh no. Now we got a bunch of plants. Hey, bash, bash his head in. Bash in that plant. Beef attacks just missed. What? I missed? Okay, I'm actually gonna try to kill this UFO. That sound effect is, it hurts my ears. Perish. Health maxed out. Just gotta hit it a couple times, I think. Ah, it doesn't have enough psychic points. A shame, really. They're probably about to try to drain mine. Did I, I, I removed and eradicated the pencil, right? I was told that I need to avoid the trees. Kind of want to take a look at them, though. For some weird reason, a pencil-shaped thing is blocking the path. Oh, you're going to go to sleep and get some rest. It was nice to hang out with you. I hope that you enjoy your day tomorrow. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Good luck, sleep good. For some reason, the iron pencil statue was erased. I like the Thanos snap effect. Avoid the trees. What trees? See no trees? Oh, is it a picture guy? It is! <laughs> Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say Fuzzy Pickles! Fuzzy Pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Please go away. <laughs> uh, guys, guys, guys! Did anybody see the new Jurassic World trailer? I'm literally crying! What? Jurassic World? Is it a game? I'm guessing you said trailer, so is it a movie? 
it a movie or is it a Jurassic World Dominion? Dominion. Let's see, it was released eight hours ago. Sam Neill, Jeff Goldblum, Laura Dern returned to the franchise in the final film of the Jurassic World. Jeff Goldblum, yes, please. Yes, please, bon, bon appetit. If Jeff Bl Goldblum is in it, I'm actually going to be tempted to watch it now. So it's called Jurassic World Dominion. But does it still have Chris Pratt in it? <laughs> Action packed. Let's see. These people are back as the original, but it also has them joining Chris Pratt. Well. Well, I mean. Uh, let's uh, let's bash in this UFO skull, shall we? Is that the OGs of the Jurassic Park, y'all? Yeah, Jeff Goldblum's the best. Hey, Kareem, I kind of lost track of the Jurassic Park franchise after the first and new reboots, but le don't let me slow your roll, hype! Yeah, I'm glad that you're excited. Glad you're excited. It it looks pretty good. I haven't watched it though. Uh, the trailer that is. But just by the uh, just by the admission that they've got all these classic actors, that looks very it looks very interesting. Ooh. Oh, there it is. There's one of them. Sorry, I'm a big dinosaur fan. Don't apologize. Don't apologize. I'm glad that you're excited. New movie. New movie. New movie. Fresh film. Oh, fresh. You want to slide up here, Shani? They seem kind of slow, don't they? Ness looks disturbed. Uh, make like a tree and get out of here. <laughs> we got to make like a tree and leaf. I, it's even worse up close. I can't get, I'm not ready. I don't want to, I don't want to fight it. I just want it to despawn. We probably need to like go buy some hamburgers just in case. I saw a butterfly over there. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's a dead tree. Good, 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 good. Give me that. Fight it. I don't want to fight it. Help. All right. Nice. We escaped it. <laughs> All of these are normal trees. You got to watch for their wiggly. You got to watch for the wiggly roots. Wigglers. Hashtag wigglers. The music is so spooky in this game. I love it. There's one. They're very obvious. I appreciate that. Present up here. There's also a present like way up north. There's a travel charm inside. What? Oh, also that's a new, new enemy right there. Oh dear. Travel charm. What does this do? Travel charm is one of the items that can be equipped. Oh. Let's check what information we got about it. Instead of using. Travel charm must be equipped on your body. It protects you from paralysis attacks. Paralysis. That's that's not what the That's not what the mushroom gives me, right? Well, let's put it on anyway, just in case we don't have anything else to replace it with. Is this cube thing let's let's see let's see if we can survive a, 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 a battle with oh my god a spinning robot uh oh, um let's uh let's life up real quick just in case that it tries to kill me immediately fire to beam all right 14 damage i think let's give him the old uh we could either bash him or we could use beam attacks 44, not bad. Tried to use a shield. Now it's got a shield around it. Hmm. Don't know if PSI goes through shields. Nighttime st stuffiness. <laughs> Satellite man, take me by the hand. Oh, okay. They're not too hard to beat, but he did make me get all stuffy. Beef's level is now 17. Defense went up by one. Maximum HP, maximum PP. Okay, that was a that was a really weak level up. That was really really unlucky. Sneeze damage, sick. <laughs> Dude, sick. 
So Ness is sick as heck. Uh, what healing PSI do you have? Oh yeah, good point. I do have healing. Tried healing A. Beef got over the cold. Nice. Yeah, I've got healing, and I've also got a psychic attack. Let's take a look. You've been really lucky with the level up so far. It has to balance. Yeah, it do always be like that. Yeah, now I have hypnosis and paralysis, which is probably good for, like, making enemies uh, feel less damage. But these guys seem pretty manageable. Six, 16 HP attack. It says that they're shielded, but I'm guessing that that's a shield against, like, psychic attacks. Because my physical attacks still work. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Don't even have the sniffles anymore. What a, what a marked improvement. Beef, open the present. There's a luck capsule inside. Beef takes it. Hypnosis and paralysis are best for boss fights. Yeah, yeah. Maybe not maybe not worth the effort for all these little little enemies. Luck capsule, hey? Luck capsule. It increases your luck when taken. Like permanently? Beef drank the luck capsule. Beef's luck went up by one. Permanently? Yo, sweet. Could we get some more pills, please? Could I please get some more pills? Uh, rock on, dude. Oh, heck yes. Permanent. Incredible. Please, please more. Please, sir, may I have some more? Shot a beam that causes nighttime stuffing. It's great. Fantastic. <laughs> Thankfully, I now know that I can, uh... I'm also dodging some of his, uh, some of the moves. He's also dodging some of the moves, that rascal. The name Beef keeps reminding me of the Great North. A great cartoon, 10 out of 10, would definitely recommend. Is the Great North, that's a like adult cartoon, right? Right? I think I've seen, I think I saw commercials for it. Yeah, by the people that made the, uh, I mean, obviously it looks exactly like Bob's Burgers. It's by the same creator. Who was the lead talent in it? Nick Offerman, the guy that's like America in community or something. Will Forte. Jen, Jenny Slate. I don't I don't know any of the rest of these people. I don't think. I know that guy though. I've seen the memes. I've seen him throwing computers away or something. Bob's burger esque. Yeah, it's it's just made by the same creator, right? Seems like a lot of uh cartoons like that are um Like Futurama used the same style, like uh, Rick and Morty's extra one was, um, ah, whatever, it's a, it's a thing. It's a whole thing going on. Rick, it's called, what is the Rick and Morty like sequel thing called that's made by the same creator? I can't remember. Hey, it's Drooby. Oi, Drooby, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. We're playing this, we're playing this spicy game right now. Yo, Drooby. It's good to see you. I had a lot of people that whenever I, whenever I most recently raided you, they were like, oh my, his voice is so fancy. So let me, let me be, uh, certainly not the first to compliment you on your, on your fancy, beautiful voice. How you, how you been doing, my friend? You also totally inspired me to start up uh, Sekiro, so that I've been playing it. <laughs> I've been playing it every night now. You playing those hard games? You got me good. Okay, let me see. All right, all right, all right. Maybe we need a heal. I don't know. I think we gotta get the heck out of here. Oh wait. Oh, I still got the sniffles. Oh, I do. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. We gotta heal ourselves. This ain't no good. We got the sniffies. Ah uh, yes, Sekiro! It's so much fun! I'm super frustrated because I'm at, um, I'm trying to fight the, the bull. The flaming bull with, like, the firebrands on its horns. It is such a freaking frustrating fight. Freaking frustrating fight. I fought the first boss and didn't have any problem. Like, I beat the first boss, just kind of crushed it. 
was crushing the little individuals that I ran into. But as soon as I hit that bull, I was just like, great. I knew I'd run into one of these. I just didn't expect it to be so soon. I've never beaten, I've never beaten the game before. Ooh. You used some CRISPR technology and made a dragon? What? <laughs> what? What? Nick Offerman making wood things and he was Ron on Parks and Rec. Oh. Parks and Recreation? CRISPR technology? I'm getting concerned. I don't remember what that is. <laughs> Something to do with genetics or atoms? Oh boy, there's a tree. How am I gonna... What am I gonna do now? I feel like I'm trapped on this island. Trapped on this island, but I did get a butterfly. Can I just keep respawning butterflies over here? As long as I can heal myself. Guess I can try to find a way out of here. Gotta learn how to jump. Ooh. Harmon Quest and Crapopolis are the, are the Dan Harmon shows? Yeah, I was thinking of the other one. Uh, Dan Harmon and... Why can't I remember names today? I really can't. J Justin Rowland. His other show is the space show. It's like, it's opposite, solar opposites. That's what it's called, solar opposites. It's pretty funny. I think I like it more than uh, Rick and Morty, to be honest. Rick and Morty got, uh, it's been a little bit, I think overhyped just a tiny bit. It's still a very funny show. There's certainly nothing wrong with enjoying it. And I do enjoy it a bit, but I think it got kind of overhyped and uh, super saturated. And uh, that, that did not encourage me to enjoy it. Alert! Beef's condition is critical. He'll collapse if his, if his condition isn't treated. Be careful. I know, I know. I'll heal myself. There you go. First we get over the cold. Now we'll life it up. I don't think I'm gonna get full health out of this. But I'll get close. Oh yeah, baby. I'm feeling pretty good now. Now I'm ready to kill. I feel empowered to kill. Then we could go down here somehow. Cause I know there's I know there's a pressure down there. You'll have to check the show out. It's uh, I think it's only on Hulu. But of course you could always uh, steal it. It's uh it's pretty funny. It is uh, very, very violent and uh, has childish humor in it, but I, I find it pretty entertaining. It also gets serious sometimes, which I find extra funny. <laughs> it has some like serious, really heartfelt moments, and uh, it is it is funny to contrast with the rest of the show. I think that they have a, they have a whole episode in that show that is only serious, and they 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 do it pretty well whenever they play it straight. Do I like Final Space? I've heard of that. Final Space. Let me just Google this really quick. I've heard of that, but I cannot remember it. Oh, that yeah, that's by the that's by the the Storytime guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I used to watch his original videos whenever he, uh, Olin Rogers. He used to be. He used to have a channel. I'm trying to remember what it was called, but it was with a bunch of his friends. Ooh, I'm so bad with names right now. But he had a channel with, with friends where he'd do sketch comedy. I used to watch those whenever I was a kid. I saw I saw the like uh either the funding thing that he did for Final Space or the video that he did about it, and it I'm really excited for him. I'm really excited for him. I hope it goes really well. It doesn't really seem like my cup of tea. It seems too silly. I mean, uh, not, not even really silly. Actually, serious is the problem. I don't know. It, it seems like it kind of takes itself serious, but uh, I'm not absolutely avoid. I mean, I kind of want to see what this tree does, yo. I kind of want to tangle with the with these tangles a little bit. Hmm? It's been canceled after three seasons. I mean, that's still impressive. The fact that Olin got a single season, I, I find extremely impressive and very cool. I mean, good for him. What an absolute king. Uh, you're also back. Hey, Callie, Linz, welcome back. I'm being attacked by a tree that is obviously dragging grass onto this bridge. Uh, my status, I just grabbed a butterfly, so my PSI is almost maxed. My hit points look pretty good. Can I really not kill this tree? 
Can I really not kill this? I'm level 17. I'm a grown man. I'm killing it, dude. I'm murdering this tree. Oh, yeah. Look at him. Look at him. He seems friendly enough. I'm not scared of him. What? What? What is? What's to be frightened about? We can kill it, man. Even if you kill it, it'll wreck you afterwards. What? You can if you're on your way to the hotel anyway. Mm, yeah, this is a happy little tree. It's a happy little Bob Ross tree. Now we just gotta beat the devil out of this little kid. <laughs> Hello! I took a break from Twitch for a while and I vaguely remember you. It's 72 squirrels in a skin suit. I remember you. Hey, it's me, the Earl of Squirrel, aka the Earl of Suds. 72 squirrels in a skin suit. So good to see you. I, I, how could I ever forget your name? <laughs> Lens is just taking a call in the 72. You always wonder why the tree explodes. Um, America Skater. <laughs> the trees explode? Oh dear. Uh, well, now I think I have some information. The territorial oak. Used vacuum attack? Oh my god. Oh, oops. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I knew something bad was gonna happen. You just help confirm it. Let's hit him with the memes. Come on. Blast him. Nope, this is the first one that I've ever fought. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Maybe I can survive a hit. I still got a, I got 125 health. I'm looking pretty healthy. I'm a healthy lad. It burst into flames. <gasps> no! Wait! Oh, we still won! We still won because he died. So do I keep taking damage? Does my damage keep rolling down or does the rolling stop once the fight is over? That's not too bad. It's just that it's you just have to make sure that you have enough health whenever you kill it. I'm good. Nice. Okay, they're not too bad, but I definitely cannot fight them without PSI. So I've got to be like I've got to be health up. I got to be I got to be fully juiced. I have to be fully juiced to be able to fight them. Wait until you survive by one. I've done it before, and I was scared out of my life. If you don't click to exit the fight, it'll kill you. Ah, I see. So you just gotta, you just gotta jam the buttons. This game encourages you to just button mash. Okay, I'm gonna just kill them individually because memes can't kill them in one hit. Do all 72 squirrels share a hive mind, or one squirrel running the show? That's a good question. 72 squirrels in a skin suit. Maybe they all have their own uh, unique... Maybe they all have their different views and they, they all argue with one another all the time, leading for the skin to, like, stretch really, really thinly as they all try to control it in different directions. And they just shamble forward little step by little step. Back to the hotel. Maybe, maybe we should find some mushrooms, get infected, and sell it to that girl. I hope the squirrels have a democracy. Uh, I hope we have a democracy die. I guess we'll see. By the way, you can press B to check your HP and PP at any time. Ah, oh, yes, the PP check. I forgot about that. I keep accidentally pressing B and then forgetting that I can. Selling shrooms, man. It's Listen, there's a standard delicious, delicious mushrooms to be used in cooking, obviously. They have a telepathic leak, but they're all different. It does cause me to be rest restless a lot. Wait a second. It's not just the username, it's actually you? Die in his precious ideas of the government. <laughs> what? He said he hopes that the squirrels have democracy. I don't have a democracy. I live in a monarchy, technically. What is, does Die have questionable uh, views, Calico, that he has espoused? Come here. Come on, musha, musha. Yeah, that's right. No! <laughs> no the, the other plant they knew! Ay, ay, ay. Hit him. Come on, I want I want to get infected. I want to get infected. Ah, oh, we killed it again. Gosh darn it. Why did why do these keep why do these all keep uh dying? Why does everything die around me? I just wanted a friend. I just want a mushroom on my head. <gasps> we auto kill mushrooms? What? Dude, that's sick. 
kill we auto kill mushrooms meaning that we're such we're so powerful that we can kill them without even having to fight them also this should max me out right yeah max out baby just like in real life yeah you can just step on mushrooms they don't even fight back weaklings the weak will perish under my foot yes mushroom come to me perish never mind go away oh boy it's got a cohort now you love watching people play this for the first time <laughs> it is it is my first i i i mean i played like a tiny bit but i was nowhere near this i didn't even get out of the first town i didn't even get out of Onito. Uh, you're gonna be responsible and go to bed. Awesome zombie food. Good for you. Get some sleep. We'll see you later. I tried to be responsible last night, but I woke up in the middle of the night after a nightmare. <laughs> so I went to bed. I went to bed so early, and I was like, "All right, we're gonna get some some nice sleep." Uh huh. Beef's level is now 18. Level 18 beef. Mmm, expensive. Offense went up by one. Maximum HP. Beef realized the power of PSI Flash Alpha. Nice. Since I last came here, I got a decent computer. Ooh, what you been? Have you been playing games on it? That's sweet as heck. That is sweet as heck. You're a real PC gamer. Also, I should be doing homework, but hey, if listen, if you gotta go do some homework, I'll be here tomorrow playing the same game. Nightmares? Is there any other kind? Nightmares? I mean, I've had good dreams. Uh, my dreams are just normally... My dreams are normally just confusing. They're normally just, like, weird dreams that confuse me, and I wake up and I'm like, why did I dream that I owned this item? Now I'm just confused about what I have. You're gonna lurk and come back in a bit? All right, hey, enjoy your lurk. If you need to get your homework done, go get it done. I'm all 72. We'll see you later. Yes, I flashed all enemies. Hmm. Let's flash them. We'll use our PP and we'll flash them. Fantastic. <laughs> Huzzah. Oh no. They're, they are immune. Let's, let's just use memes instead. Uh. Yes, yeah, same. I have nightmares, but they're only but they're only so bad since I can control them. Ooh, a little bit of what is that called? Why does it have a bleeding eyeball? You have some lucid dreams, isn't that what they're called? Right? I kind of I kind of wanted to yeah, lucid dreaming. That's really cool. Although I hear that sleep isn't as restful if you have a uh, lucid dreaming. It's sad. It's crying blood. Oh no, what did I do to that poor mushroom? Why did I crush his dreams? Come, battle me, fools. Uh, uh, so the mushroom actually has to have a friend, otherwise it won't be able to uh, infest my head. Mm. Hit him with the memes. Yeah, this is going great. Ah, oh, they died. Ah, oh, they died too. Everyone's dead. I don't know if it's worth the 50 bucks, but I'll have to go to the ATM if I don't get money from that kid. Hmm. What to do, what to do. I want I want one of these mushrooms to get me. Maybe I should just let him hit me. I'll attack this. I'll attack this plant first. And I'll see if I can sucker that mushroom into growing a, one of its children on my noggin. They drained seven. How dare. Scattered some spores. All right, they did it. Nice. Okay, now we can now we can just kill them. We've been mushroomed. So now we can accidentally hit ourselves in battle, and uh, the controls are all janky. But we'll sell that mushroom. Go back to the go back to the hospital. Get healed. Bing bang boom. Oh boy, the controls are already weird. Oh, oh, I forgot that there might be something in on the way. Ooh. I hope I can hit him with the memes. Beef is feeling funky. He tried memes. No! I damaged myself! No! And they drained my... Uh, they drained my psychic points. Oh, dear. Uh, what if 
I even got? Can, do I even have any healing stuff? I don't think I do. Well, what is life up cost? Five. Let's let's do that before I lose all my my psychic points. We should still be able to beat him up. Oh, I just noticed it's Anne's updated bear. Don't forget the, the good bean. It was a good bean. <laughs> Thankfully, we're super strong. It stopped moving. Mom, Mom, the mushroom outside. Yes, honey, the mushroom that you've been playing with all afternoon. It stopped moving. Well, did you do anything to it? I, I don't think so. I just, I was just playing step on the mushroom and all of a sudden it stopped moving. Honey, that kills mushrooms. My friend is dead. Honey, don't worry. It'll regrow tomorrow, but it won't be the same. It won't remember me. Uh, plant. Kill plant. <laughs> you fool. Do you not see that I'm an ally with you? Look at the top of my head. I have a sprout coming out of my head. Ah! I hate that it just says that I did damage to beef. I don't, I don't like that. I wanted to say that beef hurt himself. Oh, ah, yes, the wholesome game of step on the mushroom. <laughs> Could you perish, please? Can you just die? Beef dodged. Nice. Oh. Beef hurt himself in his confusion. Exactly, that's what I'm expecting. Not for it to say beef. Beef hit beef for five damage. Do, do, do. All right, we'll sell this for 50 bucks. Excuse me, young lady. Would you like to purchase my mushroom on my head? Humdy dum. Would you be willing to sell that mushroom? You bet I am. Now I can pay for my bedroom. Now I can pay rent for the month. Thanks a lot. Burr, burr, burr. Beef had beef with beef? Oh, no. Not the beef beef beef. I read about it in the National Enquirer. Back we go. Uh... What's my health looking like? Am I, am I about to die? 2,000 XP for the next level. Hit point. We got hit points, just not psychic points. I can kill a couple of sprouts, but I'd rather just kill one. Can I, can I just kill one? Can we just have one sprout? It's still inconvenient. Oh, none of them? All right, nice. What a lucky duck. Single plant. One plant all by himself? Are you lonely, little mobile sprout? You wouldn't mind if I just uh, gave you a little beating? Knock those, knock those leaves right off of your head. Hey! Trying to use a uh, old PSI magnet, eh? Simpleton. Can we kill it? Did I miss him? I guess I could accidentally kill myself right now because I have 54 health. I'm pretty sure that I can do that much damage to myself. Who is beef? What is beef? Bee beef. <laughs> bee beef. Aww. It's a cute little bee beef. It's a baby cow. A bee beef. You have cow mommies and bee bee beefs. Ah. Back we go. Though, if we're being honest, I don't think bee bee beef is uh, calf as good as the original name. Give me that butterfly. Oh boy, oh boy. I can't wait to consume a bug. Ah, oh, it goes up to my brain. Ah, it made me relax. Now that I'm more relaxed, I can use my psychic powers. I'm just gonna move over to the hotel. Oh! Ah! <laughs> There's crazy people about. No! <laughs> Sorry, sucker. I smell like beef. That's a meme, in case you don't know, I'm not admitting to anything. Lynn's so defensive. So defensive. Makes me think thou doth protest too much. Oh, you just missed me, you hippie. Beat up that new age retro hippie. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, and I don't have that mushroom anymore. I, for I forgot about it. I can't hit myself now. Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? You don't have beef scented body wash? Ew, <laughs> juicy beef scented body wash with real animal fat? Uh, I could see that turning on me so fast. 
you mean you could see that turning you on so fast. Beef. Definitely use the phone in the hotel to call your mom. Oh, yes. You should call mama. Mama. Please help. Uh, I... <laughs> have you annoyed the hotel patron? I have. Free 50 bucks. Very nice. Free $50. What a deal. I could have paid for a... I could have paid for a sleep there if I wanted to. Screw that guy. What? The guy that gave me 50 bucks? <laughs> Why? He gives you free money. I love him. Uh, phone time. Beef picked up the receiver. Um, hello, Beef? What's wrong? You sound so sad. Are you homesick? Well, I knew that there would be days like this. I must make you feel better, listening to your mom's sweet voice. So, do you feel any better? <laughs> well, I'd better get going. I'm in the middle of my ironing. Bye. <laughs> Click. Beep, 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 beep. Beef got over being homesick. <laughs> What? What does that mean? Does that mean that I got healed? No. What indicator did I have that I was homesick? I'm so confused. Let's uh, let's talk to dad, I guess. Hello, Beef, it's your dad. I've got $500. Nice. Thank you for the $500. I'm not leaving, dad. I'm continuing. I'm continuing my mission. Uh... Welcome to Hotel Tucson. Yes, indeed. Give me the sleep. That's why you're missing uh, hits in the fight with the mobile sprout. It said, oh, Beef thought about his mom. Oh, I wasn't even reading. Not even reading. Typical behavior. Typical streamer behavior. What, you guys? Why did I die? Said that you died because uh, you missed your mom. The brave local hero named Beef that broke up the... Oh, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. I already, re I already read those headlines, man. There's no updates? It's been two days. The news cycle's looking a little dry. Hit it with that uh, suspended save point. Okay, so... Go back there and start fighting the trees. We should be doing look we should be uh doing, looking, acting pretty good. I still have never been to the Chaos Theater. Hmm. Could be something good in there, you guys. You never know. I say that we go buy a ticket. Let's buy a ticket. We'll see what's going on in the theater. Oh wait, this is not a Yeah, they don't have an ATM. That's too bad. What is the, um, what's the price again? 50 bucks? Maybe talk to the Runaway Five? Oh yeah, we could talk to him first. I'm happy that nobody in the town is helping you, really. I'm still caught up on those dogs attacking other people if you beat up strays. What? <laughs> I'm still caught up on if the dogs are attacking other people or if you're beating up strays. I am beating up strays, yeah. Cause it says stray dogs, right? I'm just beating up some, uh, you know, some wild mutts. Hey, man. We, that's right, we're the Runaway Five. We're popular, but not rich. We, we're, we're being cheated by this theater, and we're really deep in debt. We may be popular, but that girl who lives at the house with the preschool is the talk of the town. I want to see her someday. What? Oh, here's my brother Luigi now to tell you all he put a spaghetti pile of information. Hello, Mario. Uh, so they're being ripped off. So I shouldn't. So I shouldn't pay for a ticket. I should just break in. Oh, oh, oh! You trying to block my way? I got psychic powers. Let me in. Knock, knock. I can just break in. Who is this greedy grubber? The Runaway Five owe me a lot of money. They'll stay here until they pay me back. They might be here for 100 years, unless you decide to pay off their debt. <laughs> How much is it? They owe me a lot of money. A hundred, okay. Maybe I gotta talk to somebody else to pay it off. Oh, we'll see. Oh, are you headed to bed? Who's headed to bed? Oh, Spooky Vibes is. 
Spooky vibes. Get some rest. You'll be back soon with all of your new free time. All right. Nice. It'll be it'll be good to uh, to see you in the future. It was nice hanging out with you. Get some rest. Get some good sleep. You want to see Poochie Fud, the manager? Poochie Fud. Right through this door, please. Hello. Please present your ticket. I don't have one. I guess I lost my ticket, so now I can't get in. The ticket counter at the department store was even sold out. Oh, look at that. You can't even buy it. You can't even buy it if you want to. You forgot he had a name. What a terrible name. So you can't leave so you can't leave to get money to pay off. What a scam. Yes, yeah, so they so I can't pay them off. I can't buy a ticket. I can't do anything. Old Fuddy Duds messed up the whole operation. Mario, we may be popular. But that girl who lives in the house at the preschool is the talk of the town. I want to see her someday. Oh. That's right. We're the Runaway Five. We're popular, but not rich. We've been cheated by the theater, and we're really deep in a debt. Deep in a debt? If only I could give you money, but I don't know how. They, they were talking about wanting to see the lady at the preschool? Isn't she married? <laughs> what? What's going on? What are these two suspicious plumber brothers up to? Oh, oh, Patty's not home yet. Everdread in Berglund Park might know something. Oh boy, now I'm really worried. Patty isn't here. She suddenly left, and I don't know where she went. Uh, back inside. Let's speak to the, to the lady. Oh wait, maybe they're talking about Patty, and they just don't know that she's gone. Ah, yeah, they might just be talking about Patty, and then after we bring Patty back, then they'll be happy, and then we can pay them back or something. Uh, yes, this is Patty's house. Oh, what's up, WK? Welcome back. Welcome back. Good to see you. Two days in a row. Really? WK, do you think that's a good idea? If you expose yourself to two streams in a row, then the madness becomes, uh, becomes concreted in your mind. Tisk tisk. You're risking your life out here, but it is good to see you. Now, ah, double mushroom. Oh man, she does have magical powers. I'd want to meet her too. Yeah, to be fair, I would as well. Hit him with the memes. I'm used to this Twitch madness. Okay, good. You've got you've got good defensive strategies. No worries, no worries. You become you've become hardened to the internet. Do you see do you see the sketch that was made by by my friend Anne for we had one of the cute little bears that you could <laughs> We had a cute bear behind us that was that was following us and then it perished. We no longer have the bear. It's true, WK. Leave before you get trapped. I've been trapped here for a year! Lens! You're the one that submitted that mod application. There was there was no foul play. There was no foul play included. Lynn's invited all of this to happen. And now with all of these negative effects on her life. <laughs> Who knows what's gonna happen? You're the one that accepted it. You bet I did, you're a great mod, but <laughs> I'm, that, that don't change the fact that you asked for it. You win. Nice. See, these battles are, these battles are super fun and super fast. That's all that I ask of. That's all I ask of a turn-based RPG, is that the turn-based part is fun. Like, this is fun. Like, uh, Super Mario Superstar Saga, that's that's fun. If the battles are a slog, then don't be surprised if I find the game boring. I do think that I enjoyed Chrono Trigger's battles. I need to, I need to try that again. Beef gain two, so we're getting like, 200 HP off of that. We need 1300 for the next. Look out for the trees. They do be blowing up though. Nice. I'm lurking just to say what unit my class is starting in history. Medieval Europe. Oh snap. We're right in the middle of evil. The Dark Ages, I say. 72 squirrels. This sounds very, very exciting. I can't wait to hear about the Black Plague. Uh, I didn't ask for it. It was demanded of me by the people because of how great I am. I mean, I was my first mod, right? Or was it Elisar? 
can't remember who was the first mod. I think Guy was like one of the first three at least, right? Are you not the first one? Guy's been an incredible mod this entire time. Guy is the most consistent, long-term, helpful mod that I have that I have ever had. Uh, let me up! I'm stuck. Okay. I couldn't figure out what's the deal with this island, TBH. Oh, you already got the pencil eraser. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We moved it. We moved it out of the way. Now I'm just gonna. I've already killed one of these trees, but they're a pain in the butt. It was after a bunch of people, but I lasted. Oh yeah, cause God mod was first. Yeah, Kaylee, Kaylee was first. Kaylee was first, then LSR. Then I think like one more person then die. I think I think that you were like number three or something. You stuck around and have been helpful and have never caused any trouble whatsoever. Even help me with branding. Even help me with bots. Uh, if you get in a battle with a tree, just run. Your run percentage goes up 10% each round. Mmm, that's a good point. Then you won't have to suffer an explosion. Ah, there were never there were never trees up here. That's annoying. Heck yeah, nice. 10 months, dang. 72, I thought that you were studying medieval Europe. Hi. <laughs> Die causes the correct amount of chaos too. Yes, indeed. It's true. Our mods can't be too wholesome. Give them the memes. Hit them with the memes. I think I might go grab a, um, I might go grab a pop tart in a second. Oh, did, I think it had just said that it didn't work on them. Fire the beam. We can, we can heal ourselves from the sniffles, but I think we're gonna do it outside the battle. Barely missed. Beef sneeze. Beef attacks. Okay, so I am still attacking. Why is it taking so long? Uh, beef sneezed. Beef attacks. Just missed? What the heck, dude? Why am I missing so many attacks? Is it because of me sneezing? Little turds. The UFOs, they don't even like memes. They don't like them. They don't dislike them. You got another buttered pop tart to bake? Gross! Butter the pop tart. Oh! oh no! Buttered pop tart. That's so gross. I hate that. No. Pop tart should not be buttered. That's disgusting. Ugh! I hate that. It's supposed to be crispy. It's supposed to be crispy and a little bit gooey on the inside, not slimy on the outside. Not crunchy and slimy. And that's so rich! Oh wait, oh, you're on our side. Ooh. Wait a second. Oh, let me know if it's good. I thought that that was like, look me up or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know acronyms. That's my struggle. Struggle is I don't know acronyms. <sighs> Buttered pup tart. I'm not insane, dude. Well. <laughs> well. So which side does he butter? That's the question. Which, which side of a Pop-Tart do you butter? Do you butter the bottom side so that you don't have to... So you don't... I'd sooner eat the paint? No, Grandpa! I can ask him. VRV. Okay, I'm guessing he butters the bottom side. Not, not the side with the... Not the side <laughs> with the icing. They better be iced, too. I don't I don't buy uniced pop tarts. I would never. Beef got over the cold. Splendid. Let's let's life up as well. And we living out here. Hey Yakimik, what's up? <laughs> Y'all out here drinking coffee with beets, beef sticks and pizza with G Fuel, but draw the line at buttered pop tarts. You'd be surprised. I'm about to try it. I'm a, I'm about to try it. That's why I wanna know which side. <laughs> That's why I want to know which side to butter. I'm going to try it live. We'll do a taste test demonstration. <laughs> Oi, Al, how are you doing? How are you doing? How was your day? <laughs> the only weird thing that I do with Pop-Tarts is eat them upside down, frosting side down. Eh, you know, that's fine. That's no biggie. No biggie, just a little bit of, just a little bit of rotational energy on that Pop-Tart. 
That's valid because the frosting side is on your tongue. That's pretty smart. Never even thought of it like that. Nice. We won. We gave him the old razzle dazzle. Didn't stand a chance. You're planning for this weekend to have death soup? What is death soup? You gonna eat that butter at the end of your stream? What? No, I'm gonna do it right now in a second. Which is monster energy, coffee, and candy mixed into a drink? What? Monster candy? What kind of candy would you put in that? Monster energy, coffee, and candy. Ugh. Uh, PSI. PP life up healing. Okay, so let's just let's just get this butter. Like sour stuff, like like uh, warheads. Okay, so warheads. I, I'm wondering about monster mixed with coffee. Like that's gonna be the bad part. Like candy, I can easily ignore that. Uh, he said, and I quote, "You tell those dummies that you butter the bottom of the pop tart because it's." Because if it's on the icing side, it won't soak in! Ah! <laughs> no! Not soaked in butter! <laughs> Yuck! It's not moist enough. Put it on the right side of it. Ooh. Everybody loves a moist Pop-Tart. Make sure that you dip it in your coffee, too. Uh, <laughs> sorry for giving your dad a uh, an evil voice. Uh, should I... All right, I'm gonna go butter a pop tart. I'm gonna butter a pop tart. I'll I'll try if it's any good. I give you all a review so that I can let it soak in. One second, let me just put it in the toaster real quick. heat up the butter in the microwave so that it would be softer and uh, I kind of messed up I think I heated it up too long so I guess I'm going to pour this straight off of this I'll pour this uh, this butter straight off of here onto the pop tart <laughs> whoops okay pop tart's almost ready there it is All right, here we go, Pop-Tart. Our daily Pop-Tart update. This is gonna be, um, it's gonna be a standard pop I don't wanna get this on my desk. This is this is the part of the show where I try out your Pop-Tart recipes and see, <laughs> and see if they're any good. Uh, I wonder if I need a plate to like catch the crumbs of this. Okay, let, let me grab a plate just in case. Uh, 
right, pop pop tart time. Tomorrow, I don't know what we're gonna be trying on these pop tarts next, but let's let's try the butter. We'll see. We'll see what if Lynn's dad is onto something. All right, here we go. Nice, nice and nice and juicy. Got to make sure that it soaks in, just like just like Dad said. Dad's secret recipe. Put my butter plate on the ground, and uh, what do you guys think? Pretty, pretty good, right? Nice layer. <laughs> All right. I wonder how long I need to let it soak in. I think it's pretty well soaked in. All right. Here, here goes down the hatch. Is that ketchup? It is actually ketchup. Yes. It is uh, some ketchup that uh, I kind of let dry on this plate. Hmm, not, not, not actually too bad. Look at my hand shaking. That's the coffee. <laughs> Stop. Hmm. Hmm. It's pretty good, actually. It's a little. It's a little extreme. I feel like it. I mean, it does enhance the flavor, but it is very aggressive. So I think it's unnecessary, but pretty good. Pretty good, but I would say unnecessary. I don't know if I'd go to the trouble. Of putting butter on a pop tart seems like not enough work I, I mean doesn't seem like it's good enough for the work of it but it's not too bad honestly <laughs> i know look at the shaking what's wrong with me what's wrong with me why is my body shutting down not too bad although i do have a milk allergy and this is kind of activating it because it's too much butter but not too bad I'm going to go put this over here and wipe my hands off. Back to the game. Back to the game. Sorry for the, sorry for the break. Nice. Okay. Daily, daily part of the show's over. I'm glad, um, I'm glad that we had this moment together, you guys. It was fantastic. Ah. Oh, I wish I had something else but water. Oh, water, water is no good if I, if I feel sick off of milk. Butter, uh, water does not help. I wish I had a claw to wash it down or something. Uh, whoo. Okay. Tomorrow we're going to be trying it with ketchup or sriracha. Y'all can vote in the chat. Let's... Oh. I still don't know how to get around mine. It's honestly not too bad. It's a good call, Dad, though I'm still skeptical. Definitely don't put that much butter on it. Don't put that much butter. It's not that good. It's honestly not, it's honestly not that much of an improvement, but it's not, it's not bad. It's not bad. Also, hi, Monster. <laughs> hi, Monster. Welcome. You came, you came during the perfect time. Oh, you can just walk down here. Nice. I wonder who made this bridge impassable. Why would somebody do this? Crud. Just a, a hint of heat. Hmm? Hint of heat? Beef open the present. There's a croissant inside. Noise. A croissant. Hey, Jimmy Coon, could I get a croissant? Do I need... Uh, looks like I need healing more. Sriracha and strawberry. Are you ignoring me? Oh, no, it's Nani. Hi there. What's up? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I missed you. I tried to scroll up through all the messages while I was eating the Pop-Tart because I missed a bunch, but I missed you still. It's Nani. How are you doing? 
Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you had a good day today. What you what you get up to is nanny. Play some games. Do some work. Do some learning. There's a bomb inside the present. <laughs> nice. Now I have La Bomba. Do I have to equip this? Or is it... I'm guessing that this is for... Like something that's in the way? I'm guessing it's not equipable. Bomb. Damage is it? Oh, no. It's used during battle. Because of its explosive power, it may affect others. But... Ah, so oh, it can hit you. I see. It can hit you or your friends. And it's supposed to be used in battle. It's too bad. You got a concussion because you jumped out of a tree? What? You jumped out of a tree and you got a concussion? Oh no, that is not good. I hope that you got that looked at or that you're taking care of yourself. That's awful. Oof. Please be careful. Don't jump out of trees. Oofsty, what's up? Oh boy, Earl Bound time. Earl Bound time. Yes, I'm totally enjoying this game. I am totally enjoying this game. Oi, oi, oi. Oops, 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 oops. Doo, 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 doo. You should have seen the pop tart that I just tried. Did anybody clip it? Did anybody clip the dripping pop tart that I just ate? Oh boy. Oh boy, Oopsie, you gotta see what I just did. You gotta see it. Um, a thousand bits for another vote? What? <laughs> I did not set. I did. Who set up this poll? Is that die? <laughs> It was a dire alchemic. Who did this? I mean, to be fair, everyone should only get one vote. To be fair. <laughs> it's highway robbery. <laughs> Just watching that made your arteries cry. <laughs> Not the arteries. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm uh, young, you know. If I, if I treat my body a little poorly. I mean, to be fair, I mean, I don't skateboard as much nowadays, and that would probably be far worse for my health than uh, than just eating a bad pop tart. Is that a ghost type dead baby Earl cookie? No, it's it's a dead bear from the game. That's the dead bear. But here's here's what the bear looked like whenever we had it. Anne misunderstood that it was a bear in the game and thought it was this, but then it died and she she made a different one. That's that's the original one. There we go. Uh, I know how to spell sriracha. Ooh, got him. I didn't even, I did. That's sriracha. <laughs> sriracha. Yes, if I if I had actually looked at what the words were, yeah, I would have known that you did. Mama. <laughs> Mama. Dad said, don't doubt me, Kenny. And also, not that much butter. Uh, yes, that's way too much butter. Don't doubt. Don't doubt what happened. I mean, it honestly, it honestly wasn't too bad. To be fair. <laughs> what else, what else has dad told me though? I, ha I haven't heard, I haven't heard Lynn's dad tell me any other, uh, any other tips or tricks, any, uh, life hacks, anything like that. This was the only thing to go off of. So now we've got, now we've got one, one plus, one plus trust. Sriracha was my, oh, Siracia was your grandmother's name? Ooh, that's such a pretty name, honestly. Siracia. Oh my God, you're so over leveled for this part. Oh, goody. Oh, goody. I'm level 19, fantastic. Y'all knew what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Sure, die, sure. Okay, open up, open up, now, open up. Open up, now, now. Beef open the present. There's a hard hat inside. Oh, a hard hat, hey? How much How much better is that? I'm guessing that's way better. Mr. Baseball, hard hats. Ooh, the defense, holy moly. That's nine higher. I've ne I don't think that I've had a single upgrade that was that big of an improvement. Plus nine defense, woof. I think we're ready to beat up a tree. Although everybody's saying to avoid them, makes sense. I'm sure that we're not gonna get like, you don't get much benefit for fighting the trees. Ooh, surprise attack. I know, right? It's nutty, it's pretty powerful. All right, I'm just gonna, just going after them with my normal attacks. <laughs> I'm so, I'm glad that I'm over leveled, but okay. If, if I am actually, if I actually am over leveled, let's just, uh, Let's just move through here. 
Because I, I don't want to get uh, too far ahead of the enemies. I don't want this to become a Pokemon starter situation. Let's go in here, remove the enemies. Is that just a normal snake? What are you doing here, little one? Uh, yeah. This is like the, the first enemy that I ever fought was these snakes. What are they doing in here? Hmm, you won! <laughs> but I did. Still the best part of this game. The fact that you don't even have to, you don't even have to battle them. Is this Happy Town? Welcome to Happy Happy Village. Oh boy. <laughs> oh yay! Happy Happy! <laughs> There's a cult leader over there? No! Runs away. Oh, let's speak with this mole. I am not your enemy. I'm just a plain old mole. You are certainly stronger than you were when wandering around, uh, uh, what, what did we end up saying? It is like on it. On it. Have you gotten, uh, have you ever suddenly got a U1 message? When you meet a weak enemy, that's surefire proof that you've become stronger. If you don't want to, oh, that, that's why it was there. It was there so that you realize that mechanic, but we already ran into that a while ago. There's been a couple of mechanics that they explained much later than I figured. Ah, uh, stay away from me. All right, gotta face your fears. This is totally a cult. I'm tempted to change my name color to blue for this. Oh no. Are you happy? Is that what you're saying? They look kind of purpley to me. Mm, I'm just gonna bash the ins. I mean, it li they're literally called cultists. This is not just totally. I mean, it, they. Li it literally. He also has a Santa hat. Um, he turned back into normal, like a normal cultist. First you have insane cultists, and then you, you put them back to their senses and they become normal ones. I heard many footsteps is, what? I heard many footprints exist deep down in the East Cave. People call that place Lilliput Steps, which makes them feel uneasy. Ah, okay, so that's where our next sounding stone thing is. One day, Mr. Carpenter received a revelation. He now speaks the real truth. Ah, finally, the fake truth has been done away with. Excuse me, tourist. I'm collecting donations to help protect the world from contaminants. Am I one of those contaminants? Donate whatever you can. Yes. How much would you like to donate? Zero dollars. Incredible! I can't believe people exist that have no money at all. Blue! Blue! Oh, great. They're sicking him on me. Oh, wait. I thought she was gonna sick some enemies. Take as many eggs as you can! Steal the eggs. The community eggs. Uh, we trust you. Feel free to shop here. All right. Oh, wait, what? Oh, no, we can just steal the eggs. Steal the eggs. No problem here. <laughs> I don't think you can take them. Right? Uh, J. Cray, let's, let's not talk about such things. Though I agree, they do look extremely sus. I am, I'm glad to kill them. Uh, yeah, we gotta kill these suckers. We gotta knock them, knock them dead. Can't get through here. Uh, ooh, they're so quick. Alright, we gotta, we gotta knock them out. Uh, the bashing seemed to work pretty well. He called for help, but no one came. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to feel sorry for you. Oh, the shop is just north of the eggs. There are some upgrades at the shop. Ooh, all right. I'm just going to walk between here back and forth, back and forth. The shop that we can actually buy some stuff. All of our products are blessed. Blue, blue drugstore. Ooh, maybe we can... Is there a phone here? There is a phone, but I... The eggs are free. I promise. Okay, now I'm suspicious. <laughs> now I'm suspicious. Can I help you? Okay, so sandlot bat. Ooh, nice. Okay, upgraded bat. More attack. It's a hundred bucks. Holmes hat. That's not an upgrade. Frying pan and ribbon are were both available elsewhere, and I think those are for the coral. We need ninety-eight bucks. I think I I might I might have grabbed a burger, but I don't think they have burgs. Did I say 98? I think I'll pull the exact amount. That I don't have to deposit again. Nice. 
This game would be so scary as a child. The music and plot are unnerving. They are. This definitely doesn't feel like a cozy kid game. Sandlot, let's go. I'm afraid you cannot carry anything else. Do you want to sell some things? Uh, yeah, I'd like to sell, I guess, immediately sell the t-ball bat. T-ball bat? Yes, let's do it. Sandlot bat. Noise. That seems like a little bit of an oversight, right? Yeah, I think this game makes fun of gender roles by having pants and ribbons only equipable by girls. Ah. Uh, like a, um, they sell baseball caps too? Oh, sell your old caps. Noise. 33 to 48, sweet! Uh, old baseball cap. Let's see. My Mr. Baseball Cap. Bye bye. See you later. Yeah, because I got the other cap from a rando in a tree. So they did. Oh, not buy. I meant sell. Baseball cap. Anything else to get rid of? Hmm. Let's see. Bomb. I could sell the bomb. I don't know if I want to use this because it, it's going to hurt me. Pencil eraser. I'm guessing that I should put this in storage, right? Croissant. Uh, definitely will use that. Exit mouse, soundstone. All this stuff is irreplaceable. Bombs only hurt enemies. Oh, okay. Well, good. Maybe, maybe I'll keep it for a boss fight or something, just in case. It won't hurt you and it'll help with a boss fight later. Okay, good, 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 good. There's a place ahead that can that can't be painted blue. It's a strange anti-blue place. I can't stop thinking about it. And I, I can't even go near that place. Yeah, so that's where we're supposed to go, I think. I think that those that want to paint everything blue are opposed to peace. Who won't paint everything blue? I want them all to listen, even if it requires kicking their butts. Well, don't ask my opinion, mister. Alright, let me kill. <laughs> Beat up this guy first. <laughs> Alright, now, mister. We're gonna have to send you back to the shadow realm where you came from. Oh, three damage to beef. Yeah, these guys are kind of, uh, these guys are kind of pushovers, eh? You can kill them in a couple of hits. And you get 358, uh, XP? Noise. I'm monitoring those who don't pay at the food stand. Oh. So do I gotta kill this guy first and then steal the eggs? No problem here. I wanna grab it. Let me, uh, check. Okay, so I can't get him. You gotta go for a bit, but you wanna see me take the eggs? All right. <laughs> Come back soon then. We'll see you in a little bit. Aw, this looks almost like a little heart. A little heart. Here's one of these guys again, one of the hippies. Mr. Car Painter communicates with the divine. So he's able to deliver inspired messages. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not sure doing. What? I'm not sure doing. Friends. <laughs> In valley behind three. Ding ding. What? I'm not sure. You say it's boing. I'm not sure, boing. Friends in valley behind three ding ding. Oh, friends? You said that there's friends? Oh boy, I'm sure there's no no concerning things going on. Is boing. I'm just a plain old cow, but Mr. Car Painter's messages always move me. <laughs> Shut up. Meager living farm. Lodging's available. Oh, okay. We can save there if we need to. Shy guy in the field. Psst, 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 psst. That overweight kid helped me. We kidnapped Patty. You know she's hidden in the mountain cabin. Oh, oh, now I've done it. I thought you were one of us. You know I was just joking. <laughs> uh, let's forget about this. <laughs> All right. Off we go. So they're in the lodge? Uh, is... This might be the lodge. It says lodgings available. We're all like one big happy family here in Happy Happy Village. Basically, our policy is only to allow family members to stay here in the village. However, if you're interested in learning about Happy Happyism, we may be able to make an exception and let you stay for $50. 
Sure, I'll learn. Very well. Be sure to do your blue blue chant before bedtime. <laughs> oh wait, no, I don't need to do this. What a bargain. Only $50. $50 for a night stay? I kind of thought Patty would be up here. Oops. I kind of just wasted some money, but that's okay. This is not the lodge he was talking about. That, th that house doesn't even have a door. None of these homes have doors. Mr. Carpainter wants a girl. <laughs> no, I don't mean it like that. I mean he's looking for a girl who can be the high priestess of happy happyism. I heard that he's already got her. Splendid. When I paint everything blue, as Mr. Carpainter said, my wife who ran out on me has returned home. Fact, Eiffel 65 wrote a song about these people. I am not, that you are not baiting me into singing. Not again. Though you may not believe it, I'm a healer. If you have some illness that cannot be treated at the hospital, it's my job to cure you. Do you need some help? No. Mmm, come back when necessary. Never. Oh, it's doctor. Doctor house. No problem here. <laughs> blue, blue. I'm not busy right now. Shall I explain about the hospital system? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm actually pretty busy. <laughs> Blue, blue. I can examine each of you for $35. Each of me one? Okay. Observe my teddy bear. Make sure that he is healthy. Where's the lodge at? We haven't gone to the church. Ooh, this looks like a... Oh, this is the church. Uh, um, I hope that... The, I'm assuming they don't attack you, right? problem here <laughs> that I don't I don't agree no problem here blue blue oh you'd like to be one of us then give up what you're doing and go beat go meet go beat go meet mr. carpenter as soon as possible oh no more beef open the present there's a croissant inside you found the cult headquarters I know I'm scared mom I'm scared no problem no problem no problem no problem. There's gotta be a way to get in, right? Maybe it's this guy. Blue, blue. What? I'm blocking you. Okay, I'll move out of your way. Thank you. Blue, blue. I say, arm the torpedoes full speed ahead. Or something like that. So now I'll crush you! What? <laughs> hey! Hey now. Hey now, mister. I'm just hanging out here in the church. Uh oh. Oh, now there's a bunch of them. Is that gonna be their danger? They multiply like zombies? Hit them! I'm just trying to hang out in this place of worship. Hey! I wanna, I wanna pray to the great blue in the sky. To the great blue sky. Did it say that it didn't work on it? The music. We, we marked him anyway. That's two less cultists to deal with. All right, mister, now I'm gonna need you to move. No problem, no problem. One of these suckers gotta move, right? Maybe I'm barking up the wrong sarsaparilla. Blue, blue, don't bother us. We're in the middle of prayer. Okay, I'll move out of your way. Go quickly! Alright, thank you. Blue, blue, I'll stand somewhere else. Blue, blue, lagoon, blue, blue. Move. Stop! Stop! I don't want to talk to you. I'm done with you. I'm. What? Oh, also, Mushroom Gal, what's up? Oi, oi, oi! It's a party in here! This is not a party I want to go to. You can only interact with the ones that swing their arms faster. Oh, like this one. Blue, blue, don't disrupt our, don't disrupt our meeting. I'll stomp on you! No, don't step on me. Oh, no! Bash him. Beef attacks. <laughs> 
Beef attacks your colon. You feel very sick. Farewell, brother. Kenny, I hear you killed all my mushroom sh friends for shame. What? I also grew a mushroom on my head. I grew a mushroom on my head and then I sold it to a mushroom collector that really appreciated it. Listen, it wasn't all bad. Yeah, I see a couple that are moving pretty quick. Oh wait, these two as well. Blue, blue, what? Are you saying you're, I'm only capable of walking in place? That's not true, see? Green, green. Oops, that's not it. I'm still new at this. <laughs> He's learning. Be patient with him. Ooh, skip sandwich. Nice. Okay, I can only get in through here. Blue, blue. I'm trying to learn how to whistle. Oh. I heard that whistling makes makes one smile. I've, I'll practice over there. <laughs> blue, blue. You strange unmasked fellow. Don't go to heaven! <laughs> he basically just said go to hell. <laughs> is that is that the censored version? Is that the censored uh, Veggie Tail version? Don't go to heaven. <laughs> hey, Tay's back! What's up? Oi, 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 oi! As long as it doesn't attack your semicolon. What? What semicolon? You don't like line dance. <laughs> You don't like line dancing equals bad Texan? What? Listen, I don't know how to line dance. I don't know what I'm doing. You miss Kenny killing a bunch of mushrooms. Wait, was I just using a... Okay, good. I, I'm using my normal attacks. All right, we're headed in. Who does? Uh, I think Garrett knows how to. Oh my gosh, this game's lagging. I think that uh, some of my siblings know how to do dancing and stuff, but uh, I don't know how to. To the cult leader, Mr. Roberto. He's got a fine mustache. Oh, no problem here. I sense problems all around. 35 out of 55, 141. Uh, we're, we're doing all right. I, I screamed, because I don't know what else to do. <laughs> Hey, it's the guy! It's the thing! It's the thingy that we found in the basement! The thing in the basement with the guy, is this the same guy? Thanks for coming. I've been waiting for you. I need your assistance to help make the world blue, and to change it into a happy and peaceful society. Will you be my right-hand assistant? Yes. You fool! I have drawn you into my trap. Wow! You got moved here because you gave Mr. Carpainter some lip. <laughs> oh, whoopsie. I kind of thought that I thought that I picked the right one. I picked the wrong one. Uh, I guess since I'm out here, maybe I should health up. He might be a boss. Let's see. Uh, 35, 55. Uh, we're still pretty strong. I wish that there's a butterfly. I wonder if they show up in this town. If I was a butterfly, I would steer clear of this city. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be anywhere near it. We can just walk around one time. See if we spot the old flap. Looking for a flapper. Again, music very creepy. Kind of love it. Were you not taught line dancing at your home school? What did they teach you? Hardly anything, Die. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. You know the answer as well as I do. Bunch of caves around here. I didn't even check them out. Oh, wait. No, this is the way back, right? Or is it? This is not the way that I came. I can beat up these boys. I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty strong. Get him. Yeah, we're we're honestly, yeah, I think a little over leveled for these dudes. Which is great! We also have nice items. Hmm, 
burb. I think we killed birds in one hit. Also, this looks like where um where Patty lives. Oh, I actually fight them. I thought that would be an auto kill. He's got a big grin on his face. Dodged. We need to kill him before he steals anything. Is that is your character name Beef? Yes. <laughs> and we're about to find. We're about to get Patty. You'll leave the cookie behind. I'm afraid so. I abandoned the cookie. Oh. That's my phone number. Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a lot. Shut up. Shut up, dad. You don't understand. You don't understand me. Let's see, in here? <gasps> She's locked up! Who are you? Are you Beef? Beef! I'm so glad it's you. I had a dream that a boy named Beef was my destiny. I know it's hard to believe. Therefore, I knew you would rescue me. If you didn't come, I would have tried to bust out of here. You can't open the door. I'll have to get the key from Car Painter. He's got it hidden away. I heard that he can control lightning. If that's the case, you should wear this Franklin badge, okay? Franklin the turtle? What? Do you want to get fried? What? Do you want to get fried by lightning? Get rid of something so I can give you the Franklin badge. <laughs> okay, hang on. Phone dad, now's a bad time. I'm about to kill a cult leader, dad. I'm kind of busy. I don't know how much a croissant helps, but I think I'll just eat it. Um, yum, yum. Wait, did it say it maxed out my pee pee? It did not help at all. Incredible. Therefore, I knew you would rescue me. If you didn't come, I would have tried to bust out of here. I got up with an opening. Yes, give me the Franklin badge. Give me the turtle badge. Nice. Beef patty, eh? Eh? Yes, now you understand. Now you understand. Beef got the Franklin badge. <laughs> you can come back when you come back and get me out once you defeat him. Don't worry about me. Just kick butt like I know you can. Hey, she's, she's a pretty, pretty cool character. Go kick butt like I know that you can. Hey, who's this? What's this little rascal? Hey, Beef, you're just, you're just here to bother me, aren't you? You can call me Master Pokey. Since Mr. Carpainter made an important person, made made me an important person in Happy Happyism. You should join us, but I know you won't. I'm glad I joined. I'm not gonna fight you, but these guys will. Later, Potato. You little rap scallion. You little rat! I will kill your friends, and then I'll kill you. I mean, I'll convert your friends, and then I will injure you. Of course. I don't think that they uh, can all be hit by PSI memes, but I could have sworn it hurt them a little bit, right? Okay, that works, that works, that works. Never mind. They can get hit. What a scumbag. He is a scumbag. We just have to survive, okay? He'll get his comeuppance. He'll get his comeuppance for being such, a, such an unruly turd. You win. All right, we'll go, we'll go, oh baby, offense went up by five, hey. Defense went up, speed went up, guts went up, vitality went up, luck went up, maximum <laughs> HP went up by 15. And we got life up beta. Nice. We just graduated from alpha to beta. Wait till I use my beta powers. Aim. Hey, you can just pick five or eight, splendid. You can save at this point before you fight the boss again? Yes, that's a good idea. But thankfully we're not we're not like too close to the boss at the moment. We still gotta walk back through town. Wait till you get Omega. Oof. What's the, what's the other thing? What's what's the other male? The, the Sigma. When do when do I get my Sigma powers? When do I get my Sigma powers? Oh, enjoy your <laughs> mushroom gal. Enjoy your alert enjoy your alerkin. Enjoy your alerkin there. Wait, what? Wait till I use my beta powers? <laughs> That's a quote? <laughs> Die, it's beautiful. Die, it's beautiful. Kato Pokey Nerd, what's up? You saw eight plays today and now you're very tired? Oh my, what, like eight? Leave the cookie behind, yes. Like, eight, eight, like, 
like play plays like play play plays eight one act plays whoa that's a big day kato are you like a reviewer do you work do, do you what's your what's your job were you doing like so many options for why you would see so many plays i li literally i literally cannot i can't even say them all there's so many options what, what led you to see eight of them Oh, gotta go for the night. Have a good rest of the stream. Hey, we'll see you later, 72. Thanks for vibing with us, my friend. And thanks a lot for uh, for detailing the information about the uh, the squirrels that are in that skin suit of yours. We'll see you later. I'll be on here tomorrow if you want to hang out. This Thursday, Friday is Minnesota State High School League One Act Play State Festival. Oh, look. Oh, okay. So, so for fun. You did it for fun. Does sound very interesting. One Act Plays. I wonder if I'd like one act plays better. I, I've i enjoyed all the plays that I've gone to. Oh, it's a paintbrush. Yes, indeed. They have the paintbrush. You can go through here. You're so glad it's Friday tomorrow. Oh, yes. Friday, baby. Uh, weekend's almost here. <laughs> the weekend's almost here. <laughs> Got any fun plans this weekend, Alchemic? Gaming. Gaming! So I always go to the state festival one of the days. It is so it is so fun being a part of keeping up with the play competition. Ooh, competition? I do like competition. I've not stolen any eggs yet because they won't let me. The mole. What did it just say? Hey, Dana, what's up? <laughs> what's up with that emote? The mole. It said something about the mole, like understanding it's saying that it didn't like it it didn't like the attack no plans you do have a three-day weekend however noise time to kick back oh 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 doesn't match the music though this looks kind of like mama mama let me see let me see Valentine's Day's on Monday. Oh, that's why you'd get a day off. Noise. Free time on Valentine's Day. Noise. I think that I remember. Uh, I think it was Moy that told me that in um, other countries and in Finland specifically, at least, that they don't call it just Valentine's Day. They call it friend friendship day or something like that. Like they have a different name for it. It's interesting. It's a little more inclusive. All right, I'm out before I fall asleep on my laptop. Hey, we'll see you later, Dyke. Get some rest. Get some sleepy. You got a basketball game on Friday, Monday, and Tuesday. Lens. Goodness gracious. Lens, you're so busy. It's because you're such you're such a good coach. They 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 can't do it without you. They can't do it without you. Okay, let me I'll make that baby a little bit bigger. Big baby. Big baby. I don't think that we should be in here. I think that we need to beat up that boss first. Oof! You just shouted out? <laughs> you guys, please follow my mod, just another person like you. She doesn't stream, but give him a follow. Give him a follow. They observe Lincoln's birthday this Monday. Oh, and Washington's the following Monday. So four, so four work weeks. Mm. So two four day work weeks. Ooh. Thank you, dead presidents. Oh, I've already got too much stuff. They were last playing no game. Yes, <laughs> there's been no games played by Linz. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I don't think they've ever streamed before. I want to read what this says. To the mole playing rough. To the mole playing rough. The mole playing rough clawed with its sharp nails. Just missed. One time a president has done no anything worthwhile. <laughs> I can't wait for all of our former presidents to be dead so that we get extra, extra days off. <laughs> can't they just go ahead and die already so that we can get some real benefits? Oh my God, we got the whole team out here. Aw, oh dang, you got the whole squad running up. We also call it Love and Friendship Day. Ooh, that's, that's nice. Love and Friendship. Way more inclusive, I like that better. Although I do have all of y'all as my valentine, that's true. 
I shouldn't be in here, ghosty friend of the cave. <laughs> I'm too curious. I'm a cur I'm I'm as curious as a cat. I like to think that they've passed after they've left the capital. <laughs> you just imagine that they're dead. Sometimes that would be a little better, but there have been there have been a couple of precedents that did really good things after their terms. It's true. There's been in fact there's been a few that did better things after they left office than when they were in office. <laughs> Like, they do more charitable things, and they were actually kind of a stinker of a president. <laughs> Name one? I can't remember which one it is. I think that they're still alive right now. Was it the peanut farmer? Was it the peanut farmer that did a lot of charitable things? There's, there's only one specifically that I'm thinking of. It's, it might Carter might not be the right person, but I, I have been watching a lot of presidential videos. Just like outlines that are done by Professor Dave Explains. One of my favorite YouTube channels. Professor Dave Explains does debunkings on uh, Flat Earth and and also um, the Electric Universe and all sorts of stuff. It is it is a hoot. An absolute hoot. Uh, my psych points are what I'm struggling with. Can I kill a bear? Give him a hug. Just give him a hug. You engaged, what did it say? You engaged something bear? I have beef. Uh, what's up with this bear, dude? To the mighty bear. Oh, sweet. Beef attacks. 21 damage. Uh, I feel like we can beat him, right? 75, he's attacking. 18. Let's go for it. Clawed with a sharp... Oh no! Oh, ah! Oof. Okay. Linz wants to hug that bear. It is still a cute bear. They actually, they didn't turn it evil whenever you get to see it closer. Beef attacks. Ah, uh, yeah, hey, he became tame. Now that's the only enemy that didn't die. That one didn't die. We just tamed them and now we have a tamed bear in our inventory. I'll pass on the group Valentine. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Let me see. Uh, should I heal myself? Bruh. <laughs> Get away, you stupid red nosed. You red nosed dum dums. Oh, wait. We could. We can eat a croissant or croissant equivalent because there's a free croissant up there. Eat yourself a croissant equivalent snack. Awesome. Hey, 67. Not too bad. Uh, yeah, we'll grab this croissant up here, and then I guess we gotta get the heck out of here. Oh, yeah, we should try the exit mouse. We should try the exit mouse first before we leave. I think if a bear hugged you, you'd probably be dead. <laughs> They'll crush your bones to make your bread. I wouldn't mind being hugged by a bear and dying that way. What a way to go. If you love me, let me go. There we go, beef. Come on, beef. Kill that mole. Nice. You use the mole removal ointment. All right. At least it would be warm. Yeah, especially if you were in a very cold environment. If you were if you were up in Antarctica and you were freezing to death and then a bear just slowly walked up <laughs> and then just slowly warmed you up and then just kept squeezing. <laughs> it sounds horrifying. So it would either solve my problems or end my problems. I win either way. What? One hug from a bear is enough to solve your problems? Your your problems are not uh, not very serious, Lens. <laughs> One bear hugs all it takes. The mouse found a way out and waved to you to follow. Is that a one-use item? Are there even bears in our Antarctica? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not, to be fair. <laughs> Letting Kenny go. Oh, no. It sounds like a documentary. It sounds like a documentary after I get canceled. Letting Kenny go. The rise, the fall, the streams, and the memes. Kill. 
begging you to take some eggs. I tried. It wouldn't let me take them. It wouldn't let me take the eggs. I mean, I want to steal them. We're 21 years old. Old enough to drink. Nice. That was a horrible level. Yikers. Let me see. No problem. See? What? How am I supposed to steal it? You're 21. You can drink eggs. <laughs> I, I want to take them. It won't let me do it. Check. Can't. Can't check it. The sign? This is how you buy them. It's, look, it says $12. How much do you want to pay? Oh. Beef did not pay. How many... How much do you want to pay? How do I steal it? It says beef did not pay, and then... I don't even have room, right? If you keep them long enough, they turn into chicks? Did I really pick them up? Oh, a couple of fresh eggs. Mmm. Uh, Kenny, do you think that Arceus is pronounced with a soft C or a hard C? I've heard both. I mean, I also just watched a video game donkey video, and he called it Arceus. So he called it Arceus. I've heard everybody else say Arceus, but I think there was a trailer that said Arceus. I don't know. Uh, it's Japanese, so I'm sure that it's Ar- I'm sure that it's Arceus, or that's closer to the Japanese pronunciation. Because R R C R yeah I C C C I mean it could be R C S I guess that that can I think that those sounds could be translated right? If Donkey said it, it's probably wrong. Yep, that's that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's that's why I didn't stop saying it my way. <laughs> that's why I didn't stop. Pokemon R C S. I'll just Google it. Just Google. What? Now, wait a second. Why don't y'all just Google it? Uh, where's the, here we go, Wikipedia. RCS. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Pokemon Legends. Pokemon. That is how to say it in Japanese. So, I mean, do with it what you will. I don't know. That's not, that's not really close to what we're saying. Uh, say it the way that makes you feel good. <laughs> hey, just say it the way that makes you feel good. I don't, I don't know if either way makes me feel good, to be honest. Ahsoka, how are you doing? You're arguing with Sleeping Dogfish? It's it's Arceus. It's Arceus. That's the way that almost everybody pronounces it. It's Arceus. Anybody that says Arceus is is archaic. Wait, we need to save. Let's uh let's heal ourselves real quick. Uh... <laughs> Good one, Kenny. Thanks. I tried that way. I tried really hard. <laughs> know about that let me see uh, Google says Arceus okay there you go Google says Arceus there you go into the story in the story so what Google says hey if you don't believe Google what are you believing in anymore there we go let's we're just gonna we're just gonna freshen up gonna freshen up go to bed Well, then Google is wrong. Oh, really, Ahsoka? Are you an English major that's gonna that's gonna tell us how to pronounce this uh, this translated game name? Ha! <laughs> in Japanese, Arceus' name in the katakana is Aruse Yeah, yeah. Aruse Seru. I guess it's not Seru. Aru Aruse. Mm. <laughs> Sleeping dog Fitch told me to tell you that you're wrong. <laughs> you could tell him that he just turned into dog Fitch. <laughs> he gets a misspelling to match his mispronunciation. 
Uh, no, no, stop, stop being the, stop being the runner between our two chats, please. <laughs> I will, I will sass him later on my own time. Uh, fresh egg. Now we've got a chicken, chicken dayo. Koki koki ko, koki koki ko. I I in dayo ho 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 ho. A chick that just hatched. I mean, don't explain how to use it or anything. Is it walking behind us? Oh, it's peeping. Oh. <laughs> I can hear it peeping. Little peep. Little peep. I brought you some potato salad. Oh, wait. We're not supposed to fight anybody. We're supposed to be saving up all of our health and stuff. Oops. Well, let's go. Let's go beat up the boss. Look, he, he took... He damaged us for one. That's nothing. Are peepees at level 60 now? Sweet, dude. Alright, let's let's go try to fight this boss. I'm trying to remember if I need to do anything else. Just tell him to Google it. There you go. Oh, what? I have to move them all again? Ah, look! Ops is playing Pokemon Legends. Arceus. <laughs> oh, wait. It's not that guy that you're supposed to move, right? Ah, what's that noise? Was that a chicken? You'll need an item slot open. The boss drops an item. Oh, sweet. It heard that chicken make a sound. Chick just turned into a chicken. Chicken, quote unquote. A real live chicken. Don't eat it, please. <laughs> what? Don't eat chicken. You heard it. You heard it here first. Please don't eat chicken. Chicken should be sold to somebody else who will eat them. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, let's sell the chick. Uh, the chicken? Ah, dang it. Wrong button. Is beef... Is beef vegetarian? Is beef a vegetarian? I thought that you were saying, is beef vegetarian? I was like, uh, I don't know about that. Oh, wait. Oops. Dang it. Ah! I want to sell... I think Beef is probably a vegetarian, though he has eaten a sandwich. I don't know what was in that. Oh man, a hundred bucks? Not bad. Anything else? Is there anything else that I can sell? Pencil eraser. I'll use the bomb on the boss. Boss bomb. It's Archius? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Archie. I call it Archie for short, but it is actually pronounced Archius. Yeah, that's right. Get stuck on a tree. All right, let's go beat up this boss. Let's go beat up this boss. Uh, who's dancing for joy? Who's dancing in religious joy? This guy. This guy. You move out of the way. Blue, blue, don't bother us. Okay, I'll move out of the way. Our Jesus. Our Jesus Christ. That's what I've said anyway. See one guy dance. Not this guy, right? No problem. No problem. Oh, it's these two. Green, green. Oops. <laughs> I'm still new at this. Blue, blue. All right, now I just gotta make. It. Oh, we got another chicken. Nice. Keep, keep spinning. Keep spinning. Hey! Keep spinning, Buster. Why they get stuck? Keep moving. Oh, maybe they're maybe they're just pausing. Alright, fine. Get stuck there. See if I care. See if I care. I'm headed off to beat up your boss. And I got on the wait, do I need to put on the amulet? Guessing I need to actually put it on, right? The badge? Franklin badge by keeping it as one of your items at Deflex. Okay, nice. No, no equipping needed. Hello, sir. You're in for a real surprise. Thanks for coming. I've been waiting for you. Hmm. He has a deep voice. Deeper. <laughs> I need your assistance to help make the world blue. 
and to change it into a happy and peaceful society. Will you be my right-hand assistant? You fool. I have drawn you into my trap. Car painter's lightning was reflected by the Franklin badge. <laughs> the music. Mr. Car Painter! Okay, so... I wonder what's good against him. I still only have memes A, and I have a bash. Did I ever buy that new bat? I don't think that I did. I don't think I did buy that. Crashing boom bang attack. It didn't hit anyone. Nice. It looks like he's got a double attack. Oh, I did buy the new bat? Oh, thank goodness. He tried life up A. He recovered 100 health. That's almost all of his health again. Utilized a paint attack. 32 damage. Okay. Crashing boom bang. Didn't hit anybody. Didn't hit anybody. I'm scared. Why are you doing this? Yes, I shield. Okay, psychic shield is for psychic attacks, so I need to just keep beating him with his bat. Keep beating him with this bat, and then I'll probably give him a... Didn't hit anyone. I'm super scared of that attack. I'm guessing that it hurts you a ton. What? We slaughtered him! <laughs> we slaughtered him! We slaughtered a man. That's manslaughter. Do you see that many, many statue behind me? Since I got the statue, I've been doing peculiar things. Please forgive me if you can. I just wanted to have a normal life. I apologize to everyone. Here's the key to open the jail in the mountain cabin where Patty's being held. Take the key and go. Does he die? Beef got the key. Oh, he doesn't die or we just beat him up? <laughs> we just we just beat some sense into him. That's right, mister. That's right, mister. Now get away from that statue. Man, I do not forgive him for all that he's done. So are all of his people gonna be normies now? Are they gonna be normals? Oh, it's empty. It looks like everybody woke up and left. There are only three people remaining. I don't wanna stay. I'll get out of here. <laughs> oh, you probably could have just picked up the presents later. Sorry about everything. Let's be buddies. If you wanna be my buddy, you gotta give me the buddy tax. Give me the buddy tax, it's only $10. What a horrible nightmare. I somehow woke up. Beef, let's be friends again. No. Please answer me. I promise to be good. Uh, okay? No. We are not friends. I was hoping it would give me an option. Punch him. Ha, I lied. See you, sucker. Cabracula crap. Ah. I would have, and I would have told him no. That sorry sucker. What a little turd. What a little turd. I can't believe that he's worse than a cultist. Uh, what did they give us? Oh, they give us the key. Nice. End him. Finish him. I wish I could. I just need... Was I going to sell the... Oh, yeah. Sell the chicken. How may I help you? No. Stop buying things. Sell. Be gone, chicken. Farewell. Farewell, bok bok. It's time to get Patty and double your inventory space? What? Double? I like the sound of that. We're gonna buy her a pan. We'll buy her all the nicest things. We'll buy her anything that she wants. Because she's kind of technically me. Because I'll be pretty much controlling her. Uh, let's pick her up. Oh, watch the crows. Watch the, watch the glitchy crows. Nest stands there. Expressionless. Spiteful crow. They might steal my croissant. Pecked at my eyes. Even HP damage. Smash! Nice. Best way to tame a crow. Smash him with the bat. And they and they gave us a cookie. Aw. The animals are still bad? Yeah, that, that had nothing to do with the paintbrush people. That has to do with the power of Gygus. The people will still be crazy that are outside of that town. I think. Beef, you got the key. Are you hurt? Yeah. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused you. Yeah. Can you heal me? Oh, I'm trying to open it. Beef, you got the key. 
this. <laughs> New teddy bear. Oh my gosh, I do see the teddy bear back there. Okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to use the key. Hang on. By the way. Huge. Beef used the key to the cabin. Thank you, Beef. You're just like I imagined you would be. I'm sure that some people in Tucson are worried about me. Getting back there might be dangerous, but we can do it if we combine our strength. I'm able to use a little psychic power that's actually pretty dead. <laughs> Deadly! <laughs> Let's head back to Tucson! Nice! Tucson, Arizona! Me, you, and that bear. It's a Christmas miracle! Nice! You gonna you gonna heal me up? Patty joins you. Nice! Me, Patty, and the bear. Yay! Bear B. Alright. Let's go back and save. Bonk. Let's test out let's test out Patty's uh Patty's skills, shall we? Patty starts with a bear because she starts at level one. Gotta survive to get some levels. Oh nice. She's a weakling to start. Okay, let's let's PSI these sons. Okay, an old Pat. Patty's got PSI freeze. Ooh, spicy. Uh, or the opposite of spicy. Can only freeze one at a time. And she's not gonna have like a good pan or anything. She can pray. Nice. Let's try praying for once. There's a big grin on his face. Zap zap. It, oh, it didn't work on either one of them. She prayed with her whole heart. A subtle something engulfed us and didn't give me any psychic power. That's a real shame. That's a shame. I was hoping that her prayers would give me some, some psychic powers. Finish lesson done. Ooh, nice. Studying. It gave you HP though. Yeah, that is nice to have. A normal free heal. Free heal, baby. I'm just bashing him. I'm just bashing Chop, chop. Just bashing Come on now. Nice, we tamed him. Oh, different things can happen when she prays. Ooh. They left a present. It was a cookie. Cookie, cookie. So, what am I? Goods? Uh, oh, I see. So you can just change between beef and patty. Now you got bread roll and a teddy bear. Sure you ain't that crap. Uh, go down some more? I was gonna go get her a pan. Oh my god. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say Fuzzy Pickle. Fuzzy Pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Woohoo! God dang it. <laughs> I was gonna go. <laughs> Great. I thought that there was gonna be some treasure down there. The only treasure was the friends we made along the way. Patty says, I'm too pretty to pose. <laughs> I'm no poser. Let's go get her some weapon. All right, Patty, let's get your pan. Let's get your pan so we can beat up these animals. These animals. All right, sir. Uh, could I please? Uh, oh, thank you for the follows. Seal an app. Is that how to say your name? Hi there! Thanks for the follow. How are you doing? Hey, this is for Patty. The ribbon for Patty. Ribbon? Alright, which one of you will be carrying this? Patty. Or, hear me out, you can get more eggs. Oh my god. Not the eggs. Not the eggs again. Are you gonna equip it here? Patty's defense changed from 2 to 22. <laughs> uh, can I get you anything else? Certainly. Stop! What are y'all gnoming for? What? <laughs> Stop! Why? Why are you doing that? Frying pan time. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Could you... <laughs> Could you please? <laughs> no reason. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, make sure to get her a copper bracelet. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Two, two to twelve. Copper bracelet, fancy. Uh, excuse me, you don't seem to have enough money. Uh, but how much did it cost? Like 200 something? 349. Okay, hang on. Let's 
just, we'll just, you know, get out. I physically cannot gnome anymore. <laughs> you're, you're all gnomed out. <laughs> you guys, stop. It's Nunny, I'm going to make other redeems, I promise. Stop, stop, <laughs> stop. I promise I'll make other redeems, okay? I get the message. I get the message. You're saying this is the only thing to buy here. I get it. I'll do better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess I am gonna equip it. Alchemic has endless money. <laughs> and I'm not worried about his bank account. Stop! <laughs> Stop! I will silence it. I will end the gnomes. The age of gnomes will come to an end. <laughs> ah! <laughs> the all-knowing cheese. What's up? Man, I want to get so I was thinking about what if I got Ness's bat and I made it so that it can go like what well, crack and it can hit my um it can hit my, what is it? It can hit my frame, the the my camera, my webcam thing and it'll go like what well, crack and then it like flies away and spins and disappears for a second until it fades back in. I thought that would be kind of funny. <laughs> when will you get my sound effects? <laughs> uh, it's not just a sound effect. It's also it's also on Leorn board. It's Leorn, but listen, it takes it takes programming prowess. Like I have to to make it appear at the right time. I have to time it perfectly. Do you have any idea? I have to time it by the millisecond. It takes uh, 10, 10 or eleven different uh, commands that are all timed on milliseconds. You, you don't understand. Uh, <laughs> we won't leave you alone until you do! Alright, stream's over, you guys. Hope you all had fun. Uh, no problem here. Whenever 10,000 gnomes appear. No problem here. Uh, wait. It's, it's not actually that hard to do. Kelly, I'm just complaining and being too <laughs> It's not actually fun. I mean, it's not actually hard. It is fun. Um... <laughs> Oh, let's. We could have sold our cookies. These cookies are worthless, though. We're gonna sell these cookies. We're gonna get a bunch of eggs. We're gonna make a. We're gonna make a chicken farm. Aren't they? They're a hundred. They give me like a hundred and twenty dollars each. We're gonna do one full. We're gonna do one full chicken farm. Okay. Okay, we're gonna sell cookie. Yes. Can I get you anything else? Yes. Sell another cookie. Cookies are worthless. Be gone. Okay. You don't think that I can get eggs anymore? Uh-oh. Can't even get the eggs. I need to get rid of this stuff anyway. Uh, copper, pencil eraser, bomb. See, pencil eraser, we just gotta get, we gotta, we gotta go back and get rid of that. Is there any point of keeping the Franklin badge? Oh no! My eggs! They're broken! Oh no! Thanks for your support over the years. The food stand's going out of business due to personal reasons. But they're right here! But the eggs are right here! This game only knows how to lie. This game. You want the Franklin badge? Yeah, I was just thinking about putting it in storage until I needed it. Oh no! My humor! It's broken! It's a metaphor. I think that we uh, stole those eggs. I think that we all need to learn to uh, respect business. Just kidding. You just can steal everything you can. Just don't get caught. Uh, no problem here. Yeah, actually this town's looking pretty good. Sounds like a nice and healthy steel eggs, kids. I mean, the chickens aren't using them. Do, 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 do. Oh, even the cow's normal. The blue cow thing wasn't such a great idea after all, huh? Alright, is there anything else? Is there like some people that I need to talk to in this town that'll give me some b -b bonuses now that they're free? You really think I was a bad boy? Talk to somebody else. My wife has run away for the second time. I'm such a lucky man. What's with this stupid boomer humor? 
Let's hit the... Uh, my, my wife? My wife ran away. You know what would make my life better? If my wife left me. Ha, ha, ha. I apologize. I forgive you. <laughs> you are forgiven. Oh, yeah. This guy actually just heals, though. He's a healer. And then the doctor's normal. There's nothing weird going on there. It was hard on the eyes to have everything blue. Mm-hmm. I agree. We need to return the town to its original colors. I'll be very busy. I'm busy just thinking about it. Oh my! I heard many footsteps exist deep down in East Cave. Oh, that's where I need to go. Oh, it's Beep Beep, your favorite human bot is here. But my Matt! I said I'm sorry a thousand times. Also, how are you doing? What's up, Matt? <laughs> are you here to offer me uh, some like affordable followers? Some affordable followers, uh, maybe some, uh, some viewers, hmm? Free viewers, free followers, I'm excited. <laughs> We're just bashing moles over here. Oh, he attacked the Ted. Patty did one HP of damage? What? Okay, Patty, uh, let's try that again, shall we? Does she even have it on? You want to buy followers? Ask someone else. <laughs> Do you want to buy followers? Too bad. She's better off praying, to be honest. Yeah, um... Uh, yeah, Patty's doing one damage. Patty is a black mage. <laughs> she only does black magic. Just let her do her magic. Offense went up by one. Maximum HP. Maximum PP. Levels three. Oh my gosh, she leveled up twice. Nice. She's got fire. She leveled up four to three times. Oh my gosh. Four times. Four times. Give her a cookie to celebrate. You get a cookie. One cookie. Do I actually have cookies on me? I wish I did. I need to get rid of them. Patty, you looking, you're looking so healthy now. Yay. Here, eat this. Oh, you sold them. <laughs> I do like that the option screen is beef or patty. They're right in a row. Uh-oh. Oh, I turned around in time. Nice. Okay. You engage the mole playing rough. Okay, so beef beef does the bashing. Beef does the bashing. Patty does the praying. I didn't mean to have Pat. Patty's now attacking for four. All right, Patty, you just, you just keep those hands clasped together. She prayed with her whole heart. A terrible heaven-rending sound showed up. Um, you just made me sick. Please tell me your name, Jeff Cheese. Wait, what? Who's Jeff? Who's Jeff? Kaboom! I don't, I don't remember what we, uh, I don't remember what we named him, to be honest. Glasses man? I don't remember what we named him. All right. I was gonna, I was gonna name him uh, Wellington, but unfortunately, it was too, it was too long of a name. That's fine. I love a surprise. Yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be a surprise for me too. Here we go. Here we go. I'm confused. Sorry. Wait, what? I, I'm, I'm confused as well. Don't worry about it. Hit him with the memes. Hit him with the memes. Hit him with the prayer. Nice. Oh yeah, fire. She also, yeah, now she does have fire, doesn't she? Does it attack uh, multiple peeps? Hattie prayed with her whole heart. Nice recovery. Looking healthy. Her PSI is fire, and it says two row, two, two row of foes? So what, if they're like stacked up vertically, then it doesn't count? Yeah, to the front row. Okay, two row of foes. You almost got it, Lens. Almost. It's not. It's not named Poop with the. Uh, is that a, called a tilde? Uh, it's with a little. Uh, it's with a little musical note. <laughs> no, our teddy bear. Oof. Uh, teddy bear's dead. Hang on. Let me update it. There you go. I'm sorry. I didn't do it on purpose. All right. 
Man, she's leveling quick. Incredible. Ooh. It's a great oh, what? What is this? Ooh. A great charm indeed. Very charming. Help! Great charm must be equipped on your body. It protects you from paralysis attacks. Mmm, wait a second. It also adds a bit of speed, so it is basically the same as the other charm. But it makes you go a little bit faster. You say to put it on Patty. You think that that Patty could benefit from the speed? Oh, she can't even wear it. She can't wear it. It's not allowed. Yeah, only I can wear it. That's exactly right. I'll give Patty the old one. Yeah, let's see if she can actually wear it though. Nope. She gets no charms. Great charm is like travel charm, but adds one defense. I don't see it. Oh, I have to put it in her inventory, don't I? My bad, my bad. Let's move it over. Right? Yeah. Okay. I feel so free now. I have shaved my hairs. What? Your head hairs? Like your, like your, not your, t your top hair, your beard? Your beard, you're free from the beard, from the itchy, itchy beard? Uh... What am I doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, nice! You decided to, to, decided to mix it up, did you? I almost shaved, I almost shaved my mustache the other day. This happened to crisis. Uh, give to Patty. Beef gave to Patty. Uh, let's, let's see. There we go, nice. And oh, here we go. Hey now, back off, Molly. Come on now. In French, bread means pain. <laughs> I don't know about that. Thanks for telling us, though. Uh, we could probably use memes on them, right? Patty, Patty's is praying. Ego, what's up? <laughs> Ego, how are you doing? I follow the sage advice of Br of Britsus Spierst and have done away with all temptation of hair. Whoa, what? Brit Britsus? Britsus Spierst? Is that Britney Spears? <laughs> Does that mean Britney Spears? Or is, <laughs> is that an actual person? <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm either about to look like an idiot or I'm gonna look like I'm overthinking things. <laughs> you said him, did you say mm -hmm? What does that mean? <laughs> Britney Spurst. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm losing my mind. Uh okay, we're gonna do away you have to do away with the with the with the things of the body. Only then will you find true spiritual happiness. <laughs> First the skin, then the hair. Uh, the French word pain is pronounced pe, not like the English word ah. So they're not really in pain, but they're awfully close. Patty's just leveling up like crazy. Oh baby, luck went up by three. Maximum BP. She realized the power of PSI Thunder A. Alpha, excuse me, not A. Wow, now she commit. Look at these head empty kids. The couple of head empty adventurers. Where are we going? I don't know. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Lovely weather. Yeah, really nice. Oh, they look kind of they look kind of smiley from the side though. They seem to be enjoying their time. They enjoy each other's company, you know. <laughs> their face is straight on, though. <laughs> Ooh, turned around just in time. Nice! Just imagine a cutscene. They couldn't have cutscenes back then. Back in the day. Rosie has hiccups. Aw, cat with hiccups. <laughs> I'm just gonna go crazy. Brain dead children. That's what I'm saying.
Give me some water upside down. Oh, the cat, the cat? <laughs> Just flip the cat upside down and make her drink water. That's how to solve it. Uh, they had cutscenes in Ninja Gaiden. What? This is Nintendo's face whenever you say that. Dang, Ingo. <laughs> Nintendo, whenever you tell them that their competitors have cutscenes in their games right now. Say psych right now. The water goes on the cat, not on the ground. What? <laughs> Pours water on ground. It didn't work! No, you're supposed to pour them in. Yeah, you pour the water into the cat. Prayer time. I'm praying that these bats will convert to Christianity. May they worship the almighty Chris. Beef, kill him! What did it say? Did it say something about them growing affectionate? What did that say? You're using Beef's pee pee too much. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up, WK. You're fired. To the corner. To the dunce hat corner. Just imagine that I have a little corner on my stream that's for little turds. You're, you're in that box right now. And I just duct taped the lid. And I only poked one hole in it for air. The skull's down here. What? Stay away! No, 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 no. Unnecessary battle. Also, Panty's almost dead. I think... Well, I... Yes, Patty's probably almost dead. But, um... Where am I supposed to go? Oh, you're gonna call the day? Hey, we'll see you later, Tio Ducko. I'm, I'm almost done. It's 9.30. It's 9.30. It's about time for me to, uh, to eat some dinner. And more than just that Pop-Tart. But yeah, we'll see you later. We'll see you later. I'll be here tomorrow if you want to hang out. But either way, have a great day. Beep, beep, boop, beep, doop, boop, boop. Don't die, Patty. Come on, Patty. Don't forget your promise. Why am I going so slow? A, but a buttered Pop-Tart? Oh, you weren't here for that? Uh, okay, I'm gonna try some of her PSI moves. Not enough PP. Okay. I'll attack. Let's let's get rid of the mole for one, and then let's use some PSI moves. She can use fire, freeze, thunder. Two enemy to one enemy to rose. Okay, two all enemies. Hear me. Eat spaghetti. I actually might have spaghetti stuff. I maybe could. 50 damage to beef? Ah. Bad. He can do 50? The mighty bear can do 50. I'm gonna just pray? Okay, we killed them all. Good. 46. Ouchie. Mysterious light. Okay, we recovered like a tiny bit. Can I life up? It's five, eight, to one of us, to one of us. Yeah, let's, let's, let's save beef. Thunder is Patty's best attack. Oh, nice. Your check engine came, uh, your check engine light came on today. Oh, fluffy giraffe, by the way. Hi, that, that stinks. Do you have a, um, do you have an OB, OBI2 checker or whatever it's called? But I think it's just OB2, right? Do you have an OB2 checker so that you can check it or will you have to take it in? Wait, did Beef not life himself up? Oh, it's because Patty. I didn't pick Patty's moves. Okay. No big deal. Alright, you bash the bear. You zap the bear. And we win. AutoZone does free checks? That is true. That is true. I had a, um... Yeah, sometimes, like, my car is really weird. And it, like, if... Sometimes, whenever I don't screw on my my fuel cap quite enough, then it'll it'll like detect a leak, and that counts as a um that counts as a check engine light. Uh, recently, I had to replace O2 sensors, which was uh pretty annoying and very difficult to do. Not the most difficult, but annoying. I need to get my car inspected. <laughs> Do, 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 do. I need to. I want to go up there and get that pudescento. Oh wait! Oh no! O2 sensors are the worst. Yeah. Thankfully, I had a. What is it called? A ratchet. Oh, thankfully, I had a ratchet. Ooh. 
Isn't that costly? The O2 sensor or inspection? Hey, Heidi, what's up? How are you doing? <laughs> Heidi and Lupus just showed up. I'm late, but I am here. Oi, oi, oi. Or going to the dealership. Yeah, I don't I don't know about going to the dealership for just a check engine light, because that's that's a free thing to check up. It's a, it's a freebie. Oh, the sensor. Yeah, it costs like $130, I think. Something like that. <laughs> Heidi, you found the baby. <laughs> There's our beautiful baby. Beautiful baby. Free emote. <laughs> Lupus! How are you doing? You're working so late. Working so late back on that grind. Arrow! <laughs> Don't yell my name. It stresses me out. Just kidding. Dang it. <laughs> Stupid bear. <laughs> Baby. I am sorry. <laughs> I'm teasing. Uh, should I PSI them to death? Gosh darn bear, I know, he cornered me. Whispers. <laughs> Lupus, how was your day besides long? Pray a time. Good baby. Good baby. Big dragon. Baby dragon. Where am I supposed to go? These stupid bears are all in my way. I'm just trying to find these footprints in here. There's so many bears. Why are there so many bears? Go away. Yay. Oh, they're fast. These little moles. No, he walked up. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So we fight them first. Let's see, she's still got a lot of PSI going on here. <laughs> the whole squad walked in. Goodness gracious. Yeah! Hey, King of Squirrel! It's that time again! Thank you so much! I don't know why my uh, my things at the bottom of the screen are all messed up, but thank you so much! Oi, oi, oi! I appreciate it! Thank you, King of Squirrel, for the 13 months! Already passed a year. I can't believe it. How are you doing, King of Squirrel? Whoa! I'm free. Oh, I thought the mole was part of our party! Oh, I thought our mole was part of our party, man. I can't believe he ended up being an enemy. I feel very stabbed in the back. Man, you think you think that you you think that you're trusting somebody that deserves it, and then all of a sudden they turn on you. He was a mole. Oh no, not moley. Not moley. We'll have to get the ice. We gotta freeze him off our skin. It's the guacamole. Oh no. <laughs> Not the guacamole. The mole wanted to party. Um, <laughs> he did. He did attack us. He was. He wasn't nice, Lens. That's not a party. Listen, if your idea of a party is beating up your friends, you're watching a streamer play Bloodborne and had the same raid music. Hey, nice. I have been thinking about your stream since 6 a.m. Oh, it's such a jam. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. It's too much of a jam. You gotta enjoy. Bone apple teeth. Boom. Patty dodged. Just sizing up the situation. Felt a little strange, and then was struck by lightning. And then became tame. Bashing. So this costs only three, man. She can just she can just straight up zap constantly. Okay, I just want to make it to this footprint. I want to make it to this footprint, and I wanna I want to attune. You're good, King of Squirrel. Nice. We've almost made it to the weekend, everybody. We almost made it. One more day. One more day. Let's stick. Let's let's stick through it, you guys. One more day. Then y'all will be free. Free. Maximum. Oh, PSI memes beta. Nice. More beta moves. Finally. He's got those moves like beta. He's got those moves like beta. He's got those moves. <laughs> you're, a you're actually off tomorrow. Hey, Lupus is free. Oi. You got any fun plans, Lupus? You gonna get up to some mischief? 
Are you streaming on St. Valentine's Day? I am, and we'll be playing a visual novel of some sort. We'll be playing a visual novel, and I'll be doing my best to do voices. Can I go home now, Mr. Krabs? Uh, you're gonna work out at the gym and maybe... Relax? What is that? Did I pronounce that right? I'm gonna look that up. Let me just look that up real quick. Uh, here's the definition. Relax. 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 Yeah. So what, what is, I see the definition here, but what did you mean by that? You're so salty about the Monday game that they schedule? What, on St. Valentine's Day? Nothing, nothing more romantic than, I don't know, running around. <laughs> Patty. Patty, give him the old razzle dazzle. Oh wait, she's got some beta attacks now. Betas, maybe I will relax. <laughs> nothing good will come from that game. Wait, what? <laughs> From which game? <laughs> you mean play Pokemon and play games? Noise. Like a normal person relaxing. <laughs> oh, what? Patty died! <laughs> I didn't even notice! I didn't even... I didn't even notice a Patty died. Nothing more romantic than a couple of basketballs flying at your face. Now, there's nothing more romantic than a basketball flying at your hands. And you're like, I'll catch the ball. But then it hits you right on the tip of the finger. And it impacts... The, uh, the little final part of your finger. Mm-mm, mm, -mm, 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 mm So spicy and delicious. Even better. Nothing more romantic than a broken nose. Um, I don't know. I've been to some strange weddings. You've unlocked a memory, Kenny, that I wish to bury. I actually have a finger that's still, still messed up because of a basketball. It's kind of hard to see, but I, fe I feel like you could tell. Here, let me... Let's let's see if you can tell. Look at look at my middle fingers. Can you see it? You see the difference? I gotta cover up my face. Stop. Stop! Cover up my face. Stop! <laughs> Zoom in on my fingers. Can you see that? Look at that. Middle finger. Just a it's just a nice a nice little lump. Nice nice little lumpy. And it pops kind of weird. But yeah, that's from a basketball. That's that's a basketball finger. Ah, your finger has a hump. Oh, she's dead! <laughs> no! No, my friend! Why have you died? I'm so sorry. How do I... Oh, she's dead. There's no point in going on. My dog is dead. Dead Patty Cam. <laughs> Check it out. Check out what? Kenny's salty that he can't be a hand model. <laughs> can I can I heal her? How do I do? Not enough PP. Uh oh no, my oh no! My friend! She died! <laughs> what do you have there? A dead friend! No! Uh, can I, so, I, I can't revive her? Do I have to go back to the hospital? Maybe I have to go back to, like, the demon guy so that he can, uh, wait a second, what if I bombed her? What do I, what do I do now? Do I have to give her a skip sandwich? Who's it on Patty? Beef took the skip sandwich out and Patty ate it. It did not work! No! It didn't work! Dang it, Patty's still dead. It was worth a try, I guess. Oh wait, did I did I use the one mouse? You can only use the mouse once? Bruh. I lost my sandwich! And I already used my mouse! What? Okay, so hear me out. If beef dies, I lose. I'm not reading that, Isnunny. <laughs> So, you just shoved a skip sandwich down your dead friend's throat? <laughs> I think I just tried to give her it. And she's a ghost. And I was like, here, eat this. And she's like, thanks. And it fell through her hands. It fell to the ground. And Beef looked down. And he saw that there were already ants and maggots on the sandwich. And he was like, 
Oh my god. I just wasted a skip sandwich on my wife! Uh, so wait, if I die... If I died right now, I would just lose money, right? When I just lose basically like 70 bucks. If I lose 70 bucks, then I can just teleport back to uh, to health, right? Don't I just lose money? This remind me of the scene in Casper where the ghosts are just eating food and going through them. Oh, they're just, they're just chomping on them. I just chomp it on food and it just falls through them. Unlike Slimer, Slimer could actually eat food. Uh, this is true. You have the bomb. Wait, what? No, no. I was saying I could just attack. I could just attack enemies until I die, right? Who is this imposter? This imposter back here? <laughs> that was my friend. My friend. Yeah. If I just fought enemies until I die, then I. Yeah. We'll just go back. Oh, you haven't seen Casper, eh? No, I have not. Maybe that'll make it this Halloween. Maybe this is the Halloween for it. Wait. Oh yeah, Patty's got zero health, but she's still got some. Uh, she's still got some uh, psychic points. That's pretty awesome. He doesn't have any PSI. I guess I'm just gonna keep on beating on him. I'm just gonna keep wailing on him. Ah, Earl murders his friends. Let that be the lesion here. Um, excuse me? Excuse me? She's more than a friend? She's more than a friend? She's a best friend. And I didn't kill her. She just died. She just died. Okay, something else killed her. Wasn't me. I would never. Well done, Linz. Finally, I've seen a movie that Kenny hasn't. I'm sure there's plenty of bad movies that you've seen that I haven't. Uh, not that Casper's one. <laughs> Cat Mama Jazz. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a good day. Now I'm gonna die. Hooray! <laughs> Beef. It looks like you got your head handed to you. So how about giving it another shot? All right. I think we're just going to show you real quick. Why do you assume that I like bad movies? What? No, not that you like them. I've probably, I've probably seen a lot of bad movies that you haven't seen either. I feel like most of the movies that we would share, like, having watched, they're probably pretty good, right? Right? Much easier. There's there's so many more bad movies than there are good movies, right? So the likelihood is that you've seen a lot of bad movies I haven't. I've seen a lot of bad movies you haven't. And then we should share some good movies. I love how the whole the whole screen turns red if somebody's dead. I love a good bad movie. <laughs> I like that sentence. Um, she's still dead. Doesn't matter. You can sleep all you want. We gotta go back to the. We gotta go to the hospital. Poor Patty's looking bad. I'm sorry, Patty. I didn't. I didn't do right by you, Patty. I let you die. Oh, you just died in my arms tonight. Oh no! Now I'm. I'm coming to meet you, Patty. Patty, I'm coming to meet you. No. I'm trying to outrun this car. Here I come, Patty. I'm on my way to heaven. Ooh. Oh, wait. No, we're still fine. <laughs> this poor car has to wait on a ghost. Do we have to go... Oh, we have to go up? What? Do we have to go back to... 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 Own it? Do we gotta go back to own it? Or on it? On it? I'm on it. Up the hospital. Look up the hospital. Is it up here? This doesn't look like a hospital. Oh. There it is. The hospital was right next to the hotel. Oh. <laughs> it was awfully close. You need more dollars, bro? Do they not have an ATM in here? Come on. Come on, homie. It's a knockoff hospital. Who do you want to see? Patty. Patty was just brought in, still unconscious. You have to pay a hundred dollars. Oh shucks. 
Oh, shucks. Listen, I don't have $100. I guess my friend's gonna remain dead. Yeah, I can't, I can't afford this. Sorry, Patty. This doesn't look like a hospital. It was so genuine and filled with so much concern. It's because I've <laughs> I was worried. I was worried. Cranky lady, can I like blast her or something? What's the most painful thing that I can inflict upon this person? We'll give her beta memes. Beta memes! Yeah, one hit. Nice. Do you have to revive them? I do not, but I might as well be leveling her while, while I'm in relatively safe areas. But I certainly do not have to. <laughs> the hotel. This is actually how the American healthcare system works. A thousand dollars for a ride on an ambulance. What is that? We just serve you up some fine, some fine healthcare. That'll be all the money in your wallet. And all the money you'll ever earn. Thank you so much for your payments. To the American Healthcare Center. Alright, can we get, uh... Do we have Andy? Yeah, we do. Now, Linz, you know that this is far too cheap to be an American Healthcare System. <laughs> That's true! Revive, revive a family member for $100. I think not. What'd you say? A real... Duck tour? Hmm. Real duck tour? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> it's a thousand. What? <laughs> Dad just gave me a thousand dollars? Beef patty. Anyway. Thanks, Dad. Need to add a few more zeros to that, you know. If you wanted to revive your friend, it would be like a hundred dollars. A hundred thousand dollars. Pay less overall for plan, but more for specialty doctor visits. Less overall for a plan. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing about no babies. Here we go. Okay. Can I buy, can I buy like a new heart for my friend at the department store and just do the revival myself to save some bucks? Is there any backdoor doctors that can revive my ghost friend, please? Hi there. Who do you want to see? Patty. Patty was just brought in. Please pay $100. Thank you. I'm not reading that, it's not even. <laughs> oh, she's back. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? It's me and the homies. All right. Now let's save. Oh, you want to go to the black market now that... <laughs> you want to go to the black market now for Patty, but you couldn't for the bear? Interesting. What? The bear... Listen, the bear dies and is gone. The, whoop. the bear dies and is gone. I got nothing to do with that bear dying, okay? An annoying old party man. Why is he an enemy? He's just an annoying old party man. Don't kill him! Pray for him. That's right. I sing this hospital music to my daughter and she falls asleep. La 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 la! La 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 la! <laughs> really? <laughs> How do you. Bash him! Beat him down! Savage. He's wobbly. He wobbles too much. Wobble de wobble and wobble wobble and wobble. I bees in the truck. Be bees in the truck. Okay, so um, let's see. We could uh, we could it. let's go to the hotel. We'll save really quick. All right. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! The stream. It's over! Beef picked up the receiver. Dad? Can I save again? If they fall asleep to the retro new H Hippie Man music? Ooh! I'd take that. Okay, okay. We're gonna end. We're gonna end! It was fun playing this game, you guys! Uh, I'm kinda still loving this game. Uh, we'll definitely be playing this tomorrow. 
I like that beef is on the left and Patty's on the right when y'all fight. It really puts together the vision. Ah, it does. Yeah, we're gonna stream Earthbound again tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh yeah. Uh, what? Tomorrow's tomorrow's Friday, I think. Uh, is it? Okay, yeah, tomorrow we're gonna stream this game, and then I'm gonna take Saturday off, and then Sunday, we'll see. We'll see what happens on Sunday. We'll either play, we'll either like play a new game or a fresh game. We won't be playing Earthbound no matter what, but either I'm gonna take that day off, or I'm gonna, or we're gonna maybe play something fresh, but we'll see. We're definitely playing tomorrow. Uh, let's raid somebody. Let's see, who's online? Let's go say hi to somebody. Let's go give some love to another chat, shall we? Go say hi to... We already raided somebody playing Valheim a while ago. Ooh, unpacking. That game looks fun. Ooh, y'all want to watch somebody play the game unpacking? Have y'all heard of that? It's like a game that's... That is literally the only thing that you do is just unpack. You unpack people and like uh, you, you put away their stuff in the house, but like as you unpack more then you like it gives you kind of some backstory about the people and super satisfying. Let's let's go say hi to my friend. I don't remember following this person, but they're called Berry Patches. I'm sure that they're good bean. Let me see if I can activate my memory because I mean do do remember that I took like a two month break or something. It was like two months of a break, and I think that I met this person a while back. I've been following them for a minute. Barry Patches says, love your neighbor. Uh, most people call me Barry. I play a bunch of chill games. Has has a dog named Coco that you'll probably hear from time to time. Adorable. We'll go say hi to Barry Patches and see, see what they're doing over there. But you guys, thanks so much for watching. What time tomorrow? 4 p.m. CT. 4 p.m. CT. Just like uh, six hours ahead of whatever it is right now for you. Uh, break! I don't remember that. <laughs> oh, that's Lemon's Friend? Okay, Lemon's Friend. It's a wholesome game. It looks adorable. It looks adorable. Let's go say hi with unpacking, and we can just say, uh, oh, it is Lemon's Friend. Yay! Let, they seem really sweet. Let, uh, what? Are, Lufus, are you saying, no, stay! You're leaving me! I'll be back tomorrow! <laughs> Lufus, I'll be back tomorrow! Uh, I'm gonna say squirrely, squirrely raid. I'll be back, I promise. I'm not gone for too long now. I'll be back, Lupus. I won't forget about you. All right, let's see. Oh no! <laughs> I already said that! <laughs> All right. You guys, take care of yourselves. Drink some water. I hope that tomorrow goes well. Weeks. Almost. Over. You can do it. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for, uh, Chilling with me. <laughs> let's go watch some. Uh, let's see, Barry Pancher. Let's just type in Barry. Barry Squeezy, Barry Patches playing some unpacking. Looks adorable. Okay, let's get schmoovin' out of here. I'll see you guys soon. As soon as you want it to be. Hang on. I need to see the chat so that I can think. Thank you so much, mods. Thank you, Alchemic. I'm glad. I'm glad that you're back. I missed you yesterday. But uh, thank you for moderating, and thank you, Lens, for moderating. Thank you, Die101, for moderating. Thank you, Jedi Aurora, whose chat has been broken for, like, weeks. Absolutely awful. I'm so sorry. VIPs, Lemonberry, Calico, Kibby, Lupus, Malice, The Crane Couple, Minnie, and Tayaki, thank you so much for uh, hanging out with me. And thanks for being so awesome. I'm going to be making a VIP award that's 100,000 points. That's happening soon. Then you can buy VIP. All right, you guys, I'm gonna see you later. Much love, bye-bye. Ah! <laughs> see ya, get out of here. Oh! I miss some of the people in the chat. My bad. Thanks for watching the videos.